crazy of grizzled bees along came this song from when the red bear fought a silver tongued devil his army of bullshit at his word did they teddy bear. When he was made, they found something wrong with him and threw him away like a piece of rubbish into an old dark storeroom. Then, from outer space, a spotty man brought him to life with his cosmic dust. He took him to a magic cloud where Mother Nature 
gave him special powers. That bear became Super Ted. We out here. Mm. What up? We out here. Cheers. Sticks the lime in. Mm. Belter. Uh, we out here, dog. We out here. We're gonna do the the spoopy shit for a uh, spoopy season, in it. Uh, uh. Right, no fannying around. If you're not here to see the beginning, that's on you. We are going to play the excavation of Hobbs Barrow because uh, that's a spoopy looking point and click game that I had my eye on for a while. It's been on my wish list for a while. I committed today. I committed to it today because I was watching Reeple's stream yesterday and she was playing Broken Sword and I was like, man. I like adventure games, I miss them. So, this works. So that's what we're going to do. <sighs> Brought to you by Cloak and Dagger Games. Using the adventure game engine, I believe. Published by Wadget Eye. Now you know we've played a lot of Wadget Eye games before, so we expect big things from this. This should be very good. Honest to God, I thought this was a cutscene. I'm actually in game, aren't I? What a fucking idiot. Leg it, lady. Look at the little pixel rain popping off of a, the top of a brolly there. That's cool. Ah, Miss Bateman. What up, Homer? Welcome back to Ticehurst House. It's been quite some time. <sighs> yes. No. Terrible weather this evening, is it not? Nurse Blaketon has had enough of me smoking inside. Makes her cough, you see. A bit of rain won't kill me, will it? You, uh, you mustn't be interested in me nattering on. Give my regards to your father. Nurse Blaketon is preparing his supper. <sighs> Good. You look pale, Miss Bateman. Do head inside. We'll catch your death out here. Off we go. Bah! Oh no! Here's the train! Where's Trevor? <sighs> Trevor's gonna be pissed that he missed a chewed shoe. Dearest mother. Yes? Any anything else? Do I have to click? I hope this oh, I do have to click. Reach you. spent these past years in torment trying to piece together what remains of fractured memories well this doesn't sound ominous whatsoever what I am about to recount to you will seem beyond comprehension but I beg for your patience ah oh, spoiler she lives sheep yeah I'm talking to you eat your fucking grass you little prick go on I will endeavour to explain the events that led me to Ticehurst house that night as far as I can recall, this whole wretched story started with the receipt of a letter from a Mr. Leonard Shoulder. That's an interesting name. Shoulder. God. That's 
really unnervingly close. The isolated village of Bewley, deep in the moors. Ah, the moors! You don't want to be going down to the moors. Full of dead kids. It is, apparently, in theory. No station master in sight. Got a chivy. I hope the village isn't too far away. I can't recall our exact meeting place. Mr. Shoulder mentioned it in his letter. Is this where we learn about the inventory? Oh my god. Left click to walk, interact, right click to examine. To access the inventory menu, move your mouse cursor to the top of the screen. Left click on an inventory item, select it, right click to examine it. Once an inventory item is selected, you can right click to deselect it. Uh, you can double click on an exit to teleport directly to it. Fucking love that in an adventure game, I do. Uh, the game will occasionally auto save. You can also save any time via the menu. Uh, escape is menu. Muffin map. Oh, I fucking love that. Quick save as well. You fucking wow. They've put this together well, haven't they? And you can hold spacebar to see the interactable fucking hotspots. I love it. Understood. Right. Letter. Are you gonna read it out, or do I have to? Fuck's sake. Dear Miss Bateman, I write this letter in the hope of piquing your curiosity. I read about your expertise in barrows, and if I understand correctly, you are writing a book on them and the treasures they contain. I live in the village of Bewley, where a most special barrow can be found on the outskirts. It is rectangular in form, and is certainly tall enough to stand up in. The place is steeped in local legend, and there is rumour of secrets to be found deep within. I hope you will not misunderstand me and find this letter intrusive. If you wish to visit Bewley and ex excavate the barrow, I will be pleased to be your guide. Please send your response to the plough and furrow in Bewley. I shall await your letter. Yours respectfully, Mr. Leonard Shoulder. Page three, somehow. Dear Miss Bateman, marvellous news. I shall meet you at eight o'clock in the evening on the 14th of this new month at the plough and furrow in Bewley. The inn has fine rooms which you will find adequate for your short stay. Sorry, I just noticed some bitch walked over the other side there. Uh, when we meet, I shall tell you more of the circumstances surrounding the site, which is referred to locally as Hobbs Barrow. It is not located on my own land, but we will have no issue gaining permission to excavate. I wish you a safe journey. I must make my way to the Plough and Furrow <clears throat> Inn. Why? Can we talk to this bitch? A gift from my mother. It bears my initials. T.B. Ah, T.B. I have six shillings and two pence. Ah, oh, loaded. My Kenneth is bringing more funds tomorrow. I don't like travelling with too much money on me. Don't want to know about Kenneth. I've heard about Kenneth's before. I've got a fucking to-do list. This game already is brilliant. Meet Mr. Shoulder to discuss Hobbs Barrow. Been invited to Bewley by Mr. Leonard Shoulder. He proposes an excavation of Hobbs Barrow, local burial mound. Locate the Plough and Furrow Inn. I'm to meet Mr. Shoulder at the Plough and Furrow Inn to discuss his proposal. Okay. Let's have a look the at these tracks. tracks. Look quite untarnished. I don't think many trains come through here. Well, I bet one comes the second I fucking cross over. No, not crossing. I swear she was not standing there a moment ago. And she walked in while you were reading the letter. Excuse me. Yes, let's walk yes. further away from her to talk to her. I'm looking for the Plough and Furrow Inn. Do you know where I can find it? Ah, young lady, leave the station and follow the dry stone wall for around half a mile. You'll come to Bewley. Go straight ahead and you'll find the market square. The inn is to the side at square. To Thank the... You very much. What can you tell me about Bewley? Well, it used to be a thriving village. Not so much now. I don't spend much time there these days. Are you local? Ah, yes, a local I am. But I don't live in the village. Where are you travelling to today? That would be none of your business, young lady. Quite. Apologies. I wish you a pleasant journey. Uh, right. Julie, I have great expectations for this barrow. The post looks unattended. Hello there. A door of fine construction. Apparently the chick that's uh, doing the, the voice here was nominated for a BAFTA for this performance, which is pretty fucking impressive. Hello? Hello? Alright, I guess we're going this way then. Ooh, the map. The mouse doesn't like this. Where? Where? What? Oh, ah! It's that way. 
double click to exit did not teleport. Oh. I beg your pardon? What brings you to view limits? I'm here to visit a local landmark, Hobbs Barrow. Hobbs Barrow? Well, I can't say I've heard of it. For what reason? I wish to excavate it. Grave robber, are you? Not at all. I merely have an interest in antiquities. Not much to be found in Bewley, if you ask me. You're what? better off waiting for the next train back to the city. I don't want it. I'll take my chances. Mm. I don't, I don't want can't it. Say I didn't warn you. No. What, why would you do that? I didn't say you go and make me a sandwich. No. What the hell is that, James? Try. No. It's biscoff. I don't like biscoff. No, go and eat your biscoff sandwich. I've got two of them. Well, good. You won't be hungry then. What the hell just happened? Foreboding music. I, listen, I did listen to the soundtrack earlier, and it's nothing but fucking horrific synth. <laughs> Look, see, here's our mate, the horrific synth crow. Tight leather part. The, I'll have time. Oh bollocks! The old woman told me to go straight ahead to get to the inn. I'll have time to explore tomorrow. All right, so I guess we're not going to go and investigate A these houses. Dwelling. The old woman told I'll have time. A humbled. The anvil looks heavy. This is mint. The aesthetic of this is belting. Seen better days. Can I have the bucket? The bucket is rusty and full of holes. Yes, can I have it? Beating raw metal into a fine object is an admirable skill. Perhaps this belongs to a merchant. This must belong to someone. I should leave it alone. That looks like a pub. The sign is in a shabby state, but the shop appears to be a cobbler's. Oh no, it does say shoes. I can't take the sign, nor do I want to. The cobbler's is closed. A local cobbler. Quite an ornate construction. This was created with pride and care. The cross denotes this as the site of a market, or perhaps a site of traditional religious significance. Ah, the wicker man. The building is in a dilapidated state. The door has been boarded up. The building looks like a ruin. I don't wish to disturb the locals. Quite a fine building. The Plow and Furrow Inn. The Nettled inn it. where I am to meet Mr. Shoulder. The sign is well out of reach. The Plow and Furrow. I have a bit of time before Mr. Shoulder arrives. I should inquire about a room. Get out of the way, fuck knuckle. What's the young lady doing out alone in this sodden weather? I'm heading to the Plough and Furrow. Bloody good pub, that. It has the finest ales in the whole county. Well, I'll take you there if you like. Uh, I believe we are standing directly in front of it. Oh, so we are. Please. Yes. Give us a kiss now, won't you? Uh, that is a screen you will see more of later. Perhaps he is married. Wouldn't your wife disapprove? My wife? Bloody hell, my wife! My tea will be on the table at this hour. If I don't get back, she'll be roaring. Until we meet again. Nailed it. A buffoon. He fucking got off like someone that definitely wasn't drunk. I should speak to the innkeeper about a room. You should. You should also inquire why that plate in particular is very pink. A decorative plate. This one depicts a bull. Ah, yes. Pink. 
the traditional colour of the bull. A decorative plate depicting a serpent. A decorative plate. This one depicts a cat. Are, the, are these going to be relevant later? A decorative later? plate depicting an eagle. Right, these all look like eagles. A decorative plate. This one depicts a dog. They have the same pixels. A decorative plate depicting a bear. That's me! That's my plate. Give it. I don't wish to take it. You fucking should do. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, lass. How can I help you? I am in need of a room for the night. Aye, we aren't short of those. One night, is it? I shall need at least two nights, maybe more. Aye, it is not a problem. Three shilling per night. That includes your dinner and tea. A fair price. I'll need that payment up front for the two nights. All right. Yeah, lad. This is payment for the room. Thank you. Can I ask for your name, lass? Thomasina Bateman. And will Mr. Bateman be staying with us tonight? No, I am not wed. My assistant is arriving in Beaulieu tomorrow. Your assistant, you say? Will you be needing another room? Please. I'll keep a room spare. It's not quite as nice as yours, I'm afraid. Not a problem, sir. I'm sure it will be adequate. Kenneth is a man of inexpensive taste. Here's your key. Just go through the door to the right of the bar, then up the stairs. Room number two. Thank you. Who's in can room I help number you one? Your luggage? No, thank you, sir. I can manage. I should go upstairs and fresh. Strong independent the uh, independent arrives. woman that don't need no man. This shall do nicely. There's another fucking decorative plate. Which I'm one does change into something more comfortable? What does this depict? I want to know about the plate. I'm not getting changed. Braces. Very comfortable. Ah, <sighs> much better. A decorative plate depicting a goat. And goat. A painting of surprising quality. It portrays a rocky outcrop <laughs> overlooking Got a Got you before it. Nice. Perhaps a local landmark. I wasn't expecting it to tell me what everything was. No doubt the mattress is stuffed with itchy straw. Grim. My evening light shall be provided by this solitary candlestick. Why don't we take it? As the only light source in the room, I ought to leave this here. Fair point. Ah, complimentary matches. Useful. Yes. Have some. Why does the sound keep doing that? <laughs> Complimentary match. Yeah, you said that already. There's only one match left, though. Useless. The wardrobe looks old. Perhaps a hundred years or more in age. I've hung my dress inside. Aside from that, the wardrobe is empty. All right, good. We're not going to check it for monsters or some shit like that, no. What else we got? Water, bowl, and chest. A sturdy-looking thing. Useful to many a weary traveller. I've stored my case in there. A box within a box. Yep. A jug of water for drinking or washing. Yeah, but how long has it been there? This may come in handy. We are going to put a jug of water in our pantaloons. Beautiful. An empty bowl has been provided for washing. I don't wish to carry the bowl around with me. But you'll take a big fuck off jug of water. God love adventure games. They make the most sense. A majestic animal cut down in his prime. The poor thing. The painting depicts a rocky edge lake. A small bronze plate states the name Lake Cubilius. A pixie faced peasant boy painted in a naive style. Naive this style? The painting shows a Rubenesque figure brushing her hair. Quite unusual to see such a sensual work in a room like this. A colourful work depicting a bashful knight. It is signed N. Hamley. I don't know what that chivy means, but we have chivies. A biblical scene of some kind. An angel is depicted looking longingly to the heavens. I do not need to use the lavatory. That was worth a punt. Can I talk to all these motherfuckers? Good lord. I have not looked at the fireplace the yet. The fireplace is more welcoming than the facial expressions of the locals. 
A lovely place to warm oneself. A curmudgeonly looking old fellow. Curmudgy fella. Hello, sir. Hi. Hey. Do you know a Mr. Leonard Shoulder? You're not local. You've come on that bloody train, haven't you? Oh, you bastards! Going to dogs. Fucking foreign is coming in here on bastard train. My name is Thomasina Bateman, and you are. None of your business, lass. Get okay. fuck out of here. None of your business, sir. Ha! You're brave coming in here all on your own. I'm a grown woman. I'm Cyril. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Cyril. Do you know Mr. Shoulder? That'd be none of your business, lass. I don't come to your city poking around asking questions, do I? Man just wants to enjoy his ale in peace. Well, I'm going to ask you all these questions anyway. I take it you are not enamoured with the railway station. Mule is going to be swarming with outsiders, like you. We don't want you coming here. It's as simple as that, lads. Fucking hell. Why not? This is our town, our land. I assure you, I am not here right. to cause trouble. Lot of inbreeding then, we'll yeah? We'll see about that, won't we? 100% going to cause all the trouble. What can you tell me about Bewley? We're a proud community. I've lived here my whole life. Not much here to interest folks like you. Folks like me? Aye. Bye for now. ta -da, lass. I was about to say ta Ah, oh, brilliant. They are engaged in an intense discussion. I'm assuming she'll say the same they for him. Yes. Should we get involved? Hello, miss. What do you want? I bugger off. Ah, rude. Hello, sir. What? I'm waiting here for a man named Leonard Shoulder. Do you know him? I don't. Do you, love? Never heard of him. There you have it. Now clear off. Fuck you now. A rather miserable looking fellow. He's playing a board game by <laughs> himself. Because the rest of the people here have been lovely so far. Good afternoon, sir. Note for you here. I beg your pardon? I said there's no for you here, lass. Be on your way. Charming. It's going well, this. A fine exemplar of inebriation. Good day, sir. He's asleep, isn't he? Good. Right, anything else? Menu, bell, painting. It's a crudely painted scene that appears to be of a biblical nature. Remix. Why is this... Oh, okay. The last orders bell. Saviour of many a life. I haven't rung one of those Ringing in the fucking bell ages. Quite unbecoming of me. The prices are cheap here. Yeah. I'm not hungry at the moment. Useless. The innkeeper is a serious looking man. God damn. This shit is so serious. You've transformed. I feel far more comfortable in my outdoor clothing. You look like one of those explorers you see in the newspaper. Not funny you should I mention. You call me an explorer of sorts. I'm Stanley. Stanley Kemp. A pleasure to meet you, Stanley. Well up, Stan. Me, I trust your room is adequate. Most adequate. Excellent. Can I have some more matches, though? What can you tell me about Bewley? Aye, it's a quiet place. People keep to themselves, work hard. I look forward to exploring the village tomorrow. There's not a lot to see, lass. But St. Edmund's Church is a fine building. Worth a visit. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Kemp. Well, uh, I've been the proprietor of this inn for the last 16 years. I worked as a drover all over the country in my younger days. Saved up my coin and bought this place. It's Fucking a hell. fine inn. Thank you. I often run short of ale, but my rooms are rarely full. We don't get many outsiders wanting to stay overnight. Fucking here. outsiders again. Visitors, I think is what you meant to say. I'm looking for a man named Leonard Shoulder. Aye, I know the man. I'm to meet him here tonight. Can I get you something to drink while you wait? Not yet, thank no, you. No, fam, I'm good. What can you tell me about Mr. Shoulder? Aye, he's a quiet fellow. He only comes here to check his post. Yes, I've been corresponding with him using this address. Have you now? You found yourself an admirer. 
<laughs> Not quite. Oh, Business stop to falling. Why are you this way? Oh, fuck it. <laughs> well, if you must know, I am what some people call a barrow digger. A what? A barrow digger. What in God's name is that? I dig barrows, motherfucker. Tumuli? Afraid not. Barrow is another word for tumulus, or tumuli in the plural. A profoundly interesting subject. Yeah, You've lost me. Sounds I like fucking riveting. Ancient burial sites, looking for relics. A barrow is traditionally a circular mound of raised earth enclosing a burial chamber. Oh, why? You're a grave robber. I am no such thing. Don't worry, lass. I've met all sorts in here over the years. I won't tell anyone. I assure you, my goal is more noble than petty grave robbery. What sort of relics do you find then? Gold? Silver? Bones? Well, because I've got a bone for you right here, love. Treasures, certainly. Ancient pottery is the most common oh, find. God, I want a beer. I've been excavating barrows all over the country. I'm documenting my findings in preparation for my book. It shall be called Vestiges of the Antiquities in Rural England. Oh, ah. Catchy. Very interesting. But what does old Leonard have to do with this? He sent me a letter in which he told me about an unusual barrow in Bewley. A site called Hobbs Barrow. I'm meeting him here this evening to find out more. I've lived here nigh on my whole life, and I've heard nout about a Hobbs Barrow. Okay. Are you sure you've never heard of Hobbs Barrow? Not in my life, lass, but I'll tell you something. The moors stretch further than the eyes can see when you leave this village. There's no doubt many a discovery to be made. Probably not that way these days. Probably a fuck off city. Place of legend? I'm afraid you're going to have to speak to him about it. And then we'll have to Why kill him. You and you in the, the night. Dirt, Haven't you better things to do with your time? I enjoy nothing more than the thrill of discovery, uncovering the past and piecing together our history. I inherited this passion from my father. Oh, a barrow digger too, eh? Indeed. He would take me with him on excavations as a child. Does he still come with you now on your own adventure? I bet he's dead. I'm afraid my father's been bedbound ah, for close. So many years. Oh, I am sorry to hear that, lass. Thank you, Mr. Kemp. He is well looked after at a private hospital. Thanks for your time. As you were. Mr. Shoulder should really be here by now. I'll sit down and wait. <sighs> Officially a week off the ale so far. God, I miss it. I mean, trust me to have, like, basically a fucking full week off and not be able to drink. Out to be. Evening there, miss. Not you again. Oh, God, it's him, isn't it? I just wanted to apologise for earlier. I got home, had my tea, but it gave me an ache in belly. How so? I felt... Bad for how I spoke to you. I'm sorry. The drink gets a hold of me sometimes. Let's start again, shall we? My name is Arthur Tillett. Oh, fair enough. Thomasina Bateman. What brings you to Bewley, anyway? I'm here to meet someone, but he has not arrived. His loss, if you ask me. Perhaps you know the gentleman, Mr. Leonard Shoulder. Well, maybe oh, he's dead. I know Mr. Shoulder, all right. If I may be so bold as to say, he's a bit long in the tooth for you. The relationship is not what you're implying. I've never met him. In fact, I know very little about him at all. Get me an ale and I'll tell you all about the old sod. I don't think I should be encouraging your alcoholism. Sacks. God, the remix as we come back in. Right, one ale coming right up. You might have some useful information. I really don't think you need another. The man is a liability. Must I really buy you a drink for this information? At night. I really don't think you need another. Please. No, you're already drunk. Come on, just one more. Don't you want to hear about old Leonard's shoulder? Well... Yes. Wet my whistle and I'll tell you everything there is to know. 
You drive a hard bargain, Mr. Tillett. As you wish. Well, we tried. Thank you very much, Miss Bateman. Dollary dues. Straight on the man, dem. A tankard of your finest ale, Mr. Kemp. There we are. Two pence, please. Fucking hell. Thank you. Two pence! This was the last of my money, but Kenneth will be here tomorrow with more funds. Oh, great, so I'm skint now. Please, Miss Bateman, an ale to wet me whistle. Then I'll tell you all about... You said that, man. Here, have you. Fecking beverage. You are, Arthur. Should have given him the fucking water! Oh, that hits the spot that does, lass. Tell me about oh, it. Then. Fucking dry as fuck over here. Old Len. Leonard Shaw. He's going to sleep now, isn't he? Bell end. Arthur? Mr. Tillett? Oh, right. For heaven's sake. Come the jug of water on him. Drunken stupor. Game remixes all the time. Not a big fan of that in the game, I must say, but. Is this gonna work? Fuck yeah! Check me out. I'm puzzling my what fucking way through this. What up, Carl? You passed out, Mr. Tillett. Oh, sorry, lass. Where were I? Leonard's shoulder. Yes, that con. Hold on another minute. I'm making for a piss. Of course you are. This man is unbelievable. <sighs> Time advances, presumably. It feels like an hour has passed. Perhaps I should go in there and check on him. I wonder if he's dead. These guys are fucked off. It's definitely darker. Is the have you got no candles out here, man? The only light in this whole fucking place is that fire. Oh, he's got lamps here. Mraz, can you imagine being in a bar like this? Fucking terrifying and cool. Miss Bateman. What? My apologies. The ladies are closed due to faulty plumbing. You'll have to use the jets. Lovely. Mr. Tillett? Um. For a split second, I thought this was Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. No, we play good games around here. I don't like this. <laughs> I told you. I was listening to the soundtrack earlier, and it's nothing but horrific synth. Bad things. Bad things are about to happen Mr. here. Mr. Tillett? Mr. Tillett, are you in there? Mr. Tillett, are you in there? And cat. Well, you're not Mr. Tillett. Well, it might be. He's fucked the off our back. It's a crack, but appears to be blocked from the other side. It's because that motherfucker's bounced. Blocked the door up. Hello? I think I can hear someone moving around. Mr. Tillett? Arthur, are you out there? Judging from the draft coming from below, this door must lead outside. I should investigate further. The mangy thing is fast asleep. Take the cat. I'd rather not touch it. The thing stinks to high heaven. What do you expect? It's living in the fucking toilet. The jug is empty. The water looks highly questionable. I ought to keep my hands out of it. It looks like the towel has not been washed in months. The mirror is coated in a thick layer of grime. The mirror is coated. Some excavations are best left to others. What else we got? Window. I can see it's still raining out there. What a shock. I can't reach the window from down here. These look modern. I'm surprised. Okay. Why is the music a hellscape out here, though? No, she did not. It 
Excuse me, sir. A single glove is lying in the mud. A pearly white gent's glove. It's certainly unlike anything Mr. Tillett was wearing. I'll have that, thank you very much. It seems rather out of place here. Peculiar. There's been a murder. Hmm. Someone has wedged the door shut. Mr. Tillett. Why would he have done that? Stop you following him out, I guess. Why have we gone? Did Mr. Tillett leave, then block the door behind him? Something strange is going on here. Yes, it is. Who was that old chap I saw outside the alley? He headed eastward. Maybe I could catch up with him and ask him if he saw Mr. Tillett. Maybe he is Mr. Tillett. Why'd you come back inside? It's my question. Sturdy looking barrels. No doubt used to store ale. Or bodies. I suspect the barrels are empty. Otherwise, the locals will be rolling them into their cellars. The post has been embellished with a fine bronze bust of a horse. I could tether a horse here if I had one. But nay, she does not. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm on after the band. Sir? It's fucking rude, this con. A humble local. I don't wish to. The old man has disappeared into the darkness. Don't like Best that at all. Him. How? Oh. Jimmy! A figure slips into the mist. Last orders. I should get some sleep. Finding the missing men of Beaulieu shall have to wait for tomorrow. Why? How can I help you? Don't worry about me. Yes. No. Can I not cut the box? Give me the box. Now you may have the box. Have you seen Arthur Tillett? I thought he were with you. He went to the lavatory and has not returned. <laughs> that sounds like Arthur Tillett. Don't worry, lass. He'll be back. Thanks for your time. As you were. Kenneth will be arriving tomorrow at midday. I should get some sleep. A lovely place to... Is there any particular reason I might want to do this? I've not missed anything, have I? No. Kenneth will be a... Yes, I must get some sleep. I shall track down Mr. Shoulder tomorrow. Miss Bitt? <laughs> yes? Yes? Off to bed? Yes. I'm afraid Mr. Shoulder has let me down. The rotter. Perhaps he will make himself known tomorrow. I should hope so. This is turning into a waste of my time. Ah, don't mind the locals, miss. It's just that we don't get a lot of visitors in Bewley. Quite. They mean well, believe me. Sure, Mr. Kemp. Please, call me Stanley. Hey, Carl, what time's fast laying on? Good night, Stanley. Sleep well, Miss Bateman. Might be worth uh, trying to find a perfectly legitimate stream of it to just put on that screen, you know. Quietly, in the background. I like this, this is great. What we need here is a scene of the night time. I'm sure nothing horrific's gonna happen at all. Yeah, I figured it'd be 1 a.m. Oh god, here comes the cat. Why would you leave your fucking bedroom door open when you're staying in the fucking inn? Fucking hell. Bleh. Fucking hell. Jesus. Our time, really, Carl? I thought you meant 1 a.m. American time. I'll just, I'll set me alarm for seven, shall I? <laughs> Another chivy. Well, it's generous, isn't it? And the door's shut now. Okay. Fuck 
Fucking hell, is it is the game attempting to do pleasant These music? Horrid dreams. We might have to BRB and get coffee, you know, in a minute. I've only got one on, uh, non-alcoholic beer left. It'd be nice to save that for, I don't know, inside, a couple of hours' time. Last night. Hmm. Wait, what? As I suspected, I must have dreamt of that wretched-looking cat. All right, it's bolted. I must say, I'm I, relieved. I misheard her. I thought she said it would right, have been then. bolted from the Let's outside. See if I can track down the elusive Leonard's shoulder. I'm rather anxious to get to this barrow. I also wonder what happened to Mr. Tillett. Game saved. Good morning, Miss Bateman. Good day, Stanley. Excuse me, I need to go to the hell toilet real quick. I must say, last night has rather put me off using these toilets. Fair enough. Seeing an well, like team up, uh, but why so on SmackDown? Bloodline teaming up with Judgment Day? Hell no. Ah, whatever. Not really. I have the rather queer recollection of a cat entering my room last night. A cat, you say? Yes, an odd-looking grey one. I must have been dreaming, as I locked the door and windows before I went to sleep. Sensible. I saw a similar cat in the lavatories while searching for Mr. Tillett. Ah, Herbert. Oh, he's a harmless thing. He comes in now and then searching for scraps. Indeed. Seeing him in the lavatories must have conjured up the strange dream. The mind is capable of manifesting frightful things, Miss Bateman. Yes, what pleasant morning conversation. Having to report the rain of yesterday has lifted. It's a clear morning outside. Crisp. Cool, refreshing. John Smith's extra smooth. Assistant. What time will he be arriving today? His train will get in around midday. Kenneth will also be bringing my excavation equipment. Oh. Hey, Ray. Uh, what does that entail? A way drying your hair before it gets buckets, too late and your neighbours get annoyed such. with you. Fair enough. He in a large crate. Come to think of it, I'll need somewhere to store it. You're welcome to At this point the in the game, I was already thinking about dropping you a tweet and saying, items. get this on your list, but if you're watching it, spoilers, in it really. Uh, is it safe to do such a thing? My equipment is valuable. That sounds capital, thank you. I don't see what the alternative is. Um, yeah, sure. That sounds sure. capital, thank you. You're most welcome, Miss Bateman. We look after our guests here at the Plough and Furrow. I'll let you get on with your day. I'll be back with my assistant when he arrives. Rocky is not showing up at fucking Fastlane. Yes. Fastlane is historically a shit pay-per-view. Get off my chest, as it were. Roman versus Rock will literally never happen. Take the idea out of your mind. All night, Miss Bateman. I feel rotten. I really do. What on earth are you talking about? As you know, I like to run an honest establishment. Well, uh, I have not been honest with you, lass. I do know of Hobbs Barrow. Yeah, it's all coming out now, you isn't do? it? You do? I do. Many here do. There are stories tied to that place, you know. If I've learned anything in this life, it's that some stones are best left unturned. Old Leonard's shoulder is someone to be wary of, too. I can't tell you what to do, lass, but you'd best avoid him. Why lie to me about Hobbs Barrow? I know, lass, I know. I feel dreadful. But why? What are these stories you speak of? I really can't tell you more. If you insist on visiting that place, you'll have to seek out Mr. Shoulder. He brought you here. He's, He's not. The one it's rumour. I must say, Mr. Kemp, this is all quite puzzling. I've never let local superstitions stop me in the past. I pride myself on being a woman of logic and reason. I have no time to waste on such matters. As I say, seek out Mr. Shoulder. He can tell you more. He will never, ever, ever, ever wrestle again. Where is Hobbs Barrow? I don't know. I say that on my mother's grave. He's worth too much money in Hollywood. Hmm. I now find that hard to believe. The moors are vast. The best you'll get is uh, the odd rock bottom here and there. Broad man could lose himself and not be seen again. Hmm. Why must I be wary of Mr. Shoulder? The man has a certain reputation. For what? You've seen it already. Were he here to meet you last night? No. Precisely. A man not to be trusted. Where does Mr. Shoulder live? 
I can't say for sure. As I think I told you last night, he's a quiet man and keeps to himself. He only comes in here to collect his post. Leads me to believe he lives a fair distance away. But certainly not in the village itself. Might someone around Bewley be able to help me find him? You could ask around. As I say, lass, Bewley folk mean well. Don't forget that. I shall return later. Good day to you, lass. Mean well. Will be dickheads, is translation. It seems I may be fighting a battle against some sort of local superstition. Is there a single nope. borough in England that Never heard of it. have some ghastly tale attached to it? Hogwash. All of it. It immediately conjures images of the Wicker Man. Arrives, as this game has already done. Mr. Shoulder. Probably why it's in my head. And also of a song by Dessa, who I'm wearing a t-shirt of today. She has a song called The, uh, the Beekeeper. It was on her third album, which I'm struggling to remember the name of, but it's fucking great. If you like ladies that do rapping and singing, belting. Excellent songs on there, <clears throat> including Skeleton Key. Arguably one of her finest works. My name is Thomasina, and you are. Now then, that's none of your concern, love. Fucking hell, helpful, aren't they? What do you do around here? Hey, oh, I can pretty much imagine what the film is then. <laughs> look after the churchyard. Dig the graves. <laughs> what can you tell me about the church? Aye, it's a church. Quite. Brilliant. Do you know a man named Leonard Shoulder? I don't know out about no Leonard Shoulder. What can you tell me about Hobbs Barrow? Not to be found digging around in those things. You know of local barrows then? Don't concern yourself. What can you tell me about Bewley? Not much around here, love. Not worth mentioning to you, like. I see. Goodbye. Ta -ra. Great. These flowers look pretty. Someone must take good care of them. You have a little look in that alley again. I see no sign of life within. Miss that one. Uh, the window is well out of what? reach. Earlier. I'd rather not go. Okay. Shut up. A small plaque beside the door reads Vicarage. I don't think anyone is home. Useless. Fucking shit out, priest. The little whelp looks determined to slaughter the very air itself. The little whelp. The young woman looks extremely bored by it all. Understandably. Good day. Hello, miss. My name is Thomasina. What's yours? Betty. Betty. Nice to meet you, Betty. Couldn't give a fuck to? about anything. My brother is practicing his sword fighting technique. I'm to watch him until he tires himself out. I'm tireless. You're a this dickhead. Time last month it were all about his teaspoon collection. He's fucking He's what, mate? Swords. Do you know a man named Leonard Shoulder? Teaspoon collection? No. Are you sure? Yes. What do you know of Hobbs Barrow? Our parents don't like us talking to strangers, miss. So you know of it? No. Are you sure? Yes. Goodbye. Bye, miss. You there, gobshite. Hello. He's not going to talk. Yes. Oh, oh, he is. My name is Thomasina. What's yours? Douglas. It's a pleasure to meet you, Douglas. Douglas, the spoon collecting sword fool. That's a great sword technique you have. Thanks, miss. Mr. Crozier's gonna make me a real one when I turn 12. I'm preparing myself to fight the lantern worm. Pardon? What is the lantern worm? It's gonna come back and get us all. John Lantern thought he killed it at the River Ware, but my father told me it still lives. River we Ware. Must all be prepared. The lantern that worm isn't rings real, a bell. Douglas. Is that Father real? I just told you that to get you out of his air. Not true. I saw it slithering out by the beck. You saw no such thing, you stupid little cunt. I ran home so fast I thought I would fly. Sorry, miss. My brother has a vivid imagination. 
children often do at his age. I'll keep training. You will all thank me when I thrust my sword deep into its fat belly. Douglas, this lady doesn't want to hear your nonsense. Do you like living in Bewley? Yeah, I do. Are you from the city? I'm from a long way away. You must have come on the train. I love watching all the steam puff off into the sky. I bet you, you do. The train yourself. Loving Notice, that puff. Our parents don't have the money for train tickets. Father says we have all we need here in Bewley. <sighs> Perhaps this nice lady would like to take you away with her on the train. No, I need to stay and protect Bewley from the lantern worm. Yep. Yeah. Do you know a man called Leonard Shoulder? That's a funny name. That's what I said. Have you heard of Hobbs Barrow? What's that? A local burial mound. Our parents don't let us wander far from the village. What's a burial mound? Don't you mind about that, Douglas. Who's Mr. Crozier? He's a blacksmith. His forge is just over there on the other side of the square. Don't you think 12 years of age is a little young for a real sword? I, I was thinking that, yeah. Swordsman by then. Goodbye. Goodbye, miss. You'll be dead in a ditch. This house looks pleasant. A warehouse. A storeroom of some kind. It's rather empty. Royal Mail, Postmaster's residence. Ah, posting. This must be the local post office. I don't think anyone is home. Well, it's a warehouse. No one's fucking living there, are they, love? Come on. Use your brain. Up here, love. I'm enjoying this, I have to say. Been a while since I found uh, an adventure game that I just like immediately. Looks hmm. decent. Mechanics are great. Can't say too much on the story just yet. We're in early days. Soundtrack's horrifying. What did she say? Hmm. No. Right. I don't think anyone is home. Fucking hell, she's useless, this. Let's, uh, let's have a chat with the blacksmith. Once I've rinsed those options, it's time to go and get a coffee, all right? Hi, George Crozier, at your service. My name is Thomasina. Hi, can I help you? You can fix that bucket over there, it's fucked, apparently. Are you a Bewley native, Mr. Crozier? Hi, born and bred. That's where my father's forge before mine. How is business faring? I do an honest trade. There'll always be horses needing shoes and farmers needing tools. You'll let me know if you need out made or mended. I'll do you a fair price. Thank you, Mr. Crozier. Do you know a man by the name of Leonard Shoulder? Oh, hi, Old Leonard. Have you seen him recently? No, not recently. Do you know where he lives? Why all these questions, lass? I need to speak I'm with playing an adventure game. It's kind of like oh, he'll turn up. how they work. I've seen him in the plow and furrow from time to time. But do you know where he lives? I need to find him. I believe he lives somewhere out on the moors. Yeah, it was probably that dickhead we saw last night. Thank you, Mr. Crozier. Do you know of a local landmark named Hobbs Barrow? There's a fair many barrows found out on the moors, lass. Too many to put a name to. Not a soul in Bewley pays them any mind. What can you tell me about Bewley? We don't get many visitors here, outside of market days. But there's plenty of work for the village blacksmith. Where are you from, then? I arrived yesterday on the train from London, by way of Derby. Oh, aye. I've heard about London. What have you heard? Plenty of factories there. Yes, indeed. The city is always changing and moving forward. Moving on! Moving on! Try to break free! When do market days run in Bewley? Once or twice a month. Sorry, I don't know tomorrow. where that came from. How delightful. Unless your vice is cabbages, they'll be not to interest a young lady. I don't mind a cabbage. Then you're in luck. Thanks for your time. Aye. Speak to you later. 
Good. Right. <laughs> I'm going to go and make a coffee. I'll be back as quickly as I possibly can. Hello. Hope it wasn't gone too long for uh, you guys. Oh, oh, gone long enough. We had numbers before. <laughs> now they're all fucked off. <laughs> oh, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Quick moment of admin. Right, laughing. Good God, how long does it take to dry your hair? Tch, madness, these people. Right. Ready for the remix? Here it comes. Wiki wiki one time. Right. Uh, church. Old lady at the church. The woman has a kind face. Hello. Good day. Would you like to Good buy day! I'd love to. I've got no dollary dues. What kind of cakes do you have? I have some lovely Bakewell puddings. That's not a cake. The sweetest marriage of almond and jam. I can tell you're not from around here, because if you were, you would know about my Bakewell puddings. It's they not are cake. Quite famous. Pudding is not Bless. cake. I'm not carrying any money with me. That's unfortunate, pet. I'm sorry. I, I can't give them away for free. The money goes to the church, you see. I guess that, love. one cannot shirk one's duty to the church. Fuck me, I need I a understand. new chair. My name is Thomasina. What's yours? This is De Plancy. A pleasure to meet you, Mrs. De Plancy. Likewise, pet. Tell me about yourself, Mrs. De Plancy. About me? <laughs> What would you possibly want to know about me? Well, why are you I making fucking cakes for the church? St. Edmund's church my whole life. I always want to help where I can, so I sell my baked goods and all the proceeds go to its upkeep. This place means so much to me. Well, that's lovely, isn't Your it? Your cakes look delicious. Not cakes. I can assure you they are. You'll not find better in the entire county. I mean, county. that might be a cake or it might be a biscuit, huh? Pixels, you know? What can you, you know? tell me about St. Edmund's Church? Isn't it the finest building? It's been standing here since the 12th century. The box pews in the nave are very fine and date back to the 17th century. The door is open if you'd like to worship. Thank you, Mrs. DePlancy. Do you know a local man called Leonard Shoulder? Wicked yes, man. I know Leonard. What business do you have with him? It's a long story, but I'm trying to find where he lives. I'm afraid I don't know, dear. Father Roach has access to the parish register. He might be able to help you. What can you tell me about Father Roach? He is a lovely man and an exemplary servant of the Lord. He's been the vicar of St. Edmunds for many years. That answers that question. I was about to say what we rock in uh, Catholicism or C of E. <laughs> and if he's a vicar, then C of E. Where can I find Father Roach? At this time of day, he'll be taking his exercise in Hearn Wood. To the west of the village. Thank you. I'll go find him. Be sure to listen out for his merry whistling. Such a jolly man. What do you know of Hobbs Barrow? Hobbs what? Hobbs Barrow, a local burial mound. The only place of burial I know about and care for is in Welcome this back. very churchyard. With lovely dry hair now, no less. It's Great. Thank you for your time. <laughs> I've not done too much of it. Obviously, I've only been here for an hour uh, so far, but the aesthetic is delicious. Ooh, a trowel. Excuse me, do you think anyone would mind if I borrowed this trowel? You help yourself, dear. Father Roach won't mind lending it. Just be sure to put it back when you're finished. Of course, thank you. 
If you want some uh, spoofy point and clicks, so far I can think of worse. What else have we got? Yeah, I figured that would be it. In memory of Mabel Hurst. Ah, they're all going to be different. In I bet there's a chivy attached. In memory of Peter Black. In memory of George Paxton. In memory of Barnaby Tillett. In memory of Percival Roach. In memory of Romeo Hegg, dearly missed by his beloved Juliet. Ah, uh, that one's got In more words. In memory of Benjamin Garkham. In memory of Millicent Smith. I've got no idea. I mean, I'm currently in a mystery. I mean, aren't all point and clicks kind of like a mystery? What else have we got? A side door. Presumably an exit. New. No. Yes. This leads to the church tower, I presume. Sudden memories of hot fuzz. This is true. Yes. Yes, it is. But yeah, it's good shit so the far. Look weathered, but I mentioned earlier, um, from what I gather, the, the woman that's doing the voice acting for our uh, Thomasina here, nominated for a BAFTA for her part in this. Goodness me, look so that's at these good. pews. I've never seen any as tall as that before. Most unusual architecture, even for the Normans. How the devs come up with some of the puzzles is a mystery to me. I know, tell me about it. It's madness. The pews are contained within compartments that can be locked. I've seen a similar design in other Norman churches around England, but this is a particularly impressive example. See that cross? I want it. Is that a necklace? Hmm. Better ask again. Someone has left a is necklace it hanging my here. necklace? A silver cross. Sterling by the look of it. Maybe I can reunite it with its owner. Well, this game is published by uh, a company called Wadget Eye Games. And... I don't think I've ever played a bad game of theirs. Like, the dude that runs the publishing place, he used to just be a game dev for the same company. It's his company, obviously. And he made a series of games called the uh, called the Blackwell. Well, Blackwell series. There's five of them. They're great. They're good for spoopy season. You should look into them. The first one's a bit weird. I haven't really found his footing yet, but it fucking it goes the off. It's great. Since dried out. I don't want them. I'm surprised I didn't think to mention them yesterday, actually. They are really, really good. Oftentimes, a on offer, list of former vicars, they stretch back several like the whole years. collection on Steam for less than a tenner. Like I say, the first one's a bit weird, particularly musically, but it really does find its footing later on. Like the second one onwards. This must be where the local vicar sacrifices the newborns. Sounds legit. I have no time for such things. What else have we got? Window ceiling? Stained glass depictions of various biblical scenes. It's I not swear. my specialist area. I thought she was going to say biblical nonsense then. I can admire the craftsmanship from afar. Extraordinary craftsmanship. I can admire the craftsmanship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that was... Ugh. Forgot about the teleporting. Yeah, absolutely make a note of them. They are belting. What if we exit from a different side? Is that fucking crow again? John Purchase, dearly beloved husband of Florence. I'm gonna check Forever all these out. Light, Watch your these. Took the first two Monkey Island games out as I already owned them. I managed to, oh yeah, I managed to get a point and click bundle of Monkey Island and Indiana Jones games from GOG yesterday. Six games for nine ninety. Yeah, I was. Uh, you mentioned Here it on your stream. Margaret I was in at that point. Beloved mother, wife, and sister. I think I think I've got the Indiana Jones games. Joseph Davis. I'm, the only thing that puts me off is that, like the earlier ones, at least. Well, did they only do two? Well, the first one, at the very least, doesn't have voice Samuel acting, and I'm like, mm. death is only a shadow across the path to heaven. I do want to get to Fate of Atlantis at some point, though. Here lies Elizabeth Farnaby. Yes, you did. <laughs> This appears to be a recently dug, unmarked grave. Sam got me a uh, 
a big fuck off book all about the art of point and click games for Christmas last year, William and it Paxton, was great. Modest and gentle of heart. Got all sorts of ideas uh, for shit to play from there. Is this West? The moors stretch into the distance. I don't wish to wander aimlessly. Wise. I'm not sure if these are poisonous or edible. I'm pr there's a circle of them. That's a bit fucking suspicious. I better not touch them. They could be poisonous. Right, what do we got? Not a lot. Get the trowel on him. Hmm. No, that won't work. I can assure you it will. Yeah, that's the one I've been told is really good. I I definitely got that one. I loaded it once William Paxton, to see if it worked, modest, and it did. Gentle of heart. So you know, one day, one day. Ah, look! It's this screen. The that one day down down there somewhere. Fine spot to take a rest. And plaque. Margaret's lookout. I wonder who Margaret is, or was. Probably was if it's on a bench. Why is the fucking plaque on the back of it? Bit weird. It is a fine spot though. Margaret's lookout. I did that bit already. I wonder who or was. Yeah, we we said. Meanwhile, over here, nothing. Literally nothing. But it goes on. A cairn. See cairns like this all over England. Quite common. Some random the pile of rubble. The might be alarmed if I dismantle their cairn. Is that it? The moors continue for mu- Alright. Back the way we came. Crack on, love. Don't worry, I'll come and get one of your fucking hang on. A fine assortment of baked goods. A lovely treat for those who enjoy such things. Make sure we're clicking on these things. Unfortunately, I don't think the cakes are free. There's a lyric in there somewhere, I'm sure of it. Like NERD's lap dance, but cake. You can't get this cake for free. No, you can get this fucking cake for free, you know, etc. or something like that. Remarkable. A gargantuan fossilised ammonite. This would look fantastic on my mantelpiece. Take the trowel to it. Hey! What? Stay away from that! Fuck you. Don't touch it! How dare you speak to me like that? I'm serious. Oh, okay. Uh fine. What do we got here? Dollies. Sh shrubbery! Ah, oh, the band Beck. Flowers. Can I have some flowers? Yes. The delicate flowers smell rather sweet. I or do not. enjoy the charm of a babbling Beck. It was a babbling brook. The water is icy cold. I'm not sure about that squat over the uh, little stream there, frankly. It's a bit weird. He has a puckish little face. Damp rag dolls have been laid out to dry in the dreary sun. They aren't mine to take. This young fellow looks miserable. No shit. Good day, little one. Good What's day! Hello, miss. I'm Jane and this is my brother, Wally. Lovely to meet you. I'm Thomasina. I'd introduce you to my dolls, but they're drying out at the moment. This is a lovely little beck. It's where we get our water, miss. It's good for drinking and cleaning. You say Your so. dolls look lovely, Jane. Thank you, miss. I love them very much. Today was their bath day. Tell me more about the Ammon's Horn. Daddy said we should never touch it. It will make the god angry. The god. What god? Ammon, of course. Oh, obviously. Jane, this is a fossil. It's a horn. What's a fossil, miss? <laughs> a fossil is that. an impression of a prehistoric plant or animal embedded in rock and preserved in petrified form. 
This particular animal was called an ammonite. I'm confused, it's not a horn? No. No, it's a fucking the fossil. of a long dead sea creature. Well, I believe my daddy. He doesn't lie to me. Your father is somewhat correct. For you see, ammonites were given their name for the Egyptian god Ammon. See, I told you, it's Ammon's horn. My daddy is always right. <sighs> Do you know an old man called Leonard Shoulder? No, miss. Have you heard of a place called Hobbs Barrow? I... Jane! No, miss. Are you sure? I swear. Goodbye. What's that scene? Hi, miss. Hello, Wally. Yeah? My name's Thomasina. How are you? <laughs> Go away! Do you uh. know a man called Leonard Shoulder? No. Have you heard of a place called Hobbs Barrow? No. Goodbye. Treacherous little bastards. Ah! <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? You good, mate? You've been eating those mushrooms I found earlier. I'm very sorry. <laughs> don't trust him. Oh, no, I don't shit. think I will. This malaise will not pass. Oh, the nausea. I need your help, young lady. Sure. Tell me what you need. Let the blood from my arm. Excuse me. Got me. I beg you. Uh, I've got a trowel. Vomit. I don't wish to look too closely. All right, pick it I'm up not then. Going near it. It smells disgusting. Yeah, but Mandem's got glasses over here. The vicar's spectacles lie broken on the forest floor. I will cut him with them. There Ouch. was something else. The broken lens is extremely sharp. Well, that's why I said we'll cut him with them. Oh, there is nothing else. Let's have a chat first, shall we, lad? Now that the terrifying synth sure has stopped. This is the only way, Father. I beg you. It's the only cure for this torturous malady. What the fuck is he talking about? This is these are not words I'm familiar with. Forgive me. Oh, I ah the glove. A fine. I found it in the. Yes, use glove with fucking spectacles. Perhaps I shouldn't risk soiling this glove until I find its owner. Fuck you. Um. Well, it's gonna have to be the trowel. The trowel's blade is dull and rusted. I need something that will provide a cleaner cut. Quickly to the blacksmith. Don't leave. You must help me. Right, dickhead. Uh, have a cross. I don't think it's sharp enough. You, you know what it is that? Ouch! The broken lens is extremely sharp. Have you considered not grabbing it by the sharp bit? Um. Mr. Scholl did not show up. I need to find him today to discuss the excavation. I should take a look around the area and see what I can find out about Mr. Shoulder and Hobbs Barrow. Meanwhile, help Father Roach. He's stricken with illness and would like me to perform a bloodletting procedure on him because I am a doctor. Hello. Handkerchief. This handkerchief was a gift from my mother. I hope she will understand. There we go. This should work. Look at us using fucking inventory bits with things are you sure you want me to do this this is a terrible yes, idea it will cure me of my ills it fucking won't pal i shall do as you ask father grim oh i feel much better chivy
Oh, he's got some spares. That's Thank handy. Thank the Lord for my spare pair. See? God bless you. I already feel quite better. I'm glad, Father. It's fucking placebo the effect at best. The of bloodletting cannot be overstated. I'm Frederick Roach, vicar of I Saint think they can! My name I think is you're Thomas talking shit! It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, bollocks. Oh, come on. Are you feeling better? Yes. Thank you. What ails you, Father Roach? I... I just ate a rotten berry. That's all. I like to Bullshit. for my supper, you see. They are quite delicious, as long as you mind the bramble. My apologies again. I wish we had met in different circumstances. Are you from Beaulieu originally? I was born in our very own St. Edmunds. It's quite the story. Do tell. My mother was sheltering there as a frightful tempest raged. And lo, did her waters break right there and then in that pew. One could say that you were born into your role, Farmer. <laughs> Indeed. Did she just when say my Farmer? told me the story as a young boy, I knew that this was my calling. I heard Farmer. St. Edmunds is a Lots fine of questions. Building. Thank you for saying so. It's hard work keeping her in good shape, but our congregation is always willing to lend a hand in the Lord's name. What is it like being the vicar here? Every day is a blessing, my child. Of course it is. I have a great love for our parish, and the Lord looks after us. My dad's a vicar, this is bullshit. <laughs> what about your congregation? Numbers have fallen over the years, I must say. But those that remain are faithful and full of his spirit. I'm looking for Mr. Leonard's shoulder. Oh, yes. Are you a relative? No, it's a long story, but he invited me to Bewley. And he didn't tell you his address? He was to meet me last night at the Plough and Furrow, but he never came. I see. Well, let me welcome you to Bewley on his behalf. Thank you, Father. Cheers! Do you know where Mr. Shoulder lives? Am I just Let going over the same think. thing? No. Nope. It's been many moons since I've paid him a visit. Perhaps you could allow me to take a look at the parish register. Ah, yeah, that was it. I remember it now. A fair hike across the moors. Ofs. Could you please give me directions? I'll take you there myself. Oh, cheers. It's the least I can do after you waited me, so. Capital. Thank you. Capital. Just let me know when you're ready to pay him a visit. I'll be resting here for the time being. What do you know of Hobbs Barrow? I want to do a lot more mooching before we go and do that. It's supposedly a famous local landmark. I'm afraid I know nothing about it. What can you tell me about Bewley? It's a quiet town. The railway line, which I presume you arrived by, is the only news of note we've had here for years. I've heard the new station has received a mixed reaction. <laughs> I've heard many a debate, it's true. But my role is not to adjudicate on that matter. I'm very busy in my own work, you see. I'm ready to go to Mr. Shoulder's house. Excellent. I feel the fresh air will do me well. Follow me. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Fuck. Fuck! I've changed my mind. Old priest! Cease this walk! Stop and buy a cake. I will run away. Yes, excellent. Good morning, Father. Good morning, Mrs. De Plancy. Mrs. De Plancy, this is Thomasina Bateman, a visitor to our parish. We've already had the pleasure of meeting, Father. Excellent. Miss Bateman, don't hesitate to try one of Mrs. De Plancy's wonderful cakes. Yes, I've heard about her famous Bakewell puddings. I'll be here all day. Your Not friend. a fucking cake. But remember, once they're gone, they're gone. Until I make oh, more. Whelps have already gobbled up all the gingerbread. You are doing God's work, Mrs. Deplancy. He smiles upon us, Father. Miss Bateman. That's like fucking debatable. I would not like to follow you. God damn it! Blaspheming in such a manner while I'm in the company of a priest. Let's talk of grey. Of worms and epitaphs. Make to Sounds great. Paper and with rainy eyes, write Make it rain on the bosom of the earth. <coughs> Let's choose Excuse me. executors and talk of wills. 
Why? Shakespeare? Quite. Hmm. Which play? Sorry, I knew that. Uh... Does anyone have the faintest fucking clue? Because I'm going to Google it. <laughs> I want to get the right answer. Well, yes, that one. Richard the Second. Correct. Yeah. You are well read, Miss Bateman. Studying the work of the bar. Come on, Jivy. My favourite pastimes. Follow me. I don't want to. Behold. Vast expanse of God's creation. The yeah. Wars extend as far Shit as the it. Isn't it? Beautiful, is it not? It was a bit grim, actually. I find them rather desolate. Really? I disagree. The beauty of God's creation is that it takes so many forms. How can one take in such a view and not have faith? Like this. Some look at these moors and think this a godless land. But I tell See? you, he is found in all domains. The Lord's work is all about us. Tell me, Miss Bateman, do you believe in God? That's a loaded question. Tell the I truth. I brought up Anglican. The church was an important part of my early life, Father Roach. But what happened to my father eventually made me question things. If you don't mind me asking, my child, what happened to your father? He Heroin. had an accident when I was very young. I thought you used to go... Oh, fucking hell, flashbacks. Oh, Jesus. Come along now, Thomasina. Oh, Lord. Let's get out of the rain. Yes, let's. Cutscene or yeah, cutscene. Remember what I told you, all right? Be a good girl. People are unwell here. They don't want to hear you running about making noise. Understood? Yes, mother. Sure, fam. Good. And don't annoy the nurses. I promise I won't. Sure, fam. Good. Now. Let's see your father. Sure, fam. I'm mashed up, is he? Stop your fucking mithering, you bloody woman. Daddy is sleeping. Wake him up. Mummy is Mommy crying. Is crying. Yeah, I called it. Oh, look at that. They spelled it right and everything. This is definitely an English game. Mummy? Mummy? Good evening, Mr. Bateman. <laughs> Hello, little one. That sounded like something else. You must be Thomasina? Y yes. My name is Nurse Blaketon. I just need to talk to your mummy for a little bit. I'm sorry to disturb you, Mrs. Bateman. Mrs. Bateman? Look, she's having a whole fucking moment right now. Get her a gin. Will he ever talk again, Nurse Blaketon? The doctor is uncertain, Mrs. Bateman. There is the possibility that Mr. Bateman won't regain any movement at all. But we will do our utmost to look after Mr. Bateman here at Ticehurst, ma'am. He will have a nurse. Can I get some context, please? I can assure you. This is the aftermath. What happened? She's got a very skeletal face, right? Great. Blech. What sort of god would allow this fate to befall such a kind and honest man? God moves in Sorry, mysterious dear. ways. God moves in mysterious ways. I fucking told you! Loves us all. Hmm. Come along now. I could have fucking written this script. Maybe I did. 
Hello. Pagan. She scampered off in a hurry. Who was that? Some primitive folk make their home out on the moors. I ah, you keep the potato sack girl. Exploring, and don't stray too far from Bewley. I see. How much farther to Mr. Shoulder's house? Still quite a walk, I'm afraid. But we'll get to him soon enough. Now then, take a look at this. Fwop off. Legend has it that this cairn has stood here for over a thousand years. How remarkable. The Devil's Toe. I beg your pardon? That's what it's called. The Devil's Toe. Oh, I see. Come now. Onward. We walked and walked across that vast, featureless landscape. Yep. All the while, Father Roach was whistling away merrily. La 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 la. That is not whistling. We out here. What the fuck just happened? I've got no idea, but I do have a coffee. Cheers. It's hot. Yay! Yay indeed. Yay is the correct thing for you to be saying. Meanwhile, I, I noticed just before it all went way out here, before it all went wrong, that I had a another PM from this Absolution character. So uh, it turns out, like they, they sent me a message. It is indeed a pumpkin mug. It's my iconic pumpkin mug. It was deemed iconic last October when I was drinking loads of coffee out of it. Mmm. It's fucking big. Yeah, lots of coffee in there. Anyway, yeah, so I, I got this PM or DM or whatever that um, I got sent and it just randomly said, I do speak English. And I was like, what? So I didn't even bother replying. I was like, what does that even mean? After, I, just before the system went down, I got another message saying, uh, this person is banned because apparently they don't speak English. And I thought, that's weird. So I'm going to attempt to unban them. Did that do it? Yes, it has. I have removed the ban. So who knows, we might see this person coming through. Anyway, yes, it is quite amazing. The missus got it for me at some point. I think it was only an home bargain or something stupid like that. Home and bargains, b and I think it was home and bargains. Is it home and bargain or is it home bargain? I don't know. It contains hot coffee and not the San Andreas mod. Uh, that much we know for sure. Anyway, right, let's try and load this game and see how much progress we, we have just lost. Right, yeah, there's no end. Good, right, just checking, just checking. Right, that would explain my confusion. Anyway, here we are, back in the game. You can hear it at least, that's something. While we wait for the screen, look, this is my t-shirt in its entirety. Trev will probably ask later, but... That's Dessa. She's doing some sort of sick dance moves or something. I don't know. The things you learn in the office when you don't want to work. Fair! Ah, oh, good. Right, here we go. Load. Wait, no. Cancel. Continue. Oh, shit. <sighs> good! Right. That means talk to... Oh, no. That means I've not talked to fucking anybody. Is this what happened to you? What happened to you when... Because you said you lost a load of progress. At least I can skip fucking dialogue. No, I, don't. I just want to make sure that I'm, that I'm done. You know? Quite. What you... What? No, no. I see. Go, 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 go. I spoke to her first. Let's get the, the order right. Oh, get back over here. Speedrun, let's go. Speedrunning. Oh no! Speedrunning a game I've only played today. Yes, this makes sense. To be fair, I did play a game once and thought I could speedrun this, so I did. And it turned out there was no one else that had ever speedrun it or speedran it. Anyway, the point is, I was number one in the world for a hot minute until uh, some dude was quicker than me, and he was messaging me for like a month or so. And I just hadn't been on the website to see it. Because he was like, can you can you approve my run, please? And I was like, what? Oh, 
So now he moderates that page. I think that, I think that was the Woofs, you know. The Woofs raids us from time to time. He's a, he's a speedrunner, adventure game player. Hello. Good day. Would you like... He's on the... He's, you know, he's fine now. What kind of... I need to be careful while I'm clicking here. Mine is... Tell me... Oh, I'll have this... Your... What is it? Thank... Do you... Yeah... What is it? What is it? Where... Thank... Where can... Thank you... Just stop doing that. What do you... Thank you... Unfortunately... I've... Oh, I've got to look at all this shit again. In... In... Mem in... Mem in... Mem in... In... Mem in... Mem in... Mem in... Mem in... 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 Mem... Give me the trowel. Right, there's no point in going to mooch around any of that shit that we're going to see again in a minute anyway. But we do need to come in here. Good, my At the very least, to have that. Locked. Locked as well. I think they all might be. Okay, but I wanted that. Hmm. Maybe I can reunite it with its owner. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. It's mine now. I'll tell you what, actually. Before we fucking go over there. Oh shit, I didn't speak to this dude yet. Good day. Yeah. Mr. I. Mine. I. Do you know of a lot? Do you know of a lot? Oh shit. Oh, it's fine. It's only it's only IQ. Send the report. One day they'll fix it. I thought I'd melted the game's brain by uh, going too quick, but you know no, it's, it's fine. Do you know of a local landmark named Hobbs Barrow? There's a two, no. what, what, what have you heard? When? I don't mind a then you're die. Cool. Right. Let's go this way. Investigating. Investigating this. Investigating that. General investigation. Oh fuck it, Al. Ah, the unmistakable charm of old Cyril. Ah, right, that dude. Don't break it again. I'm trying. Kind of. I don't think anyone is home. Hey, we've been here. That was a whistling. See if there's anyone at the station. There bloody is! Oh, it's him! You, you gobshite! Mr. Tillett, where did you go last night? Have we met? Last night at the Plough and Furrow. Oh, Miss Bateman. Yes, me. Hello, I fucko. I drunk last night and woke up with a stinking headache. Good. You still smell like a brewery. Sorry. You went to use the lavatory and never came back, Mr. Tillett. I searched everywhere for you. I think I remember you bought me a drink. Yes, with my and last 2p. All a blur. I woke up in my bed this morning with my wife sour at me for waking her at some ungodly hour. About last night. What were you going to tell me about Leonard Shoulder? Who? Obviously. Leonard Shoulder. You told me you knew him. And promised to tell me more if I bought you a drink, which I did. So what were you going to tell me? 2p, dickhead, give it. I, uh, oh, I don't really know the old bugger. But you said you did. Oh, no bad. No, no, I, I know not about him. No, not about Leonard Shoulder. You're hiding something, Mr. Tillett. I don't believe you. I say a lot of things when I've got the drink in me. I probably just wanted you to buy me an ale. A likely story. Look, what would I gain from lying to you? I just wanted another drink. Hmm. Even if that's the case, it doesn't explain your disappearance. I, I don't remember out. Hmm. About last... You really don't remember where you went last night? As I say, it's all a blur. I remember needing to piss. Still haven't listened to their new album. Mm, nothing. Carry on meaning to get around to it and just... Came out. I did not. It's so difficult when I don't have Spotify Premium anymore. You. 
Oh, I have sight for sore eyes. It was. I checked everywhere, and you were nowhere to be found. The back door leading to the alleyway was blocked from the outside. Oh, I? Yes. You must have exited through that door, Mr. Tillett. But you just said it were blocked. There must be an explanation. My mind has drawn a blank. I bet Why? you're shooting him as well, aren't you? Did All you that ale. I told you I don't remember. I've no to say because I remember not. Hmm. I'm assuming you don't know where Mr. Shoulder lives then. Sorry, Miss Bateman. I don't know not about Leonard Shoulder. How's your headache faring? It feels like a steam engine is driving full pelt in a... How is it now? Be sure to drink plenty of water, Mr. Tillett. Aye, aye. I want me fucking 2p back, prick. So, you work here? Aye. Bewley Station Master at your service. Would you like to buy a ticket? Not just yet, thank you. I understand that no, some, some bell end took me last bit of money off me station. for a pint, aye. prick. I'd go as far as saying the whole village. How long has the station been open for? About three months. We're on the Midland Railway Line. This employment's been a saviour for me. If I weren't stood here, I'd be drinking my life away at the pub right now. No. It's worth the no. occasional withering look from Cyril and the rest of them. Because. What does a station master do? A bit of this no, and a bit of that. I don't wish to bore you with such things. As you wish. My responsibilities here keep me on the straight and narrow. I'll tell you that much. A sense of duty can do wonders for a lost soul. Indeed. This must be a rather lonesome post to occupy. Trains pass through here. It's like a pretty fucking lonely village, to be that. honest. Farewell for now. Tara. Deuces. Anything over here this time? No. Ah, fucking cat. He's gonna get that crow. And failed. See, I do like weird little incidental bits that happen in video games like that. The old adventure games. You get a lot of that in um, Simon the Sorcerer 1. Is that readily available right now? Or have I put it somewhere? Give me two sacks. Not get into that easily. I was going to show you a big box copy of uh, Simon the Sorcerer, and Simon the Sorcerer 2 for that matter. Classic adventure gaming in their original forms. Beautiful. Right. Is there anything further on? Yeah, there was something further on actually, wasn't there? There was more houses. Is it worth me looking at these? I don't think it is. There's nothing else I wish. Just checking. Nobody home. I was expecting someone to go, Get to fuck ye! The road disappears over the horizon. I see nothing but moorland. I see a surprisingly well rendered fucking signpost. Sam, so when did it come out? Like 1990? <laughs> Let me check. I know that, um,. The first I came across it was a demo that I played at my mate's house on his Amiga. So the first full Simon the Sorcerer that I played was Simon the Sorcerer 2, which is probably why I have a stronger affiliation with that one. Is that the right word to use? I'm not sure. It was 1993, though, by the way. I do know, uh, when we got our first PC, I saw there was a big box copy of Simon the Sorcerer 2 in the shop, and I was like, that, please. And then it didn't work properly on the computer, because... It was designed, the game, the disc, it was a Windows 3.1 version, and we had a computer with Windows 95. Yeah, I know, fancy. It's not worth going to investigate that shit yet, is it? Can we skip this? Nope, we've got to watch this horror show again. It's older than you, great. Oh. 
it's good. It's got a good story. It's got uh, good characters. It's got lots of references to lots of like um, I don't know, whimsical shit. There's there's references to uh, the three goats, you know, trying to go over the bridge with the troll, uh, Jack and the Beanstalk, Lord of the Rings, and Simon in the first game at least is voiced by Chris Barry of Red Dwarf fame. Tell me what you Only old school game I remember playing is Lemmings. Yeah, I played that around the same time as well. Excuse me. Same friend's house. Was it? Yeah, shut up, get on with it. This should work. Are you sure? I shall. Skip the court scene. Seen it. You know what I fucking should do is do a manual save. Which I'm not going to be able to do right now. Thank the Lord for my spare pair. Yeah, God what what did happen to you in Broken Sword that made you lose a load of progress? I'm glad, Father. The rapid healing properties of bloodletting. Thank you, Lord. I thought you said press escape to get to the fucking menu. Whatever. Oh. Uh. Fresh. Blood. Don't know, either it didn't save properly or I didn't save it. What, did you just come back for another session on it and realised everything was wrong? <gasps> Fast travel. Oh, that's awesome. This game just carries on giving me wonderful things. Didn't take too long, but was annoying. Understandably. Are you from... What... Are you from... Send Ed... What is it? What a. I'm looking. No. Thank. Do you know? Perhaps. No. What do you. Walk. I'm ready to. And off we go! Probably would have finished it if you hadn't uh, had to replay. Uh, you know what? You probably would have. There's still a few puzzles left, like, and there's certainly a head scratcher. But. There's not much left of it. Yeah, I saw that. What the f- <laughs> That was weird. Ah! Good Why are you morning, here? Father. Good morning, Mrs. De ah. They Mrs. sent you home and not anyone else. Thomas Fair enough. Bateman, a visitor to our parish. We've already had the pleasure of meeting, Father. Slip yeah. on. I thought I heard some commotion out there, which I assume could have been you coming home, but... Let's Why are you? Why are you, though? Of Dunno. Dunno. Shakespeare? Quite. Too scared Which to stop at that point, way? yeah, in case it broke further. Uh... It was Richard II, come on. Richard the Pfft, don't you know anything? Follow Please be careful not to accidentally click something I didn't choose earlier. The more's it Beautiful. I find real the be how can salt light the law. Tell me, do you I was brought up the church but Ah right, yes, this again. I forgot about this, damn it. Even more shit to do to catch up. Horror eyes. Come along now to Daddy is Daddy Daddy Mommy is Mommy Mommy Good I I'm she has sorry. the face of a skull. Will he 
ever talk again, Nurse Blaketon? There's that PM the again. Is uns but we will do our utmost to look after Mr. Bateman here at Ticehurst Man. He will have a nurse by his side at all times. I can assure you. Skip on. What sort of god would... God? Hmm. Come along now. Hello. Ah, yes, the potato sack girl. I see. Now. Right. This is where it all went wrong, isn't it? Oh, I see. Come now. Onward. Isn't it? We walked and walked oh, yeah. across. all the while Father Roach was whistling away. Just as I had begun this to is wonder where it went if wrong. we were hopelessly lost, a building emerged from the mist. Mr. Shoulder's cottage. Here we are. He's got chickens. Here we are, Miss Bateman. Unless my memory fails me completely, this is Mr. Leonard Shoulder's house. Thank you for your help, Father Roach. Now, now. No need to thank me after your... It's all right. We survived. Today. However, I have something to ask you. Yes? Please don't tell Mrs. Deplancy about my little scene in the woods. She will only fret. The poor dear woman has enough on her mind as it is. I shan't mention it. Thank you. It's just going to make me fucking lie, isn't it? Mr. Shoulder is in. Game saved. Oh, you bastard. We were that close to having some save game action. A sweet little hen. Plump and well groomed. Eat it. A fearsome looking beast. A sweet little hen. Plump. Here, chuck, chuck, chuck. Don't encourage them. Excuse you, vicar. He looks much too unruly to be picked up. This one seems fine. My chicken. Ah! Got you, you fucker. Better hold one, Father Roach. Put that thing down, would you? You're no fun. Bok bok, motherfucker. Trousers. A pair of thick woolen trousers. Chivy. The trousers feel damp. I, I genuinely thought she was going to fucking rob them. from last night's rain. That glove looks familiar. I fucking told you it was that gimp. I wonder if it matches the glove I found behind the plough and furrow. The gloves are a pair. Does this mean Mr. Shoulder was in the alley last night? Yes, yes it does. Why didn't he come inside to see me? Got spooked. A woolen undergarment. Oh, having them. Slightly damp. I have a similar one myself. So very warm. Stop looking at me. Mr. Shoulder must have dropped the matching glove last night. What was he doing in the alley? Rather rude of him not to come inside and see me. Quite. Mr. Shoulder has stacked blocks of wood neatly beneath this small lean-to. Very neat and tidy. Would you stop looking at what I'm I doing? I have no desire to lug a block of wood about the countryside. This must provide a charming view across the moor. Yeah, or terrifying. The window is much too high up you to imagine reach. being in a house that fucking desolate? Well, it des no, desolate's not the right word. Isolated, that's the right word. No sign of life. Not the vicar watching everything None. you do and then occasionally chipping in. Oh, fucking the weird nice bastard. Clean. The dwelling is by no means abandoned. Right, climb in the window then. No sign of any movement. A carved stone has been affixed to the door. I think it depicts a crescent moon. Father, what do you make of this? A peculiar adornment. I've not seen any like this in Bewley. Though it does remind me of a passage by the Bard himself. Oh god, here we go again. <clears throat> it is the very error of the moon. She comes nearer Earth than she was wont, and makes men mad. Othello? Precisely, Miss Bateman. Your knowledge Stay of Stay away from him, yeah, in it. Flawless. I consider myself to be well read, Father Roach. It's delightful to meet a fellow bookworm, I must say. Nah, mate, I got the internet on my phone. 
A carved stone has been affixed to the door. I think it depicts... It's bolted onto the door itself. I can't remove it. Mr. Shoulder? Is Thomasina Bateman here? I'm here in Bewley as discussed. Maybe try again. His hearing probably isn't the best at his age. Wasted fucking journey. Mr. Shoulder, are you home? Bellend. It appears Mr. Shoulder is not at home. What a sniffer. Curses. I don't know what that means. It's just the first Perhaps thing that came to my head when I didn't want to say any particularly rude words. It's locked. Perhaps he's gone for a stroll. Possibly. I'd suggest you call back later, my child. Can't wait. I myself must make my way back home. I have some matters to attend to at the church. Shall I accompany you back to Bewley? No, nah, go on, fuck you off. go ahead, Father. Thank you. I've got a As fast travel map Farewell, now, thank you. I hope Mr. Shoulder finds his way to you. Thank you for your help, Father Roach. My pleasure. Parting is such sweet Oh, song. God, here we go again. Yeah, could have guessed that one. Romeo and Juliet. Correct. That Chivy, please. Good night, till it be morrow. You've proven yourself to be an impeccable scholar of the Bible. Yeah! Wah! Lord be with you. And a follow. There he is. <laughs> or she is. Well, Mr. Shoulder, you've brought me to Bewley, and now you're nowhere to be found. How long have you been blocked for? Who blocked you? Welcome in. I like to think that my people don't just randomly block people. Watch it have been me. <laughs> As I trudged back to Bewley across those cold moors, I made a new resolution. I would find Hobbs Barrow myself, with or without Mr. Shoulder. The train! That must be Kenneth. I should go and meet him at the station. Yes, you must do that. Game saved. Uh, this way? You know what? Fast travel. We have that. See? Nailed it. Where is Kenneth? Already weighed his mate way to the pub, I bet. Oi, dickhead. He was supposed to wait for me at the station. Maybe he never came. I'm looking for my assistant, Kenneth. Oh, I. His train has arrived. Not a single soul disembarked the last train, Miss Bateman. Impossible. Was that not the midday train from London by way of Derby? Aye, it were. Mr. Price were here. Unloaded a few crates. But no Kenneth. Not a soul. Hold on. One of them crates had your name on it, Miss Bateman. Oh, exciting. Big one it were, with... A red ribbon. Aye. What is Kenneth playing at, sending my equipment but not himself? Waste mine. Where is my crate now? Mr. Bob. Price took away all the crates on his cart. Who? Mr. Price. He's the postmaster. Where can I find Mr. Price? I know the answer to this. The storeroom, just north of the plough and furrow. You'll see it. There's a royal mail plaque on the wall. There is. We've Thank seen you. it. Where can I find Mr. Price? He lives above. You'll see. Thank you. Why would that option I'm still be there? I'm looking for Hobbs Barrow. Hmm. Hobbs Barrow. It's why Leonard Shoulder invited me to Bewley. He thought I might like to excavate it. Oh, I. I heard about a Hobbs Barrow somewhere out there. There's some old stories around it. What stories? Mysterious ones. I can't remember. Mr. Tillett, please. He's isn't fucking important? useless, isn't he? I'm awfully sorry, Miss Bateman. I'll try to remember. If he invited you here, then I'm sure Mr. Shoulder will tell you all about it. That's if I ever get to meet him. I'm sure you will. Farewell for now. Ta-ra. 
Syria. Nope. Yes. That must be the postmaster's storeroom. And presumably that is the postman. He looks a little chirpier than your average Bewley resident. He leaves Hello. the village to go to the train station. Fucking exciting day for him. Before. I'm just visiting. Lovely. It's nice to see a new face. We don't get many visitors. My name's Henry. Henry Long. Nice to meet you, Henry. Thomasina Bateman. Wonderful. Not what a postman. A treat. Yeah. You seem in a good mood, Mr. Long. It's just lovely to see a new face. Where are you from, Miss Bateman? I'm immediately taken aback by this weird man. He seems harmless. Bullshit. Originally, a small town on the outskirts of Derby, Mr. Long. Though I currently reside in London. London. You don't sound like you're from I've Derby. Never met anyone from London? How very exciting! Have you lived there a long time? It's been quite a few years now, yes. I've heard that the air there is so heavy with smoke, it makes it hard to breathe. Is that true? Some days. Nah, no, fam. Oh, you must miss the fresh northern air. Well, you've got that in Bewley. No factories out here. Such things are a blight on his creation. I were born in this very home I stand in front of. Of course you were. Julie is in my blood. Why would I ever want to leave? Especially now I can meet new folk thanks to the railway line. <sighs> I'm looking for Mr. Price, the postmaster. Oh, Mr. Price, my lovely neighbor. I'm afraid you've just missed him. Of course I have. I saw him wheeling a large crate into his storeroom just there. Yeah, it's mine. It must be mine. I really need it. Have a look through the window to see if it's yours. Where did Mr. Price go? I don't know. The man were in a hurry. I know he has family in Bakewell. That's miles away. Did he leave by foot? No, by horse. Of course he, he did. must be a few miles down the road by now. Curses. When will Mr. Price be back? He didn't say. Could be tonight, could be a few days. How infuriating. <laughs> Fucking useless posty bastard. Story, and I'm a man of my word, Miss Bateman. I shall not budge from this spot. I bet you fucking will. Do you know a man named Leonard Shoulder? Aye. Funny old fellow. I hear he lives way out on the moor somewhere. Have you seen him recently? No. Not for a long while now that you've have to think it. about that one. Why do you ask? It's a long story, but I was to meet him in Bewley. He invited me here. Well, I must thank him when I see him for inviting such an enchanting young woman. You Stop thinking it about it. Long. It's not going to work, mate. I'm looking for Hobbs Barrow. Not here for that onky... One of those old onky? Hills. Hanky panky. Yes. Do you know Honky ponky. Believe it or not, I have Let's establish that as a new phrase. I a child. Why is that? I've got all I need right here in Bewley. And we are all truly blessed with the railway station, which brings us lovely new faces. Your opinion of the railway station differs widely from your fellow townsfolk, Mr. Long. I've not met anyone particularly keen on it. That railway line is the start of a new era for Bewley. Mark my words, there's much to protect here, but we need new blood. Well, that's what I'm saying. I hope that some of you visitors will actually stay here permanently. Why is that? So I have new Too much brother to and sister to. fucking. Oh yeah, all friends. <laughs> Some people here don't want any new friends. Cyril Farnaby, the miserable old sod, is the worst offender. Yeah, I got that. I've had the pleasure of meeting Cyril. He really dislikes the railway station. Absolutely miserable he is. I've tried to convince him many times that the station will help you. He just doesn't understand. I met him last night in the plough and furrow. Aye, the scene of our many debates. Blimey. I could go for a nail right now, actually. Same. Can I buy you a drink? Really? No. Wait. I've got no Do money. You think Mr. Kemp will let me open a tap. Perhaps. You could always ask him. Hmm. I shouldn't leave anyway. Mr. Price is relying I was gonna on say. me to keep watch of his storeroom. Goodbye. Don't be a stranger. Be as strange as I like, fuck you. Yep, that's me crate. There's my crate. Kenneth always ties a red ribbon to it. 
I can see an envelope tucked behind the ribbon. Perhaps it can help explain Kenneth's absence. I'm going to have to get in there. I have nothing else to ask for the time being. You could ask him to let you in. The postmaster isn't home. But my crate is in there. You'll have to wait for Mr. Price to get back. Useless. Right to the bar, Batman. Oh, fucking hell, of course he's back. I'm sorry to ask this, Mr. Kemp, but could I please open a tab? Still not in your purse? I'm afraid not. My assistant hasn't arrived as planned, so I find myself in a bind. He must have put the money in my crate, which is currently being held in Mr. Price's storeroom. Well, as you know, I run an honest establishment here, and I do trust you. Yay! So yes, I'll open an account for you, to be settled at the end of your stay. Of course. Thank you, Mr. Kemp. Now then, I'll be needing something of value as a deposit. I thought you said you trusted me. Aye. It's not personal, lass. One can never be too cautious. Well, I've got that necklace, haven't I? I found Mr. Shoulders home. Thanks to the help of Father Roach. Wonderful. So you've met our vicar then? Yes, I did. An interesting character. Could Indeed. Say that. So... Did old Leonard apologise for his absence? Not quite. He wasn't home. What is that man playing at? You tell me. I've decided to find Hobbs Barrow without Mr. Shoulder's aid. Are you sure that's a wise idea, lass? What other choice do I have? I have a feeling he is avoiding me. Do you know where I can find the Barrow? No, sorry. Bullshit. I say that on my mother's grave, Miss Bateman. Fair enough. My assistant has not arrived as planned. Yes, we've established oh, that. Is everything all right? I'm not entirely sure. Am I to keep a room for him just in case? If you could hold it for one more night, Mr. Kemp. As you wish. How can I open a tab again? Leave me an item of value. I'll give it back to you when it will be time to pay the piper. Goodbye. See you soon. Right. This. Will you accept this silver cross pendant as a deposit? Can I take a closer look at it? That's mine! Aye, ah, silver. Yes. I'll do. Thank you, Mr. Kemp. Nailed Can I it. get you something to drink? Not right now, Mr. Kemp. As you were. Game saved. Fucking oh, uh, uh. It's fine. I must say, last night is. Just wanted to see if there was anything suspicious going on in the bedroom. The candle has melted. It's not much use anymore. Perhaps Mr. Kemp will replace it this evening. One would hope so. That candle didn't last. I've hung my dress aside from... Right, nothing nothing new to report as far as I can tell. Oh wait, drawers. A decrepit set of drawers. Decrepit! Lovely, what a great word. Jammed shut. The wood must have warped over the years. Right. Fuck them about the place for a bit. Sure will work in the end, won't it? Good day, sir. useless oh god right seems about as good a time as any to go and uh, 10 101 and replenish my coffee I shall return post haste hello there how you return with a fucking accent for reasons I don't know is that dog still barking Yes. Right, I guess I have to talk to everybody again. Yay. Hello. Oh, we never went to go and see those dickhead kids, did we? I forgot really about them. Must find Hobbs Barrow. What did I tell you last time? Not to be found digging around in those things. Goodbye. Where Hurrah. were they? Oh, you know what? Let's just ask. 
Ask every fucker I see along the way. Hello. E yes. Goodbye. No. Hello. E are you sure you know nothing of Hobbs Barrow? Not like a wheelbarrow. Never mind. Goodbye. <sighs> Goodbye, miss. See ya. Good day. Hello, miss. Are you sure you know nothing? I really must find it. I'm sure. Goodbye. Bye, miss. Good day. Yes. Fucking barrow, mate. Are you sure you don't know where Hobbs Barrow is? Sorry, lass. Thanks for your time. Blah! Aye. Forgot to put sweetener in it. Later. Hello. Good day. Hmm. Father Roach asked me not to discuss that with Mrs. De Plancy. Are you sure you don't know where Hobbs Barrow is? Hobbs what? Never mind. Hobbscotch. Well, hey, jokes. Lord be with you. Yeah, whatever. Oi, church boy, where you at? Oh, he's probably in the vicarage, right? No, he said he had shit to do with the church. Fucking lying bastard. Where's the... Where's the... Where's the, where's the, where's the vicarage at? Was it, was it this way? I genuinely don't remember. Fuck. Wait, hold on. What is further this way? And squirrel. And an hole. Excuse no you. No doubt home to many a woodland creature. I have no desire to go rooting about in there. I have a desire to go rooting about in there, though. Get the trowel. Hmm. No, that won't work. I fucking will. Dig it out. I shall see you later this evening, gents. Hello. Well, I say, greetings, my dear. Hello. Immediately, sir. fuck off. A pause on your beauty, for I shall see you again soon. Wait. <laughs> Some nerve. Teleports into the fucking Wait. ether. You're blushing. I most certainly am not. The men look like they've spent many a long day exposed to the harsh moorland weather. The men... Sure. Sorry, lass. No way through here today. Says who? Lord Panswick. Now get back before you find yourself under a falling tree. My name is Thomasina Bateman. Oh, I. You're not from round here, Thomas Cena Bateman. No, just visiting. What is your name, sir? Horace. Are you in charge here? I am indeed. Tell me, who was that arrogant man here just now? Probably that lord. Someone passing by. It sounded like you knew him better than that. I don't mean to be disrespectful, but that's none of your business. Fair. What are you doing here? What does it look like I'm doing? We're chopping down trees. There is no need to be sarcastic. We're employed by Lord Panswick. He's ordered us to gather logs from his woods. That's what we're doing. These are his woods? Aye, his lordship owns most of the land round Beoli. Who is Lord Panswick? Our governor. He's the governor of the whole town. All right, Owen, back to work now. He lives in Beaulieu? Aye, not far away. But his lordship doesn't like questions. Or visitors. Now please leave us to our work. Do you know a man named Leonard Shoulder? No, I don't. Can you let me get back to my work now? Why are you gathering logs for Lord Panswick? By heck, you ask a lot of questions. Yep. If you must know, his lordship is repairing an old ruin on his land. We need the timber for the restoration work. How intriguing. What type of ruin is Lord Panswick restoring? An old chapel. I should rather like to see it. Not possible. His lordship does not welcome visitors. Oh, fuck to me, that needs a sweetener. I mean, I'll drink it. Do you know where but... I can find a place called Hobbs Barrow? Never heard of it. Of course Thanks you for your time. 
We'll be done by tomorrow morning. Come back then if you want to explore the woods. I quite like this gatekeeping sort of thing. It's keeping me from fucking wandering off to places I don't need to go to. I'll let him get on with I'll let him get on. Good mechanics. This game is really well put together. Ah, uh, oh, shit. <gasps> Wait, he's not here. She'll tell me. Hey, stay away. It's bad luck to took... I'm... Uh... Good day. Wally took... Pardon? He took her and ran off. Wait, what? I hate him. Is Myrtle one of your dolls? Yes. My favourite. Mummy made her for me. She's so beautiful. Wally is the worst brother in the whole world. I'm sorry to hear that. What is your name, little one? Jane. It's a pleasure to meet you, Jane. My name is Thomasina. I'm very annoyed that I forgot to check uh, check in with these gimps first. This is a lovely little beck. It's where we get our water. It's good. Your dolls look. Thank you, mate. I love them today. Well, tell me more. Daddy said we should. It all. What god? Jane. It. Skipping on. Remember, we've done this bit. This bit. No. Well, I your father, you see, see my... <sighs> Why did your brother take Myrtle away? This bit we have not He's done. He's jealous because Daddy is letting me come with him to the market tomorrow. Wally thinks I'm Daddy's favourite, so he took Myrtle from me. What if he rips her to tatters? What if he feeds her to Mr. Bryden's goat? Don't worry, Jane. I'm sure he wouldn't do such a thing. Where did your brother go? But he fucking will. I don't know. Home, maybe. But I have to wait here for Myrtle's friends to dry out. Do you know an old man? No. Have you heard of a place called... I... Yeah, he's not here to yes. stop you. You have? We aren't supposed to talk about it. Why not? Would you like to go there? Yes, I would very much like to. I'll tell you where it is if you find Myrtle for me. Fetch quest. You will? But don't tell anyone about it or I'll be told off. I promise. Please find Myrtle first. I miss her. I will. Where do you live? Our home is on the other side of the village, miss. Of course it is. Maybe Wally went back there. Or maybe he's left her out on the moors. Poor Myrtle. I'm going to kick him so hard. Where do you live? Our home is made on poor I thought there'd be Goodbye. more to that. Bye, there was not. Fast travel to here other side of the village is this way that's an alley wait a sec oh I thought something had popped up in the puddle there there you are you little shit hello there my name's Thomasina yeah What's yours? Wally. Do you know a man called Len? No. Have you heard of a... No. It's going through the motions. What do you know about Lord Panswick? I heard he owns the whole county. Have you met him? No. He lives out on the moors somewhere. But everyone does what he tells them to. Why is that? Because he has a lot of money. Jane tells me you've taken Myrtle away. And what if I did? That's a bit mean, don't you think? She kicked me! Look at this bruise on my leg! Alright. That does look quite bad. Why did she kick you? Because she's a little goblin! You don't know what she can be like! Besides, Myrtle is gone now. I've given her to the fair folk. That'll teach her. Oh, God. Who are the fair folk? The little people of the moors. Did you put them in the middle of that fucking time. mushroom circle? I bet little you did. Little people. You don't mean fairies, do you? We call them fair folk round here. Wally, there is no such thing as fairies. It's two, and I gave them a doll. Where can I find these fair folk? Follow the tinker of their tiny bells. I hear them when the wind dies. They dance around their little house. But where is this? little house just listen for the bells you'll find it <sighs> sounds like shit to me think about bringing that door back that will just bring bad luck for all of us goodbye the road disappears rubbish you know what it's really weird 
that they've chosen to take like this sprite and shrink it down as opposed to making a really tiny one out of just like a few pixels which is the classic way to do adventure gaming because i mean look how out of place she the looks down there, there and then that sign here in the rocks looks really really weird doesn't keep it's not, not in keeping with the aesthetic which is odd all right what do you know about fairies hello what can you tell me about Lord oh God. Brunswick? All this. Not to say, except don't be sniffing around his lordship's manor. You'll end up with a round of shot in you. I beg your pardon? You heard me. Just mind your own business around here. Goodbye. Ta-ra. Ta-ra. What can you tell me about Lord... A most charming man, Miss Bateman. He looks after us here, a good fellow. Where does he live? Panswick Manor on the moors. No visitors allowed. His lordship likes his privacy. Goodbye. See you soon. Hello. I, what do you know? He gave me some sweets, lads. My friend says that Lord Panswick has oh. special trees at his manor that grow sweets on their branches. Well, your friend's a dickhead. That's true, miss. No. I think that's very unlikely. Me too. Goodbye. Goodbye, miss. Good day. Hello. What? Not a lot. I know he's in charge around here. Does he come to the village often? Not really. He has a manor out on the moors. Have you ever been there? Evans, no. Villages aren't allowed there. Why not? Don't know. It's just the way it is. Hmm. Goodbye. Bye, miss. Oh, what's up? Busy. Okay, love you. Bye. Back to work she goes. Out on the winding, windy moors. Good day. Yes, indeed. I thought yes. you might have gone. What can you tell me of Lord Panswick? His lordship commands much respect around here, lass. Not for respect. Keeps me busy with work. Why do you ask? Just curious. Bo. Thanks for your time. That wasn't very satisfying. Speak to you later. Better. There we go. In a bit, fuckstick. You there, gobshite. Good day to you, Cyril. Went to make eighty percent of your bed. Curious, what's the missing twenty percent? What are you up to, Cyril? Keeping an eye on that bleeding railway station. Well, to me, in a few hours, we'll appreciate it. Fair. Really hate that station, don't you? Oh, I curse Midland Railway for bringing their damn line through Bewley. This is our town, our land. It is no place for outsiders. So you keep saying. Anyway, no more trains today. One train a day, mate. Chill out. With an ale, I think. I could do with one Sheet's myself. still damp, so it's in the tumble dryer. Fair. Uh, Pillows and duvet taken care of, though. Ah, oh, but the struggle of putting a sheet on, though, fitted, I presume. I found Mr. Schultz so much easier. today, but he wasn't home. Why the bleeding hell should I care, lass? I'm looking for Hobbs Barrow. Do you know where it is? Mind your own business, lass. You really are quite helpful, aren't you? Bah. What do you make of Henry Long? Long, long, <laughs> long, long. Who thinks that station's a good idea? Can you imagine? Strangers pouring into Bewley. Turns the stomach, that does. Maybe he has a point. You could travel. Bah! You're an outsider. I'd expect you to have such a bad opinion. But Henry, he's a Bewley lad. We've had the odd Barney or two in the pub over it all. I can imagine. Can I buy you a drink, Cyril? Well? Yes. Come on, then, lass. Follow me. Change your tune, knobhead. Off we fuck. So then, he turns around and says, Why is a dog like a tree? And I says, I don't know. And he says, Because they both lose their bark once they're dead. Oh, fucking <laughs> hell. Very droll, Cyril. Well, it's been a pleasure, but I must be off. Aye, lass. Time for the drink. You're not too bad for an outsider. <laughs> That's the way. Fucking win, win their uh, appreciation with bevies. Again for the ale, lass. Just now checking. Leave me be. No, and he's fucked I off. I must say, 
Just checking. I can't think of anything. Good. Moving on. We need to find these fairy folk. Fairy focals, if you will. Ha! <laughs> Fucking quality joke. I'm on after the band. Oh, this is the vicarage, isn't it? Beside the door. Oi, vicar man. I don't think anyone is home. Gobshite. I have nothing else. I can't think. Of Hello. Good day. Can I buy you a drink, Henry? Really? Really. We can talk more at the inn. But I told Mr. Price I'd keep watch of his storeroom. Don't give a shit. I'm going to get you pissed and then break this in. very reason. You're right. One drink won't take long. I shall take you up on your offer, Miss Bateman. Let us make our way. Make it so. To think, if that station hadn't been built, we would never have met. Blessed be the Midland Railway. Idiot! Ah, here we go. Debate. That station is the worst decision this village has ever made. Cyril Farnaby, a miserable man with miserable ideas. I will change your mind even if it kills me. Kill him first. Cool, right. How do I break him? <laughs> Hi, Tess. How have I upset you today? Look, you are sending expected. something on chat. I need to get inside without attracting too much attention. Oh, right. The WhatsApp chat. Open and turn volume up. That sounds worrying, but sure. The door is still locked. Right, yeah, I'm going to need Mandem's key, aren't I? Any hidey holes? He's currently debating the merits of the railway station at the inn. Yeah, fuck. Uh, yeah, that seems like the quickest route. Right, what on earth have you sent here? I can already see. If I get a copyright strike for this, it's only six seconds, we should be fine. So Tessa is in her whip, and she is listening to this. And I'm assuming she sent me this because... No, I didn't get jump scared. I'm assuming it's because... Oh, AJ sent that to you. So, AJ was in his whip listening to Muse, and I'm assuming it got sent to you because... Yes, Muse. Them. I'm assuming because me and Krusty did a rap over that, uh, the Supermassive Black Hole instrumental once called We're Massive, We're Huge. Right, give me two... Yes, I was correct. Two sex. Dogs have entered the... Look, it's Keith. Ugh. Yes, Keith. <laughs> Terry! Terry! Where is Terry? Come here! Terry! 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 Ter Terry! They used to be uh, telling him to get out, so he's confused. Terry, come here! Terry! Where is Terry? Where's Terry? Terry! I have to go and get Terry now, aren't I? Keith and Terry. And Terry thinks he's in trouble. He's scarpering. What have you done? Who did that? Who did this? You have no idea what I'm saying. Can't be in trouble. Keith and Terry. Here they are. And away they go. Fuck you, fuck. What's the matter with you? Shut up. 
Absolute weapons, the pair of them. Right. As we were. What was I doing? I am befuddled. Oh, right, yeah, I came here to try and get the key, didn't I? Maybe the old man will punch him or something. I'll leave Cyril and Henry to their grand debate. You don't even look. I'll leave. <sighs> These two are stubborn. You put. Man's got the key! I have nothing. Ugh. Useless. Right, we have finally arrived at a part of the game where I was technically a little over two hours in, aren't we? Um, a little over two hours? More? Less? What time did I start? About half eight, wasn't it? Nearly three hours in. Um, yeah, finally, after nearly three hours, we're at a point in the game where I'm not entirely sure what I'm up to. I mean, I, I know, but I'm confused. I have nothing else. Hello, good dear. What do you know about Lord Panswick? Wretched man. They say he is restoring a chapel near his manor. Okay. But for whom and to what god, I ask? Is he a man of faith? <laughs> I've barely seen him set foot in St. Edmund's. All right. It doesn't stop him from acting as our god-given ruler. Stay away from him, pet. Don't get yourself tangled up in local affairs. I certainly don't intend to. <laughs> That's where your username comes from, isn't it, Absolution? 20 years old, that album. God, I want it. I want that 20-year anniversary one so much. I'm sure Streamlabs will tell you that uh, tossing coins to your Twitcher will aid me in that at some point. Crippling vinyl addiction. Why do you call Lord Panswick wretched? He hides in that manner of his and cares not for his people. I've heard stories whispered in the pews, you know. What kind of stories? That he shoots people on sight. Anyone that strays onto Panswick Manor. Good grief. Yet he will walk into the plough and furrow and buy ale for all and be hailed as our protector. <laughs> well, he's got a piece, I so. To God and God alone. Forgive me, pet. I shouldn't get so worked up. Not your age, Not no. at all. I appreciate your honesty, Mrs. Deplancy. Thank you for your time. Lord be with you. Yeah, whatever. Right, maybe, uh, maybe Church Boy is in there. It's locked. Streamlabs is having a moment right now. Where are you, you fuck? I, I can admire. This must be where the local vicar sat. Stained glass depiction. It's not my special. Extra. I can admire. A memorial list of former vicars. They stretch back several hundred years. A memorial list. They stretch. Those of seen. The flowers have long since dried out. Hmm. What to do, where to go? They aren't mine to damp rub. I do enjoy the... We didn't do any of this shit previously. The water is ice. I mean, we did, but, but you know, that was before the game shut sweet. itself. The delicate flowers smell rather sweet. Can I touch this now? Hey, nope. It's bad luck to I'm serious. Uh Right, okay. I think I should save. It's just occurred to me we've not done that in a while. Um The hunt for keys and fairies. Uh shite. Wait, that's just where I... No, that's not where I came from. Well, let's go and see the station master. I'm going to take the long walk in case we encounter anyone in this little amiable bit. Oi, station boy. 
What can you tell me about Lord Panswick? Oh, you've heard of his lordship then? I have. Yes. Do you know him? Aye. He comes into the village from time to time, gives sweets to the children, hires young men to work his land. He's well liked around here. I sense some hesitation, Mr. Tillich. Well, we kind of have an unspoken agreement. You know, you can like ask these questions in the chat, yeah. Looks after us. Um, favorite song. That's a tricky one. I don't follow. He likes his privacy. Some people do. No one is allowed to visit him. Lots. Do you mean to say that he's a bit eccentric? No. I've heard people got fired at when approaching his manor uninvited. He used to really enjoy hysteria but is from that true? album specifically. I was playing I on my bass. Time is running out know. and uh, sing for absolution. To the day. Newborn is obviously a classic. Uh, Space Dementia is fucking quality. Just, you know, most of Origin of Symmetry is great. More recent stuff. I don't know, I've got, I've got a big love for The Handler. That's a good tune. That's a lot of fun to play as well. I want to go and get my bass sound now. It's only there. I've got loads, but I've got an acoustic bass, which is, you know, dead handy for when I fancy a quick jam. Right, this way must be the mushrooms. Aha! I'd better not touch them. They could be poisonous. Yes, but that is... It looks like something has been buried in the middle. Yeah, the doll. I told you it'd be the fucking mushrooms. Check me out, I know this game. Uh oh. Thomasina, please stop leaving your toys lying about the place. What happened the last time you left your dolly under the tree? Got bird shit on. Oh, well, Fox yes, ate it. it. Fetch it now, won't you? Then I'll fix your supper. Yes, madame. Get the fucking course it's saved. It's fine. <gasps> Fucking mushrooms, mate! Hello, fairies. Oh, she used to believe. It's the gateway to the fairy kingdom. Of course it is. <laughs> what? Hello. Fucking hell, she was a bit special as a kid, wasn't she? It's me, Dolly! There she is. There you are, Josephine. I won't let the foxes eat you. <laughs> Who's that you have there, little bird? I can't pick Josephine, one. It's impossible. Favourite band. Introduce me to the fairies. Oh, fairies, you say? Yes, Daddy. Do you believe in fairies? Of course. Do you see those mushrooms over there? Yes. That's the gateway to their kingdom. That's where Josephine and I go to talk to the fairies. And to be clear, our chat is fine. Now, it is a safe me, space. Thomasina. Yes. You're old enough now to hear Pride this. ourselves on having There's a, no a very safe, welcoming channel dolls, for all. My little bird. What do you mean? I'm sorry, my dear child. I do not wish to upset you. I just want to make sure that you understand the difference between fantasy and reality. Josephine is just a doll, and fairies do not exist. But, Daddy... He's fun, this guy, Science isn't he? is the great antidote to the poison of enthusiasm and superstition. <laughs> enthusiasm? Please remember that. If you hear anything about fairies or the like again, know that it's hogwash. What is it? Bullshit. Hogwash. Did Wally bury the doll, I wonder? Well, yeah. Ah, there you go. Didn't even need to tell her to get a trowel out. Took a puzzle away from me, that did. This must be Jane's ragdoll. She needs a bath. Else else, worms. Look at it writhing away. Writhy writhy. Look at it writhing. You're gonna say look that for all of them. Look at, look at. Hmm. You're coming with me, little fellow. I shall name you Kenneth. <laughs> After my assistant. I've already taken one. Yeah. You can have more worms. Perhaps I mean, the fact you carry one at all is a bit weird. The fair folk, young Wally, was so fearful of. How strange. There is a hairpin pierced through the arm. This may come in handy. I'll keep it. Ah! Lockpicks! Nice. I shall not return from Kenneth the Worm indeed. 
It's hilarious. We have a group of friends who uh, refer to uh, a lady device. I'll put it as 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 uh, chilled as I can, as Kenneth. So that is quite funny. Uh, where is this bitch? Can't remember. Right, you know what I'm saying, though. That's that's what matters. That it's that way, isn't it? Yes. I have your doll. I present to you, Myrtle. Myrtle. I missed you so much. I bet you did. Now, I believe we had a deal. Hide and seek. You fucking what, love? Fuck, gobshite. It's in moments like these I thank myself for not having children. Hey! Fuck you. I'm going this way. I'm going to try my theory out, in it. Kenneth taught me this useful trick. Fucking a nailed it! More than a hair accessory. A few wiggles and this lock should spring right open. Snapped the hairpin in the process, but I managed to unlock the door. Good. Let's open this envelope. Yes, let's. Jivvy! There's a note inside. Every time I see the name, I'm reminded, and it is hilarious. Where's Kenneth? Well, wouldn't you like to know? Miss Bateman, I beg for your forgiveness. A matter of grave urgency has arisen in London, and I cannot join you in Bel... Uh, Bewley. I patch your usual equipment and pray you will find uh, local assistance in my absence. I look forward to seeing you upon your return. Yours faithfully, Kenneth Murdoch. How very frustrating. I think you'll forget about I that child, and at some point we'll randomly stumble upon her in the woods I again and just be like, "Oh end. yeah, we were doing the thing." Back. Nah, I'm doing. I'm doing that next. I just wanted to get Moving my shit first. Moving a fully laden crate through the village square was no easy task. Somehow, no one was there to witness it. But I didn't give up, because I never give up, do I, Mother? I am as stubborn as my father, as he okay, okay, to fair. Well, me. I mean, it depends what he throws at me next, really, doesn't it? But I'm not drinking, am I? So we should be fine. She's only just but opening it. Where is my money? Great. It's not in here. Wonderful. Get if you absolute liability of a man. It looks like everything else is in here. Hicks, specimen trays. You got a phone Shovels. line around here Ooh, somewhere. Chisel, I'll take that. I'm gonna have to send a fucking letter. It feels light. There mustn't be any oil inside. Brilliant. I'll leave the rest in the crate. Stanley assured me things would be safe here. Yeah, outside. Leave it open as no well, why don't you? And no assistant. This is most inconvenient. Still, Never gonna get a cake at this rate. Situations. Not that she sells cake. Now. I'll worry about money later. I must find that barrow and get on with the excavation. Might find some money in uh, in the process of that. Right. Quickest route here. See, look, nailed it. And she's off. Anything fresh? No. Well, that doesn't strike me as being particularly safe. Jane? Found you, you little fuck. Jane, get out of there. You'll get eaten by a badger. Don't make me come in. Fine. Curses. The hole is too small for me to fit through. Now, remember when I told you to fucking put the bastard trousers to work and you were like, nah, mate. 
Oh, I was always happiest with a trowel in my hand. Of course you were, that makes perfect sense. Uncovering hidden worlds within the earth itself, clod by clod. That should do it. <laughs> Jane! Jane? 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 Jason! Oh, give me oil in my lamp. Presumably. The lantern has an ignition switch. Ooh. It doesn't need lighting with a match. Fucking use I need it then. paraffin to fuel Obviously. my lantern. Right, so I, be, I guess I'm fucked until then, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, lads, you got I any paraffin? Anything else. No, they do not. Um. Right. I can't think you? of any. Cool. I have nothing. Good day, sir. I'll leave Cyril in. Nope. Wait, can I have my brolly back just in case? No. No, I cannot. The brolly lives there now forever. Excuse me. Do you start fires? There's nothing else. I, I have nothing. I'd love to make an adventure game. I just wouldn't know where to fucking begin. Yes. I'd be shit at the art. I'd be shit at the story. But fuck me, I could do a voice. I was wondering if you might be able to spare some lantern oil. I don't have much to spare, lass. Paraffin is as rare as hen's teeth in these parts. Yeah, well, give it me How anyway. Much coin do you have? Fucking none. none. I'm afraid. If you're in a bind, I can trade you a small amount. Yeah. A trade, you say? Aye. What are you after? What can I trade you for some lantern oil? Surprise me. All right. Thanks for your time. Aye. Speak to you later. How's about I trade you this worm? Hmm. I don't think Mr. Crozier would be interested in trading his paraffin for this. Well, that's no fucking help, is it? I don't want to give him any of my good shit. Ch chisel? Hmm. I don't. That's probably for the best. My broken Look, lantern. We have the same lantern. Aye. So we do. Good. Do you want this glove? Hmm. Matches? Hmm. How's about you come and see me later? Hmm. hmm. Well, shit! Wait. A fantastic specimen. Alas, it is not mine to take. I didn't come to Bewley to sweep their streets. You don't give a fuck, it mate. It looks like the same make as my own. The blacksmith is right here. I've no need to go inside. Why, rob him? It's Mr. Crow. It looks like. Fuck. The bucket is. The bucket is. Right. Ten one hundred one. I'll return and then we'll fucking puzzle this shit out. Tell you what. It's mighty odd that we've not seen Eidner era Trevor thus far, isn't it? Oh well. Right, as we were. Uh, oh, fuck, right, okay. Let's go and find some shit. Let's go and break into his house. I'll oh, take your time, love. I don't think I. You know no one's home. Can't think. Yeah, I didn't think so. Fuck. They aren't mine. See, I like the idea I've got the fast travel, but at the same time, I feel like I just need to walk everywhere in case there's some sort of incidental thing that I might miss otherwise.
You know what? I never checked out all those headstones this time around. William Pat Modest and This appears to be Get in there. I may be a barrow digger, but I am no grave robber. Fair enough. Here li Sad death is Here lies today Joseph John dearly beloved forever Hmm. Hmm. And rabbit, see. Margaret, I wonder who was. We appear to have parked up. And I can't do anything. Just, just click to get off. Ah, oh, I got Chivy. Sometimes we all need to sit and watch the world go by. We don't, but we can, I guess. What a peculiar... I can't... What a peculiar name. I can't quite see the resemblance myself. The devil's... <laughs> Fucking music is spooky round here. Let's see if he's home, though. Way to meet you, Mr. Shoulder. Please open the door. Mr. Shoulder continues to prove himself elusive. Fuck's sake. Smash it up with a chisel. That's a peculiar idea. No, it isn't. That's a peculiar. Ah. I do not wish to harass the hen. Harass the hen. I do not wish. I do not wish to. There's some dodgy shit going on around here, I'm telling you. No sign of any movement. Rabbit again. Get it. Uh oh. This is where I dug up Jane's ragdoll. This is where I dug. Having a snack. The moors stretch into the. Oh, bollocks. Uh, any ideas, anybody? I don't think anyone is home. No, I'm getting that impression. It was. It was very good. Hmm. No one here. The door has... The build... I don't need to go in there again. But you might find treats. He's currently debating... Ah, oh, you know what might have uh, changed at this point? That little girl wasn't there, so that implies she would have gone home. And that little boy is going to give me There's shit. Nothing else I wish. Or not. Nobody home. Where are your parents? The road disappeared. Yep, good. Right, okay. Been everywhere. We are officially stumped. I can't think of any. I don't wish to carry around my. I suspect. I'd rather. Not. The window. I see no sign. The post is. I could. T the post. I could tell. Oh dear. I don't wish to. Ca I've too. I've hung aside from that. I've stored my a box. I've stored my a box. I've too much to do today to wait. I don't wish to. I don't want to take the can. Oh bollocks!
pulling the bell would be quite Hmm. I say hmm. I don't think anyone Where is he then? There's no further distance to go over over yonder. No. The tr did I try and give him the trowel? I don't remember. Hmm. I tried to give him everything, haven't I? Check the all-to-do list. Okay, I'll just take a look around the area, see what I can find out about. Yeah, we know that. Refill the lantern. My lantern has no fuel. I need some paraffin in order for it to work. <sighs> this must belong to someone. I should... Per perhaps this... What am I missing? They are still locked. The pews are contained within compartments that can be locked. I've seen a similar design in other normal. That weirds me out, this thing. I feel like it's going to be important later. Unfortunately, Rob, I don't. A fine assortment. I can't think. <sighs> there's, there's no one left to fucking talk to. Hey, there's lads. nothing else I Lass, there's no way down the path today. Oh man. I am open to suggestions. Will not use a walkthrough. So I was going to say to Re last night. Oftentimes, with adventure games I've not played before, I do end up resorting to a walkthrough, but not today. We will work this shit out. I don't think anyone is home. Somehow. These flowers look pretty. The window box. The window box. Kentucky Fried Chicken in a window These box. These flowers look pretty. Someone must take the window box. I have not. He looks like a rather shady character. Shady. Aftermath. I'd rather. I'm a fucking idiot. I said earlier, oh, the little girl's gone, so she's probably gone home. No, she's in a hole. We know that. What we don't know is what the fuck it is we're doing. That's the one thing the game doesn't have, and that's a hint system. I wouldn't mind one. Though, to be fair, as soon as I start using hints, that's it. <laughs> this house looks... He's currently... I have nothing else to ask for. Good day, sir. Is the now new? I must say, last. I'll leave. I'll leave. I'm glad. These two. These two are. I'm glad I found Mr. Tillett. A biblical... <sighs> I 
I don't want to use a walkthrough. I want to puzzle it out. I can't. There's nothing. I just have no idea what to fucking do. About now, are you home now? Mr. Show. You're a sweet little thing, aren't you? Bok Bok. He looks much too. You're but a sweet little thing, aren't you? The trousers freshly hung. Mr. Schuld, what was he doing? Rather rude of him not to come. Slightly damp. No sign ah, of any good evening, Kirsty. Welcome to the first point in this entire game that I have been stumped. I'm just kind of wandering aimlessly at the moment because I've got no idea why I go on. How are you anyway? What have you been up to? This is where I dig it up some more. I already rec feed the worm to the bird. Hmm. I can't see. Can't think. This leads to the. Wandering aimlessly it's in these games is my speciality. <laughs> and you're good. You went to Harvester. Oh, I can't imagine that could have been good. I don't rate Harvesters. Everything seems to taste the same. I don't think they clean their grills properly. Or the griddles, rather. It's locked. Why don't you try that key in there? No. Well, I know it isn't, but. Smash no, it up. No. Hmm. Oh, mate, what is guanin? I'm at a complete and total bastard loss. Mr. Tillett is right there. Yeah. A door. If I take the sign, how would the trains know where to stop? Signals, probably. Uly, home of the elusive Hobbs Barrow. My mother always told me not to walk on railway tracks. Oh, it makes sense. The tracks look quite untarnished. Been missing your streams because I'm not getting here. notifications from Twitter. What? Well, you better fix that. I wonder if that's why we've not seen Harriet this week. I was tempted to give everyone a text earlier because I figured this is. Well, I figured I was going to have fun with this one tonight, and so far, yes, except for this bit where I have no idea what the fuck it is I'm doing. I'm going to end up having to use a walkthrough. I'm telling you. Yes. Wait. <gasps> I noticed your spectacular fossil specimen. Oh, I, I collect them. Well, have I got news for you? Um... Ammonite. I'm impressed, lass. From the Jurassic period, I'd venture. Do you collect them too, then? It's been on my uh, True, it's been on my wish list on Steam for a while, but history. because Re here was oh, playing uh, Broken Sword last night, it inspired me to play some it's adventure games. To remember and I thought, what's a spoopy one? What's good adventure. this year? And this Quite. one pops up, and I was like, oh shit, that's on my wish list. Let's do that. It's spoopy. What can I surprise me? Thanks for your time. <gasps> of course. I know what to do. I've solved it. Don't worry, boys and girls. Stay in your seats. We've got this. Point and click classic indeed. Look, check this out. We've got a chisel. Fucking have that. Splendid. 
Splendid. Oh, fucking hell, we just lost a driver. Piece. Fucking Discworld. That little girl is going to be super pissed that I did that, but who gives a fuck? Would you trade some of your paraffin for this? Yeah, you know, I'm a delivery driver, aren't I? Just got a message into our uh, private driver's group, away from the watchful eyes of the supermarché. We've got a WhatsApp group. He's just messaged saying, hi, hi everyone, just want to say it's been great working with you, but as of Monday, I'm not a driver anymore. And I'm like, what? There you are. Thank you, Mr. Crozier. Give me oil in my lamp, find that daft little bitch. She's hiding in a hole, the bastard. My lantern is fueled and ready for action. Looks like you've already turned it on, you mad fuck. Ah, oh, we are cooking with gas now. Or in this case, paraffin. It'd be fine, right. it just means extra Let's shifts for me. Good use. To be fair, he only worked like fucking two shifts a week anyway, so it's not really an issue. Why are there flies down here? Jane, come out at once. Why why is the heartbeat getting bigger? I told you there would be a fucking angry badger down here. Goodness me. Where the fuck... You bint. Jane. Silly. What are you doing in that smelly old badger's hole? You were in there. No, I weren't. Yes, you were. I fucking heard you. True. I was hiding behind that tree over there. I got bored of waiting for you. So where can I find Hobbs Barrow? Go north from the church graveyard. I'm not giving in to Google. You'll see, see I didn't need to, I'm a genius. On the horizon. That's Mr. Bryden's farm. Hobbs Barrow is there. Don't tell any grown ups I told you. And thanks for getting Myrtle back. My pleasure. Thank you, Jane. You've I wasn't been listening to help. the directions there at all. Game saved. I mean, I presume this way. Not this way. I'm incorrect. It's definitely an way, though. Oh, bollocks. Those damn badges! Can't trust them. Unless they are being animated by Mr. Weevil. Classic. As I trudged through the barren moors, with only the odd sheep for company, I reflected upon my visit to Bewley thus far. It's been shite. The enigmatic Mr. Shoulder and his puzzling disappearance. The townsfolk of Bewley, who had made it as difficult as they could for me to find Hobbs Barrow. The suspicion, the wariness in their eyes. Only now I know it was actually fear. In the end, it was the innocence of a child, young Jane, that condemned me to my fate. That doesn't sound very positive, does it? Right, what we got? Ploughed fields stretch far and wide, an unusual sight for this area. Ah, the smell of damp soil and rotting vegetation. Ah, the smell of damp soil and rotting vegetation. I have no desire to wander the furrows. The gate opens out into a vast tilled field. The entrance to the farmhouse. What do you want? My name is Thomasina Bateman. Mr. Bryden, I presume. Aye. 
What do you want, lass? I understand Hobbs Barrow is located on your land. Oh, well, yes. Why do you ask? I am an antiquarian, Mr. Bryden. I'm writing a volume on the Barrows of England. Oh, I suppose you'll be wanting to dig about it. If at all possible, Mr. Bryden. I was invited to Bewley by Mr. Leonard Shoulder, who told me such an excavation would be possible. Leonard Shoulder? Ha! I haven't seen him in years. The last I heard, he were on death's door. There's to be no more digging there, lass. Not since it went so badly last time. Tell me more. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Bryden. Or tell me I about yourself. I'm my wife. I might be long in tooth, but I can still run this farm without too much help. Was there a previous excavation of Hobbs Barrow? I've run out of coffee, uh, and it is now post midnight. Up. It's time What's for my other non-alcoholic beer. You see, whatever he found How inside, incredibly fucking well, exciting. It drove him mad. Oh? Aye. I moved back here to look after him. Poor bastard hanged himself not long after. Oh, fucking hell. I, I'm sorry, Mr. Bryden. That's terrible. Aye. Time passes, but it were an awful thing. Clicky, clicky. What did your brother find? Lime. Samuel. Samuel were his name. Sorry. Spinny, spinny. Lots what of flavour. What did Samuel find in the barrow? I don't know. But something went wrong. Afterward, he could barely speak. You couldn't make out mm -hmm. a word like... Delicious lime. He lost a hand in that excavation too, you know. Goodness me, how? I try hard not to speculate on what might have happened last. Fucking badger, I'm telling you. I'd see him disappear into that barrow, dragging timber in with him. You'd hear him hammering away for hours. I offered him help, but he'd have none of it. Soon enough, he blocked the entrance off. To look at it now, you'd never know the thing we dug up. My fucker. Landers reclaimed it. Who else was involved in the excavation? Two others, I believe. Outsiders, perhaps. I can't say for sure. I think they left town pretty swiftly afterwards. I lived in Bakewell at the time. I only moved back here to look after Samuel. I took over the farm when he passed away. I see. Who was running the farm while he was all fucked up then? What can you tell me about your farm? Samuel's fair to side. We're a fortunate family. The soil is fertile here. Crops grow without too much trouble. All the other farmers around here raise livestock. Even Lord Panswick. We grow up feed for him. Most fortunate, Mr. Bryden. Aye, convenient. Is your wife home? She's out in the fields, lass. Pulling weeds. The curse of such fertile soil. <laughs> Forty years we've been married. I couldn't do it without her, you see. How splendid. Aye, my wife is a fine woman. Are you married, lass? No, no. I've had my fair share of proposals, Mr. Bryden, but that's not the life for me. Marriage is an important institution. You'll find a man one day. Hmm. I manage rather well without one, Mr. Bryden. You haven't seen Mr. Shoulder for some time? I hear about him now and then, but it must be a good few years since I set eyes on him. He hasn't been here to visit Hobbs Barrow? Not to my knowledge. I heard he's beset by ailments. Don't leave his home often. Hmm. How odd. It is I rather odd. I assumed he'd spoken to you about my visit. Not at all. What can you tell me of Lord Panswick? He keeps us going. Most of all, crops go to feed his animals. Yeah, you what said. What is he like? Oh, I've hardly laid eyes on him. He sends his workers here to pick up the crops. I, mean, I see. It makes sense. You say Mr. Shoulder is at death's door. What exactly ails him? I'm unsure. It's just what I've heard. I wouldn't want to speculate on matters that are not my business. <laughs> Excuse me. Mr. Bryden, may I please have your permission to excavate Hobbs Barrow? No. Have you not been listening, lass? Samuel found something in there that's best left to rot. No digging here, lass. Wouldn't you like to find out more about what Samuel found in there? Perhaps. But Samuel boarded up that barrow for a reason. You don't want to tempt the same fate, lass. Perhaps I can at least see Hobbs Barrow. Hmm. I suppose you've come a long way to be here, lass. All the way from London, Mr. Come Bryden. back in dead at night and fuck it up. Have you any proof of all you've told me? You wish to see proof of what, Mr. Bryden? I can't let any Tom, Dick or Harry wander around me fields. What proof have you of your claims? Thanks for your time. Ta Letters, right? Here is proof that Mr. Shoulder invited me to Bewley in order to excavate Hobbs Barrow. 
Leonard making bold promises, I see. Don't make me regret this. But yes, you can have a look at it. Thank you. Any road. Once you've set your eyes on it, you won't be wanting outdo with it. The place gives one a queer feeling. So where can I find it? Through that gate to your left. Just head straight across the top to the field there. After ten minutes or so, you'll seek Barra. Set on a hill ahead. Thank you again, Mr. Bryden. I really do appreciate it. Okay, we are making good headway, but what's over here? Another bucket? This game is really buckets, big old, of big old milk. buckets. Ugh, this dirty, is not mine to take. Dutty milk bucket. What else? Rope on tree. Got! What a wild looking thing. Broken sword. <laughs> Easy girl. Fucking goat will come for you. I'm not fond of goats at the best of times, but this one seems particularly disagreeable. So up in tree and get past it. We need a shrubbery or something. Alright, off we go. Oh, fucking hell, that, that moving landscape is doing funny things to me eyes. Is it just me? I probably should have brought my umbrella. A fucking... Perhaps I could take a closer look. Perhaps you could. Butter, this way. A-R. I haven't a clue what that could be referring to. Line of questioning for later. Finally, here it is. Hobbs Barrow. Right, get the trowel out. Indeed, a barrow of a most unusual rectangular form. I've not seen something like this since West Kennet Long Barrow. Yes, this shall make a fine entry for my book. What secrets do you conceal, I wonder? We'll never know. Bye-bye, everybody. <coughs> that smell. Earthy and sweet. Oh, God, here we go again. Three. Chivvy. Two. One. You can open your eyes now, Thomasina. What up, Wilma? How you doing? Come. I'm a bit of a trooper. Are you ready for your first excavation? Yes, Daddy. Capital. Make sure you remember Fuck everything capital. I've told Here we go. You. I have a feeling you might find something special. How exciting! I'll be watching from the steps, my little bird. Good luck. Thank you, Daddy. Not bad. Not bad. Not having a bad day. Enjoying this game very much. We only got stuck, uh, stuck once and then we fucking solved the problem. Now I'm ready. Right. Lots of dirt. Dig, dig, dig. No treasures here. Quite a chill day, actually. Edited uh, last night's stream because there was a lot of fuckery that needed to be cut out. Ended up with a video that was less than an hour long. I didn't stream for long yesterday, to be fair, because I, the game was running like shit. I've since solved that problem. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to do point and click today because I was inspired. And it's spoopy season, so we're playing a spoopy point and click. And so far, so good. Treasure. Daddy, I found the treasure. Look. It's quite easy on the eye for a point and click. There are nicer ones out there. I mean, still keeping the classic pixel art style. is very old and precious. The mechanics in it are great, though. So far, the story's decent. I promise. I give it 10 out of 10 uh, goldblums.
I do have a feeling there is something exceptional to be discovered here. I must gain Mr. Bryden's permission to excavate. Ah, fuck it, just do it anyway. In good time. All right, fine. Is there anything else? I do have a. F I must gain Miss. Right. What's missing here? My options menu's missing. No, not my options. My map. My map's missing. Time to head back for the evening. Okay. Ooh. Might trouble be about to befall me. Darkness falls quickly here. I should make my way back to the inn. Can I have a map? I fucking can. It's fucking well illuminated considering we know how dark it is in here. You alright, lad? Good evening, Mr. Crozier. Evening. The Thanks dreaded music. The fossil, it's the third time I'll say it's this now. I listened to the soundtrack for this game beautiful. earlier, and it is essentially all dark, horrific synth. How long have you been collecting fossils? Ever since I were a boy. I needed to listen to the, the soundtrack to try and find uh, a piece of music I could turn into a beat, in the rock so I would have a nice piece all of game-relevant music to cover. intro the stream Such with. A playground for a young lad. I've What's had cause to play it twice now. Collection? The ammonite you gave me today. Because previously the computer shit itself and I had to reboot. Best. Indeed. What about you, lass? Do you collect out? I do. You see, I'm writing a book on the barrows of England. It shall be called Vestiges of the Antiquities in Rural England. Still a catchy title. I document all my findings. Here's what ideal. Do you collect? Pottery. Beautiful tools and music. Such. Bones too, no. Foy doubt. would fucking love it. No. I leave those in place. You've got a morbid heart, lass. Fussing about in old graves like that. We're not dissimilar in that we both take an interest in the remains of the long gone. I suppose you have a point there. How's your book coming along then? Very well, thank you. Though I'm rather keen to begin my chapter on Hobbs Barrow. Thanks for your time. Aye. Speak to you later. <laughs> Good evening, Miss Bateman. Hiya. Good evening, Stanley. I found Hobbs Barrow. Oh. Remember what I said, Miss Bateman. There are stories connected to that place. Someone fucking tell yes, me one then. Stories you won't elaborate on, I might add. Don't worry about me, Stanley. I'm quite capable of warding off imagined fiends. I have no doubt, but please leave that place be. I've come this far. There's no turning back now. That's precisely what worries me. Goodbye. Get a See drink in a bit. Good evening, gentlemen. What are you going to do about him? If he thinks he can take her away from here, he's got another thing coming. I am going to knock his bloody block off. <laughs> In what? fact, I can think of a better punishment. Oi, what do you want, lady? Piss off. You heard the man. Charming. Heard this local chap looks thoroughly intoxicated. A fearsome looking brute of a man. He's engaged in a bout of pin finger. Such a brutal hobby. Idiot. Good evening, sir. Accidentally stabs himself. Uh, I'll leave you to it. There's the kitty cat. It's Herbert, the local stray. I don't wish to wake him up. Do you wish to visit the haunting synth toilet? Cyril seems gruff and unwelcoming, but I sense he may be a kind man under this facade. Hello again, Cyril. You're still here. Did Mr. Long convince you of the I was really hoping he'd say piss station. off then. What the hell do you think? He's probably well, I think he's probably a kind man. Piss it. off. Ah, bugger off, close enough. He seems even more wound up than usual. I must say, last night. Alright, let's get a bevy then. Good evening, Miss Bateman. I can't Good drink, evening, but she sure as shit can. A mug of your finest ale, please. There we are. 
That's two pence on your account. Thank you. Racking up the pennies here. Goodbye. See you soon. Time for bed. Tomorrow Said Zebedee. I shall convince Mr. Bryden to allow me to begin my excavation. What haunting nightmares this eve? Will the pussy cat visit me again? Yes. How are you? Tired. Gonna buy you a drink? You fucking owe me one. Uh yeah, this seems like a good idea. One won't hurt. Excellent. I feel bad about what happened last night. I'm sorry, I can't remember it. That's all right, Mr. Tillett. Alcohol can do all sorts of damage to one's memory. I was thinking that maybe if we had another drink tonight, I might remember what happened. Oh, God, here we go. I'm not sure that's logical. It, but it's worth not. Trying? I don't need any further convincing. Take your seat, Miss Bateman. I shall return with the goods. All the ale is on you, mate. Is he leathered yet? To Leonard's shoulder. Wherever he may be. I've got one of those fucking pain in the ass yes. cuts just just Why at the edge of my nostril. It's fucking doing my tits in. Despite his disappearing act the previous evening, not to mention his questionable sobriety, I decided Mr. Tillett was to be my ally. I spoke again of Mr. Shoulder's letter. His proposed excavation and my status as an antiquarian and barrow digger. He was fascinated and quite excited at the prospect of meeting the soon-to-be author of a real-life book. That's a shame you get published, love. Riches on your digs. Barrow digging is not all success, Mr. Tillett. Often I'll come across the likeliest of sites steeped in promise. We set to work with shovel and pick and all the other barrow opening paraphernalia you can imagine. Every stone carefully taken down, every shovel full of earth put dutifully through the sieve, and we find nothing. Fuck all. Or you may find a miserable remnant of animal bone or a shard of pottery hardly to be recognized from the peat in which it decayed. Sometimes it's as if some Neolithic humorist prepared an elaborate practical joke for your special benefit. It still sounds much more exciting than spending your day sitting in England's most remote railway station. Fair. <sighs> Are you all right, Mr. Tillett? I've had another argument with Agnes. Well, maybe your stop wife. fucking drinking I, in the pub all the time. She didn't want me coming to the plough tonight. Truth is, I've been drinking my life away since my mother passed. Oh, that's terrible. I'm sorry for your loss. You're kind, Miss Bateman. Thank you. It's been a year since the old girl left us. She had a horrible end, wasting away, day by day. Consumption got her. She would know but bones by the end. I can't get the image out of my mind. Wasting away. She were everything to me. I'm so sorry. I apologize for going on, Miss Bateman. It's not appropriate. Don't worry, Mr. Tillett. I appreciate your openness. I used to love going for walks out in the moor, my mother and I. Ever since I were a little one, she got a tear in her eye as she looked out upon it. She loved this land. I asked Mr. Crozier to build a bench, which we've erected at a favourite lookout spot on the moors. Margaret's Lookout, we called it. Aye. That's a beautiful tribute. Aye. If you take a seat there, do keep her in your thoughts, won't you? Of course, Mr. Tillett. I can relate in some manner. My father had an accident when I was very young. He's still alive, but he can neither move nor speak. He spends his entire life bedbound and incapable of communicating or looking after himself in any way. How dreadful. He was a barrow digger himself, an antiquarian of some renown. Are you going to tell us what so happened now? Much, even though I was so young. I think writing this book is my way of carrying on his work. It helps me reclaim those earlier memories of him. And I visit him often to tell him all about my excavations. Can he hear you? I've no idea. The doctors aren't sure. I'd do anything to make him better, Mr. Tillett. I'd do anything to bring him back to the man he was. I am in a state of suspended mourning for a man caught between life and death. Dreadful. Just dreadful. We all have our weaknesses. Mine just happens to be my father. And what of your mother? A cold woman. We haven't talked in quite some time. 
I think she blamed me for my father's accident somehow. You were but a child. Indeed. She thus saw it fit that a governess should raise me as she spent her life grieving for my father. Well then, I propose a toast. A toast to what? A shared sense of loss. I'll toast to that, Arthur. Now then, enough of this wallowing. Let us be merry. Another round. I really shouldn't. But I did. <laughs> and another after that. And another. The frustrations of my visit to Bewley slipped away with each swill of Stanley's finest ale. We had great fun that night, Mr. Tillett and I. I treasure the memory. Go on then! Let's hear those pipes! Oh, fuck it out. Uh, mustn't. Oh, God. Sing the song! You're incorrigible! Please? You'll make a sad man happy. Oh, all right then. Straight out of Compton, a crazy motherfucker named Ice Cube. No, not that song. Clasps, Celts, and arrowheads, I'll try to claw within my clutch. And if a shield I should espy, I'll vow there ne'er was such. With popish tricks and relics rare, the priests their flocks do gull. In casting out the earth, take care. This shit is really dull. I found a skull. Belting. Ah, time for the nightmares and the visit from the pussycats. That slow throb of the synth. Oh god, here we go. Well, 10101 I think. I'll be back in a minute for more terror. Or the beginning of terror. This, yeah, this song's a bit much, isn't it? <laughs> and we out here. Ready for the spoops? We've not been spooked particularly yet. Uh, it's been unsettling, maybe, in places-ish. Bit weird. Uh, but yeah, I think I think the spoops are coming. Maybe. This is the part where you're allowed to see the game. There we go. Nothing to see. Slow dream walking. Oh, we're at the borough, aren't we? Oh, good. This looks like a f uh, handsome chap. You're right, mate. Yep, good. This seems fine. Hello, Thomasina. You're right. What is this? H who are you? I'm the one that saved your father. You what? What do you mean? We were here 25 years ago. Oh god, of My course we father. were. You were deep down with the others. You were there, and something went wrong. I dragged him out. Impossible. I helped Impossible. him. Impossible. And I can help him again. I, I don't understand. Believe my words. You'll find proof in morning. Now go. Okay. One more thing. Yeah? This is not a dream. Okay. <laughs> the second day. We're not classing the day that we arrived as a day then. Okay. Is that Morse code at the bottom? You see that? Dot line dash. Whatever. How peculiar. Goodness, that was a terrible sleep. At least the cat didn't come for you. I'm not, you know, I'm not shocked. You're sleeping in your fucking clothes, love. You've been wearing them for three days now. Or at least two in a bit. What's this? That's the proof you, uh, you had in your not a dream. Yes. There's a strange stone strapped to the cover.
Oh god. <clears throat> right, strap in, it's time for words. Day one. Arrived after a decent day's ride from Bakewell. This is a curious place, locals seem distant. I'm to meet my local contact tomorrow, so it will be an early night for me. I shall try to keep a diary of my stay here and not give up by day three of the excavation as usual. Despite the thrill of possible new discoveries, I cannot stop thinking about my dear wife and wonder if I should have left her in her current state. I must have faith that she will conquer this bout of illness. Day four. True to form, my journal has been abandoned. Uh, let that not speak for the excitement I feel for this excavation. After much preparation, we dig tomorrow. Such an exceptional site with a unique history. As for the dangers, we shall meet them head first. We are prepared. I also sought out a local wise woman yesterday, and she provided me with a... A what? A tincture? For my beloved, uh, beloved's nausea. Gravidarium. Gravidarium? I don't know what the fuck that says. I'm sure she shall be pleased with it upon my return. Bold of you to assume you're going to return. Lo, a place of miracles. A planted seed sprouted before our eyes and illuminated our path. Nature's laws hold no meaning here, but I clutch my tablets with the knowledge that I shall end this. Ro? Epsilon? What? We found the code was simple in the singularity of the characters. All eyes must face towards the seventh. Archontic. When the sun and the two moons meet, the guardian shall be defeated. Is that why Mandem's got the crescent moon on his door? What's with the analog sticks? Oh, they're snakes. I thought they were fucking ants. Uh, a dead language reveals the path. For thou art the moon, the chief of the stars. Listen to the things I have said. Follow the words of my mouth. Reveal thyself to me. I heard a whisper, not once, again and again. I will pour out my spirit. I will pour out my spirit. I will pour out my spirit. It appears to be a journal. Full of hogwash. I don't recognise the handwriting. Maybe Stanley knows more about it. Not proof about then. Oi, Stan, people have been fucking pushing shit under me door. Morning. How's your head, Miss Bateman? That was quite the tune you treated us to last night. To be honest, Stanley, I felt better. I take it you slid this journal under my door? There's a knife there. I beg your pardon. The journal, Stanley. I certainly did no such thing. Nor could have anyone else. You're the only guest staying here. What's the meaning of all this? Do you propose that it manifested itself out of thin air? Well, uh... Manifested. I'm sorry. I just don't understand how else it could have got there. Are you sure there was no one else here overnight? Without doubt. How very, very peculiar. Hmm. So, what does it say inside? Load of bollocks. Take a look. Well, I can't make head nor tail of it. Neither can I. Maybe someone else in the village can help you with it. What do you make of this stone? That's a funny looking thing. Yeah, it got it's chicken got on, it. on it. Or cockerel. Yes, but have you seen anything like it? Never. Do you ever have strange dreams, Stanley? Me? I sleep as sound as a baby. I had one such dream last night. It was so vivid. What were it about? I was at Hobbs Barrow. Oh? But everything was different. It was purple. Great peaks and soared in pink. the distance. Uh, apparently and there were peaks. A creature. A creature, you say? Yes. A short robed fellow, eyes as black as pitch. It told me that my father had been there in Hobbs Barrow many years ago, but something went wrong, and the creature helped him escape. It said that I would find proof in the morning. Oh, the journal. You've had a premonition, lass. Please, Stanley, I've no time for that nonsense. But <laughs> Fuck off, it's Stan. A strange coincidence. Now, what did I tell you about Hobbs Barrow? That I should leave it alone? Aye. Hogwash. Big fan of that word, isn't she? Reminds me of a story from my childhood, an old folk tale about Hobbs Barrow. You want to fucking elaborate this time? What is this folk tale you mention? I've sat back. Well, I'm ready. When I were a wee boy, there were talk of a goblin. They say he lived inside Hobbs Barrow, hence the name 
Hobbs Barrow. Ah, right, Hob, Hobgoblin. Coming from Hobgoblin, of course. Unfortunately, I don't remember anything else about it. I Brilliant. was told not to believe in such fairy tales, Stanley. Don't close your mind to such things, lass. I'm sure Mr. Shoulder will tell you more. Perhaps. Please tell me him. more. Goodbye. See you soon. Uh, Good morning, Mr. Kemp. Good day, Miss Tompkins. Who? I'm here for his lordship's paper. Oh. Sorry, lass. Mr. Price hasn't dropped them off this morning. I heard he actually left the village yesterday. Indeed. Off to bed, have a good rest of the that. stream. Well, I shall endeavour to uh, have oh, a good sleep and Your don't forget to apply the sheet because otherwise that will not be as comfortable Mr. as it could be. I'll come back in a few days. Ta-ra. Goodbye. Like I said, if I'm about, I might see you tomorrow. Goodness me, I can't budge it. Be careful, Miss Bateman. You'll cut yourself. I will fucking do I no such thing. all morning trying to get that bloody thing out. I shall be having words with that scoundrel next time he shows Don't worry, so he done. Good night. Good night. Have a good slip. <laughs> Curses. What's this? The fucking we sword in the stone. It's all yours if you can pull it out, King Arthur. <laughs> Preempting everything here. Right, what have I got? A glove. No, that's not it. Why not? Extra grip if I've got a glove on. Uh, the worm. No, that won't. You don't know that. Trowel it. I do not wish to damage Mr. Kemp's table any further than it already has been. Well, you're no fun, are you? Burn it. I'm not sure what. Chisel it. I do not wish. Book it. No. Stone it. I can't see how. Well, I'm fucking out of ideas. Filthy lavatories. I've no use for ashes. Stanley is yet to set the fire for today. Great. Okay, moving on. Yeah, maybe see you tomorrow. In a bit. Right. I need to convince Mr. Bryden to let me excavate Hobbs Barrow and find out where this journal came from. But first. Curses! I forgot I had this worm in my pocket. Poor thing is dead now. Rest in peace, Kenneth. <laughs> I've just noticed this matchbox is completely damp from the rain. The match is no use to me anymore. Oh, we're just getting rid of stuff. Nice! Nice! More good mechanics in this game! Still setting up my stall. Come back later. Oh, I'm sorry. Hmm. Is that out? In alley. Perhaps I have something in here that could help me get the knife unstuck. Some fucking pliers or something. Mm -hmm. hey, is that a cat? No, there's nothing useful here. Or is it a raccoon? Not really the area for raccoons, is it? It's no, it's Herbert, the cat. The local stri I don't wish to wait. I suspect the barrel. Right, stroll this way. You're still outside, lad. The fuck are you up to here? Hello, Wally. You gave the door back to my sister. It wasn't very nice of you to bury her favourite toy, Wally. I gave it to the fair folk, and you stole it back from them. You don't really believe in fairies, do you? You're old enough to know better. They're real, and thanks to you, I'm cursed. There's no such thing as curses either, Wally. Go away. Whatever. Hello, Wally. Go away. I don't want to talk. Nobody Beginning to think they've been abandoned. Disappears. Fucking hell, still nothing to do over it. Maybe the vicar's home. It's a bit misty this morning, isn't it? Father Roach is standing over there by the blacksmiths. Oh, fair enough. Morning. Good morning, Father Roach. Ah, Miss Bateman. What you fucking lied to me. Again. Have you tracked down Mr. Shoulder yet? Don't get me started. I'll take that as a no. Indeed. Do you recognise this journal? Hmm. What a tatty old thing. 
You ought to take better care of your possessions, Miss Bateman. It's not mine. Then whose is it? That's precisely what I'm trying to find out. I'm afraid I can't help you. I haven't seen it before. What do you make of this stone? Hmm. I don't recognize the symbol from any Christian iconography. Did you make it's it not yourself? what I asked. No, never mind. What brings you to the square today? I'm meeting a couple of young congregation members to go over some scripture. You're welcome to join us. Nah. Thank you, Father Roach, but I Hard have pass. a busy day ahead of me. We will be at St. Edmund's, should you wish to join us later. What do you know of Lord Panswick? Oh, yes. A rather important fellow around here. His vast land holdings give many a steady employment. I hear he is renovating a chapel on his land. Ah, I've heard such reports. He believes this to be a godless land. Something I wholeheartedly disagree with. To which god his chapel will be dedicated to remains a matter of concern. Why do you say that? Oh, my apologies. Don't listen to my oafish conjecture. Let us move on. Thanks for your time. Lord be with you. Yeah, cheers. The blacksmith looks closed. Okay, let's go this way before we go fucking around in the church. Double click did not do anything there. That's not ideal. Did fuck all here either. I don't think any. Oh, hello. Attention. Uh, Bewley Station is closed for the time being due to track damage between Bewley and Bakewell. We apologise for any inconvenience caused. Midland Railway. Interesting. Hello. Huh, wonder where he is. There. <laughs> Thomasina. Good morning, Arthur. You look a bit addled. Are you feeling all right? Nah. I am not used to drinking as much as we did. Aye. My head is pounding. To tell you the truth, Arthur, I've had a somewhat puzzling morning. Oh? Someone slipped this journal under the door of my room. Whose journal is it? I have no idea. The text refers to some sort of excavation. Well, Stanley must be playing tricks on you. He swore his innocence. I thought perhaps you might have done it? No, it wasn't me. That's for certain. Somehow I have a clear memory of last night. Impressive. I wonder who left me this journal then? Mind if I take a closer look? Please, go ahead. Nope. Animation saving technique. The writings of a madman. I don't disagree. Did the sketches mean anything to you? No, not at all. But they turn me stomach. You might want to show this to Mother Mildred. Who is Mother Mildred? Some think her a witch. A witch? Aye. She might be able to help you with the symbols. Makes sense. Where can I find her? She lives alone in a little cottage within her and wood here. You shouldn't have too much trouble finding it. The path Thanks was closed until today. Oh, now I have a reason to go. See? Perfect. What do you make of this stone? It's a good shape for skimming across water. What is it? I'm not sure. It was strapped to the cover of the journal. How mysterious. Mysterious indeed. I had a splendid time last night. I, I even remember most of it this time. Thanks for listening to me going on. Really he said he had a clear memory. The feeling is mutual. Suddenly, too, most of it. I see the railway station is closed. What happened? The line is down. Track damage between Bewley and Bakewell. No trains for a day or more. Does that mean I'm stranded here? For the time being, Thomasina. Capital. What happened? Why do people think Mother Mildred is a witch? Let's have a Pepsi because Max about it before I go back to coffee. Woods doesn't mean she flies about on a broomstick. There's more to it than that. Aye, what's that? She oh, she's a demon Who shagger. Oh, you know, local folk. Hogwash. Some Fucking hell. Some have a portions and spells. Spells? 
Come now, Arthur. Truth be told, she's a nice old lady. I sometimes see her foraging in the brambles around here. Will she burn at the stake sometime soon? You might think us backward in Beulah, Thomasina, but we're not that backward. Sorry, Arthur. I only meant to tease. Goodbye. Tara. Is it memory time? Yes. Do we not have memories of anywhere other than this fucking garden? Come on now, don't make him wait. I don't want to. Rude. Aren't you going to miss me? I hate you, Daddy. <laughs> Those are strong words for such a little lady. I want to come with you. We've been through this, little bird. You can't come with me this time, but we'll go to Seabra next month. I promise. Oh, what a dig that shall be. I hate you. Well, I love you. See you soon, little bird. <laughs> Is this him off to the uh, old Ob's Barrow? The stuff. has set somewhat. It's firmly gripped to the stump. Okay, chisel it off. I've collected some waxy resin. See, dead useful. For something, probably. Oh, God. This is not dissimilar to what the witch's house uh, looks like in Simon the Sorcerer. I mean, the positioning of it, off to the left. There should be a well where she is, mind, and then other things. I reckon this is the woman that uh, that reverend had just come from. You know what I'm saying? He'd gone to her for some sort of treatment, and it just made him do a sick instead. It's the old woman I saw at Bewley Station. Oh, so it is. Please, forgive my intrusion. Are you Mother Mildred? Some call me that. I prefer Mildred Walker, given as that's my name. Apologies. Thomasina Bateman. I think we met at Bewley Station. I take it Panswick's men have cleared off. Good riddance. Those ruffians would cut their own noses off if he asked them to. All I right. recognised you the moment <coughs> I laid eyes on you at the station. I beg your pardon? Oh, yeah, it's quite a striking family resemblance. You have your father's eyes, Miss Bateman. Dun 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 dun! You knew my father. Such piercing blue eyes he had. What a handsome young man, William. He was here, in Bewley. Oh yes. You had the not dream about that. it. Come on. Twenty-five years by my reckoning. Chivy. But I'll never forget those eyes. Why was my father in Bewley? He were helping Samuel Bride and excavate Hobbs Barrow. You must be jesting. Do I look like I'm jesting? How did you come to meet my father? One might say I have a reputation in these parts. Folks from all around come to me for help with their ailments. Ernwood is abundant with flora that, if mixed correctly, will cure almost any ill. Your father must have caught wind of this, as one day he came to me, asking for a cure. A cure for what? Your mother were with child, and she was suffering the most terrible nausea. Adam. I made something to help her. The journal. This was entered in the journal. It belongs to my father. What journal? This journal. Take a look at this. A passage recalls meeting a local wise woman to seek a tincture for his beloved's nausea gravidarum. Aye, that's me. I made the tincture for him. This... this is incredible. You don't recognise your own father's handwriting. It's been so many years since I've seen it. What do you make of this stone? I-A-W. I haven't a clue. Perhaps it's an old folk trinket, or a talisman of some kind. The moors are steeped in folklore. What can you tell me about the excavation? Well, not much. 
I only met your father twice. The last time he asked me if I knew anything about binding magic. Binding magic? He said he needed it for the excavation. Hogwash. My father is a man of logic and reason. Why would he be asking about such nonsense? Perhaps you don't know him as well as you think you do. Anyway, I know nothing of magic and told him so. He seemed disappointed. I never saw him again, but I understand the excavation went ahead. Samuel bride and hanged himself not long after. Reason enough for you to stay well clear of that place. You never saw my father again after the excavation? No. I always assumed he just went home. Hmm. Who excavated Hobbs Barrow alongside Samuel Bryden and my father? From memory, it were just the two of them. What do you think my father meant by binding magic? I've no idea. He didn't explain more and I didn't wish to pry. Hmm. This just doesn't sound like my father at all. You'll have to ask him yourself. I'm afraid my father has been incapacitated since I was a child. He cannot speak nor move. Terrible. Oh, I I'm sorry. You got medication for that, bitch? Could cure almost any ill. Almost, my dear. But your father's affliction sounds beyond my abilities. How convenient. The landlord of the Plough and Furrow told me about a folk tale associated with Hobbs Barrow. Something about a goblin. Are you familiar with it? No doubt there is such a tale. Fucking gobbos. Any you can think of, and someone round here will have a story about it. My thoughts precisely. Charles Bryden mentioned there was a third man involved in the excavation. Is that so? Well, you best ask him about it. He knows more than I do. Can you tell me anything about Leonard's shoulder? I know of him, as is the nature of such a small town. I also know he invited you here. Little escapes you, Miss Walker. So they say. My path rarely crosses with his. Let's put it that way. But he's a nice enough fellow. I see. Do you know Lord Panswick? I know his labourers make a mess of these woods, the brutes. The man himself hasn't graced me with his presence. You've never met him? Not since he were a wee lad. A maid brought him to me with a sore stomach. It were all the rich food they were feeding him. Now more. Thank you for your help, Ms. Walker. Wouldn't mind some rich food, to be honest. Fuck it, any food. Me? As is my it's way, has not like eaten today. Berries. What are those berries you're picking? An ancient breed, no good for eating. However, they do have some medicinal qualities. I see. The cottage is nestled cosily in the woods. Tis rather, almost a part of the fucking I woods. Enter uninvited. Let me in. I can't think of any. Okay, moving on. Miss Bateman. Yes. Yes. Remember what I told you when we first met? You're better off waiting for the next train back to the city. Why? Something terrible happened to Samuel Bryden in that barrow. Whatever they found down there, I'd wager it got to your father too. Tell me you won't disturb Hobbs Barrow. Nope. I can't make that promise, Mildred. Can't say I didn't warn you. Aye. There's something unnatural about that place. We must seek to understand the world by rational means, Miss Walker. One cannot abandon reason. <sighs> Whatever. Is it just you and me, Kirsty? I think it must be. I'm assuming that the other viewer is Kirsty. Oh god, more memories. Thomasina? Yeah. Thomasina, come here this instant. What? I'm playing with Josephine. She can wait. This is very important. Hmm. <laughs> Fucking don't leave her there. Fox will get her. I'll be back soon, Josephine. I'll be back soon. What is it, Mummy? It's... it's your father. Daddy's home? No, my dear. I must go to Bakewell with haste. Miss Bowes will look after you whilst I'm gone, is that clear? Where's Daddy? He's had... an accident. What happened? He's come off his horse. Really? Sweet Daddy, will he be alright? Of course, of course he Yeah, will. just you and me then, Kay. Your father Ugh, that was weird. Call Crusty, K. I need to go collect him. All right? Can't I come too? That's that username is fucking with me. Miss Bose will look after you. But I want to come. Go pick up your dolls, then come inside. All right? Not touching yes, that joke. Me. 
Josephine, it's time to go inside now. Dreamlight Valley, that rings a bell. Is that that Disney thing? Where did Mommy go? She fucked right off. I am not touching that joke, and it's too late now, the moment has passed. I swear to God, I thought that was a fucking fawn then. Nope, it's just a... There goes that squirrel again. I shan't be visiting the badges again. I was lucky to escape intact. Just checking. What's she stopped for? Oh, fucking hell. I helped him then. And I can help him again. Um. Sure. Arthur, you won't believe it. The journal belongs to my father. He was here in Bewley. Arthur? Something's wrong. Hello? Something bad is about to happen. Oh. No? Sorry, uh, I'm trying to remember something. What uh, is it? Are we going to get a close-up of his face all mashed sure. up or something? Something in the woods. It will come back to me. He was the third man! You say your father were in Bewley? Yes! Mildred That's why he drinks. Helped Samuel Bryden excavate Hobbs Barrow 25 years ago. Well, I'll be. Let's talk about it tonight at the plough. Yeah, talk later. That's it's, fine, it's, Arthur. We'll talk later. It's not in the mindset right now, is it? Gather your memories. Music went a bit weird then. Ah, it's gobshite. Hello, dear. Good day. He's a little more handsome than your average Bewley resident. Well, he's the Lord, isn't he? I believe we've met. Miss Thomasina Bateman, the famous antiquarian. My reputation precedes me. I can assure you it does. And you are? James. Oh, no. Are you a painter? You see this beck before you. Look at the water. See how it tumbles and falls. Yeah. I seek one spot on which my eyes can rest. Be it a stone or a small corner of the current, I meet it with my gaze. And out of the tumbling and falling, a new land rises. I see a new world. You are fucking dangerous, aren't you? What are you painting? A new world. Quite the ambition. Indeed, my ambition knows no bounds. Can I see it? Not yet. It's not finished. But such a world is not complete without you in it. You flatter me, James. Nonsense. Say you'll let me paint you. Like one of your French girls. Why not? Magnificent. You shall be the shining star of my new world. I don't really have the time now, though. Perhaps later? Don't fret, my dear. When the time comes, I shall call on thee. I should have said no. What do you make of this stone? Might come back to bite me. Looks but yes, it's the Disney you thing. I thought as much. Sorry, I only just clocked the comment. Do you know of Hobbs Barrow? I'd like to know more about you, Thomasina. What time do you like to rise in the morning? How do you like your tea? What makes you happy? Too many questions. Well, I like to rise early and watch the sunrise. With your husband, I'm sure. No, I'm currently unentangled. What a Such way to put it. you should be shared with at least a lover. Do you deem yourself fit for this position? Indubitably. <laughs> but do go on. How do you like your tea? Hot, with just a splash of milk. No sugar, of course. No sugar. It rots the teeth. Your smile is as dazzling as the Himalayan snow. Oh, James. And finally, what makes you happy? Spending time with my father. I should like to meet him. Perhaps you will. And you, James? I propose the same queries to you. All in good time. My truths will surround you in good time. What a dodgy you fuck. Know Leonard Shoulder, 
A man of Bewley? Yes. I care not for the men of Bewley. Only for the visitors. You're weird. What do you know of Lord Panswick? A fine gentleman. Now that is someone who commands respect. It's not what do I've heard. Him personally. No, I I don't think anyone can really claim that. But what a tiring subject. Shall we discuss something? Is it not you? Exciting? Goodbye. See you soon, my dear. He's a little more good day. My dear. How is your paint? Quite well. But it needs more work. I'm aching to show you, but I must restrain myself. Goodbye. See you soon, my dear. Oddball. Still locked? It's locked. Mandem will be in there by now. Ah, oh, look, the cake stall's gone. Oh, he's not. Anything else? Not where I meant to click, but sure. Good day. Hey up. Hey up. Look at this, Mr. Crozier. It's my father's journal. Oh, I. Why are you showing me? Did you slip it under my door last night? Ha! <laughs> have you gone daft? Why would I have your father's journal? It's a fair Never question. Mind. Do the sketches inside mean anything to you? Looks like a load of rubbish to me. I found out my father visited Bewley 25 years ago. William Bateman, perhaps you remember him? He's a little more. A Good lad. day. What were you here for? That's what I intend to find out. What do you make of this stone? Don't look like out to me. Are you familiar with any local folklore? Oh, why? The old cobbler used to tell me some right stories. Swore he sold a pair of boots to a goblin when he were a young man. A goblin, you say? I take it this cobbler was a regular at the plough and furrow? Never drank a day in his life. Hmm. Sober as a judge. Interesting. Have you been to the Devil's Toe? Yes, I'm familiar with the cairn. Some say they've seen the goblin's daughter there, playing her fiddle. Can't say I've seen her myself, mind. Oh, I've seen her in the trailer. Do you know any other stories about this goblin? It was that potato sack girl. Time to be standing here gossiping about old wives' tales. Apologies. I'm having some trouble extricating a knife from a table extricating. in the plough and furrow. Might I borrow a pair of pliers? A knife, you say? I can get that out for you. That's very kind of you, Mr. Crozier. Think nothing of it. Wait here. Waiting. I've that waited. For a struggle. Here you are. Thank you so much. Cheers. Thanks for your time. No builder. Speak to you later. Mm Mr. Long mustn't be in. Doing a shit job of looking after this place, isn't he? You set up yet? Good day. I'm still. S oh, oh, I'm sorry. Cough. He's not in, is he? That's twice now he said he'll be in the head. church, and he's fucking lied to me. Fucking cockwomble. I've had some rather unbelievable news, Stanley. Oh? <laughs> Fate of black to avoid fucking telling it. Remarkable. Quite the coincidence, is it not? Remarkable. Just remarkable. Do you recall my father from back then? I'm afraid not. Those were my droving days, you see. I didn't spend much time in Bewley, but an interesting turn of events nonetheless. Mm-hmm. What do you know of Mother Mildred? I'll tell you what I know about Mother Mildred. She wants locking up. How so? She owes me a small fortune on her tab from years ago. Do remind her next time you see her, won't you? I'd rather not get involved, if you don't mind. Be careful who you trust, Miss Bateman. 
Who is Miss Tompkins? A housemaid in the employ of Panswick Manor. She comes by to pick up his lordship's weekly paper. I'm surprised newspapers are available in Bewley. Aye, his lordship gets what he wants. Lord Panswick likes to keep up with affairs from outside of Bewley. Aye, he has many interests around the country. What sort of interests? I wonder if it was his secretly him that invited me here. Business. Goodbye. See you soon. And it is that painter dude, isn't it? Definitely. He's up to no good. We saw him painting purple. He wasn't painting no fucking flowers or no babbling brook. He was painting that fucking hellscape that we dreamed of. Or did not dream of. I don't wish to I just... Oh, the kid's fucked off. Nobody. Obviously. The Still nothing to do. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Shortcuts. Uh, I do need to go there, but let's take the long way to everywhere. Oh no, not that way. Oh shit. Uh, I guess. Quickest way out. Yeah, there she is, Potato Girl. Off you fuck. Still there. This is where I dug up. Memories. Oh, this is the way to the fucking place. I didn't want to come here yet. No matter. Mummy? Get away from the fire, Thomasina. What are you burning? Nothing. Just waste. Now go inside. Bit of a weird place for a fire, don't you think? Right in the middle of the fucking lawn. I'll have that. Ab. Ab rat. Mummy, what is this? Waste. Burn it. Okay. It's the journal, isn't it? The journal has come back from the fiery deaths. Not right now. Hello? You! Fucking get you, bitch. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Did you see a young girl with blonde hair pass by here? No, lass. There you are. Are you Thomasina Bateman? Yeah. That's my name. How oh, marvelous. It's me, Leonard Shoulder. Heavens, <laughs> I'd given up on finding you. Please take a seat, Miss Bateman. We have much to discuss. Yeah, I bet we do. You've proven to be quite the enigma, Mr. Shoulder. I'm mortified. I offer you a thousand apologies. You see, I've been bound to me bed these past few days with a terrible fever. How dreadful. I take it you're feeling better now? Aye. I were on me way to find you when I stopped here to catch me breath. I've not much go in me these days. I'm sorry to hear that. I were worried you'd have given up on me and left town. I had no idea what had become of you, Mr. Shoulder. I spent a good amount of time pounding on your front door. I'm embarrassed. I really am. I've been doing my best to sleep through the fever. I am so very sorry. Please accept my apology, Miss Bateman. Fine, Mr. Shoulder. I've come all this way. Let us speak of the business at hand. Marvellous. I've just learned that my father was part of a previous excavation of Hobbs Barrow some 25 years ago. Why didn't you mention this in your letter? What? Where did you hear that? I have my means. I swear, Miss Bateman, I had no idea. Hmm. I take it you will also deny delivering me my father's journal? I'm confused. What journal? My father's journal was slipped under my door at the Plough and Furrow. It wasn't you who did this. I've been bound to me bed, lass. Hmm. What an extraordinary coincidence. You are following in your father's footsteps. It seems so, Mr. Shaw. Aye. 
It's not going to end too well, I imagine. Right, let's do a quick 10 100 one, and then we'll do all of the questions. Hi. Shall we continue about our business? Why did you invite me to excavate Hobbs Barrow? I've always been curious about the colourful folklore surrounding the place. My father told me all sorts of stories about it when I was a wee fellow. Stories that some folk around here take a little too seriously. Especially after those lads entered the barrow a while back. How did you know about me? I saw your interview in the Bakewell Times. A young lady travelling about the land, digging up barrows. Perfect for the job. But why do you wish to excavate the barrow? I want to see what those lads found in there. My curiosity has grown over the years. Now it is time for the mystery to be solved. I must say I am rather eager to find out what's in there myself. I've managed to find Hobbs Barrow, but Mr. Bryden is yet to give me permission to excavate. Is that so? Keep trying. He'll relent eventually. Perhaps you could have a word with him. Oh, no. A lovely young lass such as yourself has a better chance of changing his mind than a shaky old goat like me. He's got an old hmm. goat. You told me in your letter there would be no issue gaining access to the barrow. I didn't foresee anyone I wrote to you. I'm sorry this has been more complicated than anticipated. Don't give up yet, Miss Bateman. Keep trying with Mr. Bryden. Did you know my father? I don't believe so. What's his name? <coughs> William. William Bateman. He was in Beaulieu for at least a few days, from my understanding. I'm sorry, lass. The name doesn't ring a bell. Hmm. Are you sure you had no idea of my father's involvement in the previous excavation? I'm quite sure. A most fascinating coincidence, but nothing more than that. I'm starting to wonder if it's more than mere coincidence, Mr. Shoulder. Miss Bateman, I did not take you for a credulous individual. None of the sort. What can you tell me about the previous excavation of Hobbs Barrow? Oh, it was 25 years ago, or thereabouts. Back then, Bewley were undergoing a period of great strife. Samuel Bryden hadn't harvested a single crop for two seasons. Even Hernwood was sick. Berries went to rot almost as quickly as they grew. Folks started to believe the ground were blighted. Disease spread through the livestock too. People were going hungry, a panic set in. That sounds terrible. Aye, but I managed to keep myself fed. These things happen in nature, but the blame for it all fell on Hobbs Barrow. It was long said that a goblin made his home there. A rumor took root that the goblin were not best pleased with the villagers. In revenge for some unperceived slight, the goblin placed a curse on the soil itself. The villagers believed that ridding the barrow of its lodger would put an end to it all. Hogwash. My father would have paid no heed to such tales. Whether it and yet. was intent to join the excavation when coming here, I do not know. But whatever it were that Samuel Bryden and those lads did inside that barrel, people say it did the trick. The crop started to grow back, and health returned to the livestock. Uli were no longer in the grip of dark forces. Hmm. You must understand, folk here are a superstitious lot. They don't want you disturbing whatever it were those lads did. As far as the villagers are concerned, the problem were fixed. The thought of another excavation must be conjuring panic that you'll undo whatever it were they did. This does explain a lot. And it's also why I'd venture nobody around here wants you to touch the place. Except for you. I want to know what's there. Surely you don't believe these tales of goblins and curses to be true? Not at all. However, I suspect those lads did find something in the barrel. But did it have any connection to failing crops and dying livestock? Who gives a fuck? Oh, I can assure you there's nothing to fear. Coincidence reigns supreme. So what do you think they found? That is for us to discover, Miss Bateman. Who was the third man who joined my father and Mr. Bryden on the excavation? 
I'm afraid I don't know. Although, I'd heard about the excavation and I were intrigued by it. I mostly stayed at home during that time. The atmosphere in the village was rather too tense for my liking. And besides, the excavation were undertaken with an air of mystery about it. Hmm. That was a long bit of dialogue. Tell me more of this. Sorry, I've been so quiet, trying to said, get invested in it. Are always home to a goblin. Everyone in Bewley has some version or another of this story, but the version my father told me as a child described the barrow as a thin place. The goblin were deemed to be the guardian of this so-called thin place. Tell me more about this goblin. Some said he were a mischievous little mite, snatching newborn lambs and smashing windows with pebbles. Others said he were friendly, there to lend a helping hand in times of strife. The latter of which makes it all the more surprising as to why the previous excavation took place. My father's stories put the goblin in the mischievous category. Saxnot, he called the creature. I recall one such anecdote, that Saxnot entered Bewley and ordered a pair of boots to be made by the cobbler. Heard that one. However, when collecting them, he insisted on paying for them with a bag of so's teeth. The cobbler was so scared of angering the goblin that he accepted. A colourful tale indeed, Mr. Shoulder. Has any explanation been offered for why this Saxnot cursed the soil? Your guess is as good as mine, lass. Fucking intriguing this. What is a thin place? A place where one can walk between worlds. Where the flesh of meets course. the spirit world. Hmm. Just superstition, of course, as you will know. I had a peculiar dream last night. I met a creature at Hobbs Barrow. I suppose you might say it was a goblin. It told me it had saved my father from trouble inside Hobbs Barrow. I'll admit the coincidence of this is somewhat astounding. And disturbing. Remarkable coincidence, but nothing more than that. But there is still one thing that puzzles me. The goblin told me proof of its claims would await me in the morning. Surely enough, I awoke to find that my father's journal had appeared in my room. Very queer indeed. Mr. Aye. Shoulder, you invited me here to a town I'd never heard of. Only for me to discover that my own father was here 25 years before. So that little cut in me that, nose is well itchy. But that he was also embroiled in some sort of superstitious hysteria which goes against everything he ever taught me. Something is wrong here. This must be more than mere coincidence. It's strange, I'll give you that. But please remember who you are, Miss Bateman. This is my father's journal. Incredible. Can I look inside? You may. Look at these drawings. Wonder what it all means. You and I both. It all feels very out of character for my father. The moon on your door, I'm dickhead. Sure you'll find the answers beneath the soil, Miss Babe. What do you make of this strange stone? The carving of a cockerel? Yes, it was strapped to my father's journal. Do you think it could have something to do with the previous excavation? Possibly, though I'm not aware of the motif having any meaning around these parts. Is this your glove? I've been looking all over for that. Where did you find it? In the alley behind the plough and furrow on the night of my arrival. Were you there? As I say, I've been bedbound for several days, Miss Bateman. How odd. Get Who the fuck did we see back. then? Here. Thank you. If only I could remember. We're just gonna sit here for a bit. Of the same pod, Miss Bateman. Are we? I knew you wouldn't be frightened by a few old stories. It will be interesting to see what those lads found in there. Certainly. Thank you so very much for responding to my letter and for coming here. We have some great discoveries to make, you and I. I sincerely hope so. You fucking say so, homie. And the chance to follow in your father's footsteps. Right. Time for me to shift these old bones. I'm to take me a spot on the plow and fall. I'll be there all night should you need me assistance. Thank you, Mr. Shoulder. I do like I'm running around all the locals in the pub when we're around. done. I promise I am not beyond redemption. I won't let you You down. know, for the eve. See you soon. 
Yeah, Tara. Gonna go chase that feral girl. I was starting to wonder if Mr. Shoulder even existed. Jivy! The day was starting to test me. The word coincidence felt insufficient to explain what was happening. It was after that first conversation with Leonard's shoulder that I started entertaining thoughts of a truly irrational nature. What if my dream wasn't just a dream? What if it was all more than simple coincidence? What if that thing really could help my father? Good day, little one. Hello. What's this? A fiddle bow? There's no string. My name is Thomasina. What's yours? No answer, I bet. Don't be shy. I don't mean you any harm. We're going to ask all these questions and then she's going to run off. What are you doing out here all alone on the moors? Without any fucking shoes Do on. Do you live here? Hmm. Would you like me to fix your bow so you can play your fiddle again? Yes? Off she fucks. Hey! Most peculiar. Indeed. Perhaps I can mend the bow for her. If memories of my childhood violin lessons serve me right, bowstring is made from animal hair coated in a waxy resin. We have waxy Strings resin. Don't vibrate without it. Hmm. What a peculiar name. I can't quite see the resin. The devil. Okay. Right. Strolling on. There is a goat. We know that much. Goats first, old man later. <laughs> yes. What a wild looking bastard. Okay, old man now. Fiddle on the griddle, indeed. Why would you put a fiddle on the griddle, though? Good day, Mr. Bryden. Miss. Important I questions. I'll stop you there. I know what you're going to ask. No, I haven't changed my mind. There'll be no digging here. I was going to ask for goat Mr. hair, actually. Bryden, allow me to explain. There has been an astonishing development this morning. Yes? My father was with your brother during the excavation. Oh. Yes. Can you believe it? I had no idea he had been here. The answer's still no, lass. I saw you probably do, yes. Simple. I won't risk the same happening to anyone else. Good luck. That's enough I started now. at 8 o'clock. No, I didn't. That's a lie. I started about half 8. There'll be no digging. So we've been going, what? Four, five hours. I think. Yeah. No question. I'm not in. But. Off with you. I'm going to go in your house. Mr. Okay. Bryden is right there. The entrance to the. Someone has caught. Lock myself into this screen for no fucking reason. I'll try and get this uh, all on YouTube tomorrow. You know, without all the BRBs to skip through and whatnot. I must gain Mr. Bryden's permission. Oh, bugger me. You know he's Mr. not there. Mr. Shoulder told me he'd be at the plough and furrow. A carved stone. I think it depicts... It does, yes. It's... Can we use the journal with the stone? No, that... Fine. Wait. Can we rob it? We fucking can. That is not coming off. Not. We cannot. He's taking his washing in. Okay. <clears throat> How have you not fucking finished setting up yet? Lazy fuck.
Good day. Hey, oh. I met a girl at the Devil's Toe. She gave me this broken fiddle bow. Ah, oh, spitting oh, rhymes. Experience the local folklore firsthand, then, lass. Hmm. Does the name Saxnot mean anything to you? Never heard of it. What is it? Hmm. Never mind. Thanks for your time. Aye. Speak to you later. I wonder, is the cobbler home yet? Talk to me about them fucking boots. Hmm. Bastard. You fucking, where are you, you lazy prick? <sighs> I have nothing else to ask. Of course you don't. Don't know why I did that and just go back to the square. It would have been much faster, but here we are. My Resident Evil 7 playthrough. Fucking hell, that's going back some time. I don't need to... How far into that are you? That's like, isn't that like 30 fucking parts or something Mr. stupid like that? We never did the second DLC pack. We actually did start recording it here. Uh, but I think it was me, Krusty, Kev and Foy. And Kev was like, this is stupid. And it was just a fucking clusterfuck. We gave up, ultimately. Hello again, Mr. Shoulder. You and Krusty kept rhyming and Foy was getting annoyed. Stop rhyming. Spin. No! It's funny, actually, I was thinking about that playthrough the other day, specifically because of DJ Mogzine, the 1MC Whiskers. I've still not been Came able to, to get the other day on my way into, from Mr. into work. Is that so? Perhaps you could show him something that might change his mind. I've still not been able to gain permission to excavate from Mr. Bryden. Is that so? Perhaps you could show him. What else can you tell me about this sax knot? Try not to worry yourself too much with these old stories. Leave those to the locals, Miss Bateman. Have others spoken of goblins appearing in their dreams? A dream is a dream, that is all. They merely make for good stories. I know, I know. But to answer your question, no, not to That was the mind. first Let's Play that Foy ever joined in on, actually. If I recall correctly. And then he never left. <laughs> he was there for all of them. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Shoulder. Krusty was far too into that role. Yeah, it went well. It went well. You cut quite the mysterious figure. It was a fun game. To say. It'd be nice to do it's village true. at some point. Do tend to keep me head down. I've got the rig for it now. When one gets to my age, one grows very comfortable in one's home. I like the isolation of the moor. I wouldn't change it for anything. I take it you don't get many visitors. Oh no, nobody bothers me. That's the perk of living so far out. Huh? Just me and me hands. I used to call uh, you more often. Back I'm in a, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Buggery. I'm not sure I fancy another coffee right now. I don't really want another Pepsi Max. I've run out of non-alcoholic beer and fuck me, I just miss beer. I've still not been able to gain permission to excavate from Mr. Bryden. Is that spot? We did that one, why? What do you think of Bewley? Whilst one could consider the villagers to be rather unenlightened, this place has its charm. Oh wow, you're on the DLC. You can see that folk want for now, dear. Fucking hell, you must have been at that for some time. What else can you tell me about the previous excavation? I think I covered it earlier, Miss Bateman. As you yourself said, it were a time of superstitious hysteria. Is there anything else I should know about Hobbs Barrow, Mr. Shoulder? No, lass. I'm certain we will know a lot more about it by this time tomorrow. I hope so. What was it like living in that period of hysteria? Have it on in the background while you game. Fair me. enough. My hens stayed healthy and their eggs kept me well fed. If one can keep a level head in such situations, one can get by. Indeed. Is there anything else I should be aware of before my own excavation? No other ghouls I should be worried about? Uh, you know the answer to that. The corruption in that soil were all in the minds of men. What do you make of Lord Panswick? His lordship is an important man in Bewley, as I'm sure you have gathered. 
This family has commanded much respect here for many generations. Do you respect him as a leader? I do. He wants the best for the village. Without his influence, the railway line would have never come through here. Does he want more visitors? Aye, I believe so. Yeah, for sacrificing. He has great ambitions for Bewley and wants to share them with the world. What do you make of Mildred Walker? Who? I believe she's also known as Mother Mildred. Oh, we used to get about when we were children. Our paths have not crossed in a long while. What do you think of Charles Bryden? He is a decent man. It must have been hard for him after that terrible business with his brother. Without a doubt. I must say I had assumed you had at least spoken to him about my visit. Sorry, lass. I had no intention of giving you the runaround. Again, I can only apologize. If you don't mind me asking, what is the nature of your ongoing illness? Oh, just the ravages of age. Getting off this bench will be a small battle in itself. Not even Something got a pint. Something you won't need to worry about for many a year, Miss Bateman. Growing old is a blessing and a curse. And what of your recent fever? An ordeal it were. So much tossing and turning. But Dirty. I'm right as rain now, especially after a mug of ale. But don't worry about me. What are Lord Panswick's plans for Bewley? He's rebuilding an old chapel on his estate. He seeks to bring God back to these lands. But what of St. Edmunds? I think Father Roach might argue God has never left. Indeed. Let's leave such arguments to them, shall we? Sounds wise. Thank you for your time. Right. Hi, Miss Bateman. We will speak more later. I have a theory. First of all, I need to leave here so I can actually get to my map. Let's show him some shit. Show him the journal. Failing that, the stone. Look, Mr. Bryden, my father's journal. It confirms he was with your brother during the excavation of Hobbs Barrow. Ha, take that away from me. I'll be having none of that. What do you make of this stone, Mr. Bryden? It was strapped to my father's journal. Wait a minute. Let me see that. Here we go. I thought oh, it would be the stone. God. Wait here a moment. I need to get something from inside. I waited for what felt like an age. I now realise that Mr. Bryden must have been in a great debate with himself, wondering whether or not to share his own piece of the mystery with me. The goat stared at me, seemingly in pity, as I stood there in that rolling fog. Finally, Mr. Bryden emerged. Now then, very intense know, those uh what I have those here is the only thing that Samuel just brought back from Bath. Black screen and look. incredibly loud vo voice acting. Ah, Kaz. Incredible. A pair. That's been in my drawer ever since Samuel passed. I suppose it might be important, so I kept it safe. Fate is clearly playing a part in your arrival, lass. Please, Mr. Bryden. Allow me to excavate Hobbs Barrow, a place that is no more than dirt and stone. Uh, you're not going to give up, are you, lass? No. Nope. I'm not. Samuel managed to say one thing about those men that helped him. I think it's time I tell you. Yes? He stuttered out that one of those fellows could barely walk after they got out of there. Tongue tied two of the men were. That'd be daddy. You what? My father. He had an accident around 25 years ago that left him bedbound and unable to talk. Aye, could be him. My mother told me it happened in a horse riding accident. Samuel boarded up that barra for a reason. Something unnatural occurred, I know it. Mr. Bryden, we must rely on our rational faculties to explain any... Promise me you'll be careful. Any sign of trouble, leave without hesitation and we board that accursed place up again. Understood? Wait. You're giving me permission to excavate. <sighs> Aye. Against me better judgment. Hogwash indeed. Really to stop you, lass. Thank you so much. I am grateful. Don't make me regret my decision. Take Samuel's stone. Are you sure? Aye. Give it back to me when you're finished, though. I promise. Thank you. I'll be sure to show you my discoveries, Mr. Bryden. I reckon Brady, there's a third stone out there. Well, then. I've got things to get on with. 
And one with moon on. Spare any labor to help me with the dig. Don't push your luck, lass. Market's on today. Plenty of able-bodied men about. True say. Ah, no. And like that, I Jibby. finally had permission to excavate Hobbs Barrow. As exciting as that was, I was distracted by what Mr. Bryden said of his brother's associate. There was no doubt in my mind that father was the stricken man he spoke of. You told me he was crippled after coming off his horse. Why did you lie to me? To protect me? To stop me from following in his footsteps? You failed. And so did Charles Bryden. He should have said no. He should have never given me that stone. He's so fucking ominous. Yeah, have your stone back, I'm done. Hello? Is anyone home? Oh, they're fucked off. He slipped right past you. Hmm, he's not answering. Okay. Back to market. So let's have a quick nose in the church, see if he's shown up yet. Nope, of course he hasn't. Lying fuckbag. Ah! All sorts go on in. Hello, Miss Tompkins. Hello. We weren't introduced earlier. My name is Thomasina. Ma'am? How do you fare, Miss Tompkins? I'm waiting for Mr. Ambrose. Have you seen him? Nah, he's Who's fucking that? around with that custard and the rice milkman. pudding, isn't he? Miss Fenchurch will be ever so cross Close enough. Little milk for his lordship. I'm afraid I haven't seen him. You are in the employ of Lord Panswick. Aye. He employs half a bullion one way or another. I'm in need of some help for my excavation. Do you think his lordship could lend me some of his labourers? Maybe. Might you introduce me to him? Sorry, ma'am, but his lordship doesn't take visitors. Any road. I must wait here for Mr. Ambrose. Any road? What? Ms. Fenchurch will be ever so cross if I've no milk for his lordship. If Mr. Ambrose doesn't turn up and I find you some milk, would you be able to introduce me to Lord Panswick? Aye. Hmm. I'm going to take this, this plat out of my beard really and give it a bit of a brush. I know. I'll take the risk. Fucking exciting, Ms. isn't it? will be cross with me. Oh, I should be even crosser if I come back without there fresh milk. So, do we have a deal? Aye. Bring me some milk and I'll take you to his lordship. Thank Aye, you. Dilly. But hopefully, Mr. Ambrose will arrive soon. Have you been waiting long for Mr. Ambrose? Goat milk? Aye. He should have been here a good two hour ago. He's here every market day, you see. He sells only the freshest milk. Miss Fenchurch swears by it. So, I we've got no milk and we've got no newspaper. You're having a shit here. day, you, aren't you, love? I'm sure he will turn up. Oh, I hope so. Are you familiar with Hobbs Barrow? What's that? Never mind. What do you make of these stones? Oh, gives me the creeps. Why? Dunno. Just a feeling. Hooked on a feeling. Miss Fenchurch. His lordship's housekeeper. I'll let you know if I find some fresh milk. Thank you, ma'am. But tell me if you see Mr. Ambrose. Oh, that feels well, brittle yeah. and dry. Oh, no. You there, pie seller. I interest you in a pie? Yes. Finest mutton in all the county. No. Tuppence each. No, thank you. You're missing out. Well, of course I am. He's selling an assortment of greasy meat pies and scotch eggs. Perfect, sign me up. Perhaps you'd be more interested in a scotch egg. Freshly made, just one penny each. No, thank you. I really don't want a mutton pie or a scotch egg. I really don't... Good day. Freshly picked apples, miss. Would you like to try one on the house like? You're trying to fucking get me hooked. Sure. Yes, please. Here you are, miss. The apple looks somewhat rotten. It's riddled with holes. Fucking dogs are barking. Give me, give me a sec. So let me go and fucking shut them off. No need to be up here. Only take a moment.
fucking weapons. <sighs> right. So do I have a knackered apple now? Yes. Superb. <gasps> Feed the knackered apple to the knackered goat. Good day. Fresh produce. Yep. What have you got for sale? I'm selling meat, vegetables, and all sorts of herbs and things. You're welcome to have a gander. I'll be sure to browse. Do you have any milk for sale? Not today. Sorry. Goodbye. Ta-ra, miss. Ta-ra. Various chards and beets. Not Beat. tempting. She is selling various herbs. Some familiar looking, some not. Who are you? She is selling ve- I'm not hungry. A decent selection of cuts and sausages. Oh. Tins of corned beef. Ghastly. You won't get that with some mashed potato, love. Tins of corn. The box is full of various sprouts and onions. Nothing particularly tempting. The box is... Uh, right, yeah, farm. Now, what is Jess texting me that could not be said in this chat? Or thingy. I should ask Mr. Bryden for permission before attempting to milk his goat. What do you want? Milk. Do you have any fresh milk going spare? <laughs> if you can get any milk out of old Eunice, you're welcome to it. Eunice? Me goat. Good luck. Right. Goat. Yes. Apple for goat. Hey girl, would you like an apple? <laughs> the grumpy thing isn't interested. You slot. Uh. Hmm. Cut up the no, apple. No, that won't achieve anything useful. Well, I haven't got any other food. Some resin. I should leave the goat alone. No, you should milk the goat. All right, we are doing this. I'm just gonna do it anyway. Oh my fuck! What the fuck? It's fucking going off now, mate. She having a nosebleed? Did that happen last time she had one of these weird visions? I I thought she was having a ciggy I, or something. Well, I, I didn't think she was sure having a ciggy, was. but it kind of looked like one. It was like one of those horrifying visions from like that 1999 movie, The All Haunting. The superstitious nonsense must be getting to my head. Yes, now milk the goat. <laughs> I'm not going near that thing again. Oh, good. No, oh, right. Jess with the follow-up. I should ask Mr. Bryden if he could milk the goat for me. Yeah, all that. Well, did you get any milk out of her? No, Tried just a horrifying vision. And failed miserably. <laughs> uh, she's a temperamental beast. Perhaps you could milk her for me? I'd like to help you last, but I've just had a flare up in my joints. How convenient. I myself too hard this morning. I couldn't bend down to save myself. Is there anything I can do to help? <laughs> my wife would say I'm beyond any help. I'm certain of that. But if you know of any remedies for aching joints, please send them my way. I'll see what I can do, Mr. Bryden. I'm going to rest for a while. Ta-ra now. 
Alright, go and find the missus, was that? Perhaps not. Finally, we shall excavate tomorrow. Though first, I need to find some workmen to assist me. Map. What do you reckon? Pub? I reckon pub. Joe, perhaps you've had enough sugar? Don't you start to know. Hello. Oh, aye, she's back again. Can't a man drink his tea in peace? There's no for you here, lass. Horrible man. I was going to say miserable cunt. How much is he going to add to his tea? He'll have no teeth left by the end of the day. Hands off me, sugar. I think this is supposed to be for all the patrons, sir. I said, hands off. Why don't I fucking stab you? To our visitors. Ha! This place has gone to buggery. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking sugar your knob. I'm gonna take your teapot now. I prefer Piss my tea it. hot and fresh. I already took some. Right. Sugar to the goat. That makes sense, right? Or my chatting bollocks. Because she did say she wasn't gonna go near it again, and yet here I am going near it. Getting kind of bored of that, slowing me down. I'm not going near. Boo! Put the sugar in the no, bucket. Put the sugar I'm in the apple. Sure what... All right, I don't know what I'm doing. Back to the pub. Hello again, Mr. Shoulder. Miss Bearman. Mr. Bright. I'm just going to be brushing my beard for the rest. Waterboard him. A classic Rita trait. Right? I'm She's still in Portugal. I saw all this out in my absence. When do we start? Tomorrow, I hope. But first, I need to recruit some locals to assist with the dig. It's too much work for me to do on my own. I see. Beaulieu has its fair share of strapping young lads. You'll find assistance, Miss Bateman. Thank you for your time. Hi, Miss Bateman. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. He's going to watch from a distance. The cuckold of the borough. Hello there. Yes. My name is Thomasina. What's yours? Ted. Ted Cross. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. Are you a scout, Are sir? you a local, Mr. Cross? Oh, no. I'm just passing through. I'm a musician. Just myself, me guitar and me horse. Kind of sounds like a scouser, but weird. Are you a travelling musician? Aye. I've been playing a new song tonight. I've just finished the lyrics. What's it about? You'll have to come listen. Where are you playing? In here? What do you make of Bewley? Can't say that I know much about this place. I don't He's definitely a scouser, isn't he? I see. Still in Portugal, yeah. Have Saw her briefly on uh, Twitter Barrow? earlier. Can't say I have, miss. What is it? Never mind. Thank you for your time. Make sure you watch my performance later, won't you? I'll try. But Is there anything I don't else? Use... Out in my room? No. Hmm. Hang on, check the to-do list. Keep talking to people. Find out more about the stories connected to Hog Barrow. Fix the fiddle bow! Without Kenneth here to source local workmen away with my excavation, I shall have to do it myself. Mr. Ambrose the milkman has gone missing, Lord Fucko's housemaid has agreed to introduce me to his lordship if I can provide her with some fresh milk. 
Mr. Brian is unable to milk his goats due to his... Ah, it was aching joints. See, I knew there was going to be something attached to that that I wasn't paying attention to. Oh. More memories of the past. Daddy, I have something for you. Oh, look, she's I older now. I remember it. I've taken great care of it. Why are you visiting in the middle of the night? All right. Presumably it's that. Daddy, you must remember this. The day that started it all. It's the red urn you buried in the garden for me. My first ever excavation. Hmm. Where should I put it? One of those empty shelves, I imagine. Mother took away all the knickknacks that used to sit on these shelves. The pot might look nicer a little closer to the light anyway. Alright, fine. Perfect. It will catch the light from your lamp so nicely. There. I'm going to become a great barrow digger just like you. I hope the pot reminds you of those adventures we had together when I was a child, and how thankful I am for everything you've taught me. Now I must tell you about my visit to Pallinghurst. I really need a new brush. An I've had this fucking thing for about seven years. And it is knackered. Good day. Yes. Do you have any fresh milk going, Spur? No, sorry. Not to worry. Do you so, know of any remedies ask. for aching joints? You're too young to be suffering from this, surely. It's for someone else, Mr. Bryden. Yes, yes. I know just the poultice. Capital. May I have some? Well, I don't have the ingredients, I'm afraid. Of course you fucking what don't. What do you need to make it? Sugar and a rotten apple, apple, please. Blend made of natural elements. Elderflower and flirtwort. I can make the poultice for you if you bring me these things. Then it just needs to be applied directly to the joints. That should ease his burden. Thank you. Where can I find some flirtwort? Flirtwort is not commonly found around Bewley. It's a perennial shrub that bears small white flowers. I've seen one of them. You might find some growing out on moors if you're lucky. Thank you. Where can I find some elderflower? There used to be quite a few elder plants growing here in Hearn Wood, but they've long since gone. Well, that's not very really fucking helpful, is it? You might find the shrub growing within a hedgerow or a private garden. I see. What does elderflower look like? Elderflowers are small, white, and grow in clumps on the elder shrub. Well, maybe that's what elder I saw. Elder shrubs can grow in all shapes and sizes. Just look out for the clumps of tiny white flowers. Okay. Farewell. Ah, fox! A clue to the resin, just in case we hadn't grabbed it earlier. No doubt. Should have used the bloody map. This looks like it might be elderflower. I'll take some. Yes. Could have saved ourselves the bother if I'd taken some fucking earlier when I tried to. Right, we're going to have to go for a fucking wander, aren't we? There you are, you shitlord! Excuse me, Ms. Bateman. I'm in something of a hurry. Farewell. God knows when we shall meet again. I'm going to follow this Which fucker. Which is that quote from? Oh, shit. Oh, it doesn't matter. Romeo and Juliet. Oh, he's gone. Fucking on to you, dickhead. I don't know where you're going. Good day. Yes. I have some elf. Show me. No, no, this is not elderflower. It's cowbane. Oh, and piss. It's a mistake to make. The two look very similar. Oh. It's safe to eat, as long as you're not a cow. Very toxic to cattle. Where can I find some elderflower? There used to be quite a few elder plants growing. Nowadays, you might. I see. What is elderflower? Elderflower. Elder. Farewell. Well, that's annoying, but I'm also kind of glad that we did that. Uh, church. This is a private garden, right? Not so much. Up this way. This is where I.
Mandem got flower. Don't go too close. That fucking goat will get you. Hurry up. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, it's fine. I just clicked off the edge. Phew! Ah, she will... Wait. Does it... Hmm. There's a rock growing on you. Finally, go first. No. This cowbane certainly looks a lot like... Shortcuts. Where the fuck are we going? Oh, here. I've no. <coughs> fucking horror movies and strings, rather. Rubbish. We're fucking mooching everywhere now, aren't I? Tab out the game. As if I can fucking find a dodgy link now. have a website for this actually. Question is where the fuck is it? Here. Does it still work? Time will tell. Hey crow. Really? What are the fucking chances? Yeah, lots of clickety clacks. I'm loving it. I'm just trying desperately to find uh, a totally legitimate website to watch uh, WWE on right now because I've been told to turn it on and I can't. Because I don't have the network anymore and I don't want to spend any money. Okay, here we go. Possibly. Or not, as the case may be.
Twitch server. Oh, there we go. Ah, that's one. Right, let's throw that over here. Right, well, I think I've solved that one anyway, so... Back into the game we go. What the hell was I doing? Oh, yeah, trying to find fucking flowers, bastard. Still not that way. Mutton pies! You! Hello, Jane. Miss, watch me juggle. Don't want to. Very impressive. I can juggle even more apples. All right. Cr that's a bucket. Crack on. I dare you to juggle an extra apple. Easy. Honestly, those clickies write me a sh short story so I can sleep. What? Told you I could do it. Here's your apple back. I'm very impressed. Manjo the lighters in my work today and it made me so happy. What? Lighters? How odd. Right. This looks like elderflower to me. This looks like eld I want that Good day. please. Fresh produce. Is that elderflower you're selling? Aye. Perfect for teas and tinctures. Any good for sore joints? Aye. Penny a bunch. I'm afraid I don't have any money. Sorry, miss. Does it look like I'm running a charity? Can we work something out? A trade, perhaps? Our deal in cash only, You learned to juggle at Jesus no coin, camp. No elderflower. And shoot a gun. Of course you did. Though. Goodbye. Ta-ra, miss. Wait, what? I can't think of anything else. I'm not sure they would be... Hmm. Oi. Yeah. Switch out. Keep your grubby hands off me produce. Sorry. Uh, do you want some sugar? I don't wish to give that. Do you want this knackered apple? Um, bucket? I don't wish to. Knife. I don't wish to give. Or stab you! Oi! What's the oi? Oh, you see where I'm at? Well, that's wonderful. I am at needing to go to the toilet time is where I'm at. And seeing as I'm not drinking alcohol at the moment and I've run out of non-alcoholic beers and what else? I don't really fancy a Pepsi Max. I guess it's time to go back to the coffee. The road disappears over the horizon. I see nothing but moorland. Do I ever leave this area? You know what? You probably know the answer, so don't tell me. Nobody home. Right, I'm going to go boil the kettle and 10101. I shall return as soon as I'm able. Thank you. Right, see you in a minute. Hello there. I have, as I said I would, returned. Yes, that drunk's face for the BRB. As soon as I saw it, I thought, that's my BRB screen. Meanwhile, Charlotte Flair's here for fucking... Oh, fuck Charlotte Flair. Right. Remix. It'll show you the game in a second, you know what it's like. I'll just 
keep hammering the button and strong. You know what? We can probably talk to more people, can't we? This pub loves a good remix. Every time I come in here, it spacks out. It's going particularly long right now. We're good. Why, why is it really insisting on not showing you the game, though? There we go. How odd. You found old Leonard, I see. Yes. Rollies. I'm smoking. And belief. Do you have any fresh milk going, Spur? Sorry, lass. I've none at all. Never mind. Does the name Saxnot mean anything to you? No, I can't say it does. Hmm. Goodbye. See you soon. There's nothing else I would... I have nothing else. I'm not... I don't care for being yelled at. Great, so I've got nothing. I don't need to... Right. I don't know where any of the plants are that I need. I have nothing else to... What am I supposed to give this woman? Got a trowel. I don't wish to. Lamp. I'm not sure. Chisel. I don't wish. Le book. I don't wish. Les I'm not sure that. Le I don't wish. Stop ya! I don't wish. I don't wish. <sighs> I don't wish. I'm not sure they Well, I'm fucking fresh out of ideas. Hello, Jane. Miss. A Saxon God. Juggle. Interesting. I watched you fucking juggle. Very impressive. I can juggle even more apples. The produce is not mine to take. We need more apples. The produce sacks of apples. They've all seen better. Good day. How did you like your... I'm afraid it is rather rotten, sir. Hey, up. That slander, that is. Don't you be going around telling folk I'm handing out rotten apples. I, su I suspected even more, which is why I'm trying to get more. But... I don't know how to go about that business. The produce is not... Good day. Freshly picked. Selling them at a... Would miss like to... No, thank you. Good day. Fresh... Would miss... No... I don't wish to give that. Fresh scotch eggs! I really don't. Hello. Good day. Do you have any milk? Not yet. Oh dear. No sign of Mr. I'm afraid. Good day. Hey up. Oh no, my stream's buggered. Hang on, here's my face. And refresh this. There we go. Hope I don't have to do that too often. Hello, face. See if we can say hello, game as well. Of course not. If I tap out, it'll fucking switch. And we'll just go straight back in. See? Look, easy. Steam. Definitely not watching illegal streams. What do you make of these stones? Hello, apple. I don't have more apple. To me. Do you have any fresh milk going spare? I'm a blacksmith, not a cattle farmer. Quite. Thanks for your time. Hi. Speak to you later. I have... W yeah, but I gave her that apple before. And it didn't fucking fresh work. Scotch eggs. Or she fuck it up this time? I dare you to juggle... Easy. See, look, done. Told you I could do it. Here's your apple back. I'm very impressed. Be careful with those things. Ah! Keep doing it. Keep doing it until it fucks up. I dare you to juggle an extra apple. Easy. 
The early worm gets the apple. Yeah, of course it does. Quit booter. Or are you suggesting... Would you like to do it? Here's your apple back. Do we need to put a, a worm in I'm there? I had a worm earlier. Impressed. I don't have a worm now. Because it died. The apple looks somewhat rotten. Um... No. All right. Is this is this where I wanted to go? No, it fucking isn't. Shite. Here we go. Thank you. I shall name you Kenneth the Second. Onto this shit. The worm has found a new home within the holes of the rotten apple. Nail it. And with no help at all. <sighs> I am a smart boy sometimes. To be fair, I normally would have ended up in a walkthrough a good fucking six and a half hours into a adventure game, but I haven't touched one. I'm having fun with this. Mine. Oi, put those back. Got that wrong. Shit. Sorry. Quick, before she notices it. Damn it! Wait, no, I did it. I managed to swap them without her noticing. Ah, oh, just the tip. Okay, right, we have elderflowers. Now we need something fucking else. The scene of my crime. Chibi. Where's the other bastard plant is the next question. Because I feel like I've been all over the fecking place. My only clue is out on the moors. And I've been out on the fecking moors. That being said, the old bitch did say they used to be just around there, right? Maybe they are. They are not. Maybe they are. They are not. But maybe they are. They are not. Maybe they're right here. They are not. Here, have these Good fucking day. elderflowers. Yes. Farewell. No! Wrong button. Good day. Yes. I have some elderflowers here. Show me. Ah, that's elderflower. Let me know when you found some flirt wart, too. Remind where can me. I find some flirt wart. Flirt wart is not commonly found around Bewley. It's a perennial shrub that bears small white flowers. You might find some growing out on moors if you're lucky. Thank you. Right, Farewell. so no no assistance whatsoever. You think of a good day as goodbye, not hello. Well, I think of it as good day! Because that is how a lot of uh, Hat Films videos start. With Ross shouting good day. I like hat films. Hat films are good. Maybe if we go and have a little sit on that bench again, she might go, Hey, look over there. There's some of that fucking flower I'm meant to be finding. I mean, it's possible, right? It's not likely, but it's possible. Hat Films are a YouTube channel, and it's one of the only ones that I still watch. It's very good. They do lots of gaming, and their vlogs are genuinely untouchable. I aspire to have the uh, kind of vlogs that they do. Another chivvy for sitting on the bench. They have a comedy band called The Dead Nuts. 
they were meant to be going on tour uh, to like four different places in the country. And then COVID, and it carried on getting moved and moved and moved. And ultimately, they ended up with just the one show, and that is in Bristol. Mr. Shoulder told me he. I want to say it's the 26th of November, and I will fucking be there. I got my tickets. Me and the wife are going to go there. She has no idea who the Dead Knots are. She has no idea they have any relation to Hat Film. She just knows we're going to a rock show. I'm going to have a good time. I'm hoping that they'll uh, be meeting and greeting. Do you reckon we'll get another cheer when we sit down again? This appears to be a re Dig it up. Flowers might be in there. There may be a barrow digger, but... It, well, I'm hoping it will be fun. Customer said there was a new shot to get. I don't know, everyone is wearing masks again in my area. Well, there's a new variant out there doing the rounds, but... Whatever. Oh, I'm at a loss again. I don't know what to do. My stream's gone down again. Not this one. My uh, wrestles one. I'm fucking tabbing out every two minutes to deal with that. Wait, maybe inside. Maybe it's those knackered dead flowers. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Good day to you, pet. Hello, Mrs. Deplancy. Well, I if don't know. I'm about to find out. Roach, he won't be back until tomorrow. Where is Father Roach? You might have noticed the good father has a green thumb. He's gone to visit his friend in the countryside to purchase some seedlings for his tower garden. Aha! Where is Father Roach's tower garden? Where do you fucking right, think? On top of St. Edmund's, of course. He's got a lovely collection of cuttings up there. You'll have to ask him to show you. It does sound rather pleasant. It's a shame he's not around. Well, he does have a spare key for the tower door somewhere. Is it in that thing down there that I've been wondering about for ages? Do you know where ages? Father Roach keeps his spare key? No, that's his business. If I did know, I'd fetch it myself and take you up there. Not to worry. I do recall him saying he hid it outside well, somewhere. Maybe it's not outside then. For or not in. Like, maybe it's not in inside, is what I meant to say. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to explain why there is an unmarked grave. I found out my father visited Bewley some 25 years ago. William Bateman. Perhaps you remember him? Bateman? William Bateman? I remember a William Baldwin. He were a right miserable sod. My father was only in Bewley briefly, from what I understand. I'm trying to piece together what he was doing here. You'll have to ask him. I don't recall anyone of that name. I lied. Didn't take me long. My father took part in an excavation at Hobbs Barrow. Do you recall the excavation? I know, I know, I'm a terrible human being. It was worth it to see Charlotte Flair doing a terrible moonsault. I can't be more helpful. To the outside. What do you make of these stones? They are not Christian. I'm certain of that. I agree. Much older, I feel. Older than Christianity. <laughs> oh, the youth of today. Oh yeah, I forgot you were big on the fucking uh, giffy emotes. Most unusual. How I Never forgot that? I don't know. We Bewley folk like our privacy. Many of the pews are owned by individual families. Some might accuse you of hiding secrets. Now, now, pet. I jest. At my age, it's hard to climb in and out of them. I'd That's what she stand. said. How do you get gifted an emote? Does the name Saxnot mean anything to you? Hmm. Is that a village near Erdlaw? No, never mind. 
Do you have any fresh milk going, Spur? I don't, pet. Not to worry. Thanks for your time. Lord be with you. I've never gotten anything from... I'm assuming riding raids means like going from raid to raid to raid. Which is... If I tend to raid someone, I'll... Uh, I'll bounce, but I'll leave leave the computer running, leave it lurking, That's and I'll end up in God knows what with. by the time I fucking get up again in the morning. And I have never this must belong to Mrs. ended up with anything. I want to know what's in there. I feel like there's something in there. Anyway, back to that grave. Just leave people... I just leave people up and you... Yeah, I get gifted. I'm sure there were words there somewhere. If that stream goes down again, I swear to fuck. I may be a barrow digger, no, but I'm no grave robber. But, uh, the fucking... The key, though, woman. This appears to be a recently dug, unmarked grave. This appears to... It does appear that way, doesn't it? I wonder why that might be. William Paxton, modest. And is there a clue in the graves? Death is wait, 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 wait. Mandem's name is on one of in these. In memory of Re in memory of Benjamin Garkham. Wait a fucking second. In memory second. of Romeo Hegg, dearly missed by his beloved Juliet. That in one. This plaque is surrounded by cracking plaster. Yeah, I bet it fucking is. I think I can chip away at this plaster. Don't be salty about your bad grammar. I'm not. I was just very confused as to what the fuck you were talking about. There's a difference. There's a key behind here. Yeah, this there fucking is. has to be Father Roach's spare. Nailed it. Smart man indeed. That is I. The smartest of them all. Capital. Fucking capital. <sighs> Meanwhile, 1,000 years later, and plant. A small label on the pot reads Flirtwort. Give this it. Is just what I need. You got any basil up there, fam? Wild garlic. Fennel, corn mint, borage. Quite the collection. No fucking basil, though. A small label on... Wild guard. I'm assuming they're old. Wild... Yeah. About that one. Wild... Yeah, thought as much. Anything else up here that knows yet? Nope. Cool. Really? I find it odd that you can't get into the tower from the inside back. the church. I miss Anne Horsey. Great grammar, by the way. There. Yeah, no doubt. I hope that stays on. Is that you? What am I fucking playing at? Yeah, I have these. Good day. Egg-looking flowers. I have the ingredients you asked for. Wonderful. Hand them over. Fantastic. I don't have any animated there emotes. You go. Tell Mr. Bryden to apply this poultice to the area in question. We'll know where to begin it with works. that shit. Wonders. Thank you very much. Moving on. This fucking stream is such bad quality. Yes. I've got a poultice for your joints, Mr. Bryden. It was prepared by Mildred Walker. Who? You may know her as Mother Mildred. Oh, thank you, lass. That Mildred knows what she's doing. I should have thought to see her myself. She said to apply it directly to where the pain is. It should work very swiftly. I'll give it a try. Got three, but only one is mine. So you, you stole the others. Oh, that did the no trick, No shame. Lass. No shame in that. I feel like a lad of 20 again. I suppose you'll be wanting me to milk old Eunice for your in return. You You're damned mind, skippy. I appreciate it. A fair exchange. Mm. 
It's done well back, lass. Believe me, I'm not coming an inch closer. Maybe you would if you were an inch closer. There you are, lass. Some fresh milk. Thank you very much, Mr. Bryden. Yes, goat. I love how they just sort of fucking fade into nothing. I carry on forgetting to do manual saves. Need to not have that being a problem, plus. Words? They're out there. Is that fucking I'll let apple? The worm enjoy his new home. Alright, fine. I've got a pail of fresh milk here for you, Miss Tompkins. You haven't. Here. I as. Mum, you've saved my hand. Obviously. Thank you. You say that it's goat's milk. Are you all right? I'm a bit weird. Worried about Mr. Ambrose. Any road, I'm heading back to Panswick Manor now. Would you still like to meet his lordship? Very much so. Now I can't guarantee you'll be home all right. He's a very busy man. Yeah, he's Take painting and shit, right? Follow me then. Come on over. It's not much further. Jivvy. Boing. Did you really need to jump? This music's a bit weird. And that chivy appears to be stuck. Oh, it's fine. What time do you call this? I call this fuck you Sorry, time. Mom. Give it here then. What the hell is this muck? Goat's milk, ma'am. You daft bit. <laughs> Since when does his lordship take goat's milk with his tea? Oh, he will not be pleased. Get back to your sweeper before I clip you over the head. Sorry, ma'am. Yeah, it's really good. It's excellently put together. The mechanics are fucking fantastic as well. Right. Face. I need to refresh my fucking stream window. It carries on flickering and it's driving me fucking ballistic. Might as well refresh this while we're in the area. Right. I'm hoping that's better. Right, let's do that first so that we know that you can see. Where is Lord Panswick? Sorry, ma'am. I can't talk. Miss Fenchurch is ever so mad at me. She. No time for frolicking with the flock? Why not? How very bucolic. What else we got? Large flowers. Some fine looking flowers. Yes, indeed. Some fine looking flowers. What the fucking hell is going on over here? Don't freeze! My friend that played it said there was only one puzzle he couldn't logically solve, and otherwise it was perfect. Miss Fenchurch is a cruel looking woman. Have I, have I gotten to that bit yet? <laughs> Hello there. Bugger off, you whelp. This is private land. I will fucking cut you. I've got a knife. See? I shan't lower myself to such barbarity. When they say mom or mam or we, sounds like mum and throws me off. Well, it is not that. Hmm. The fucking moon! A symbol of some kind. A moon, perhaps? That is well out of my reach. Miss Fenchurch is a cruel looking woman. Her face set in a permanent scowl. Oh, good. I'm glad that I haven't encountered the puzzle that's going to break me yet. Would you like some sugar? I'm not sure they would be interested. Why not? Put it in the milk. Make it fine. I don't wish. I'm not trying to give it away. I don't wish. I'm not trying to give it away. That won't help. I don't. I'm not trying to give it away. I'm not sure they. I don't give a shit. I don't wish. I don't wish. I don't wish. I don't wish. I'm not. Well, what fucking use is this? I 
can't go around the, around the side. I thought I'd be able to go around the side, and I cannot go I around the can't... side. Side. What about around here? Getting through the window. Nope. Where is Lord Panswick? Sorry, Miss... Miss Tompkins looks more anxious. Fuck's sake. Investigate, investigate, fix that, and that, that one's throwing me because I've not seen a horse, I've only seen a goat and a cat. We're definitely a part of the game that is fucking giving me cause for concern. Why aren't you going faster? You, more information. There's nothing else I... Bollocks. This must be... That's not mine to... They are still locked. Yes, and horsey. I require an horsey. Or something. I don't really fucking know what the hell I need. Answers. I need answers. Mutton pies! Fuck your pies. This gimp's still not home. Wait! Who was that fellow? You there, ginger chap. Good day. Hello there. My name is Thomasina. What's yours? Ralph. Not seen you around before. I'm just visiting. What brings you to the market today? I purchased a scotch egg for me tea. You want a bite? No, thank you. Doesn't seem very filling. I'm looking for some Not the ginger. The well, he's the only one I've, that I've not spoken to, so it has to be the ginger. Sorry, miss. I've already got me own job. Enjoy oh, I? your scotch egg. I will. Well, that was There's nothing useless. Anything fresh in the alley? And horsey! Hmm. Horse hair would make fine bowstring. It would, yes. I. She almost took my head off. I know what the sugar cube is for. We all know that a horsey likes a good old sugar cube because. Here, girl. I can't Eat remember this. why. Mmm, delicious. Good said girl. said Anne Horsey. Here, Hopefully have some of my tail some hair. Trust between us. I can't rip the hair from her tail with my bare hands. Why the fuck not? Let's take a knife to it then, I guess. I've managed to cut off a few lengthy strands. Superb. Right. Get that on there. I must coat the hair with something. Fine. Fade to black to save the animation. There we are. This should make sufficient bowstring now. Fucking nailed it, mate. Fucking nailed it. I've done it. The bowstring seems to hold on sufficiently. That's where I want to go. Why are you holding it already? Oh, right, because you only gave me the bow. That's why it's not looked like a fiddle this whole time. For you. Moron. Saber and horsey, totally normal. Oh, she fucking goes. Oh God, she's bringing about the end of times. It's the end of days. It's Pat McAfee. So much is going on. Brilliant. Did she rob me? My head is spinning. What happened? The fiddler Hello? on the stones. Where did she go? She fucked off, but she left the girl this. left her fiddle behind. We'll take it then. 
I'll take it with me in case I see her again. Yeah, do that. I want to understand what just happened. Why is it doing the remix? We're good. Mr. Shoulder told. Right, off to pub. Enjoy your slep. Thank you for coming through, having a chit chat, and thank you for leaving it on lurk. Appreciate all these things. I can't think of any. I'm. Not I don't care for. Be I can't think. Hello there. Yes. Is that your horse stationed in the alley? Aye. Thistlecrack is her name. That's an unusual name for a horse. Aye. It was what she were called when I bought her. Glutton would be a better name. She likes a treat. But it feels wrong to change it. Thank you for your time. Make sure you watch my performance later, won't you? I'll try. <sighs> what is it with this bar? Oh my lord, can I please get out of here? Get a save in, shall we? Uh, got a fiddle. That sent me stream off all flickering again. Fuck's sake. Fresh Scotch eggs! I have nothing else. I don't know who to talk to about this. I have nothing else. I don't wish to. Why can't I get to the map when I'm in a building? Seems like an oversight. They were doing so well with everything else as well. I don't wish to give that away. I'm not sure they would be. I was wondering if it might be possible to speak with Lord Panswick. Are you deaf, girl? Don't make me fetch the guards. They're armed, you know. By Christ, you're like a dog with a bone. Do you want to get yourself shot? Yes. I can assure you the only things getting shot around here are the pheasant. And perhaps the odd grouse. <laughs> Greetings, my lady. Lord James Panswick. At your disposal. Fucking told you. Your Lord Panswick? Obviously! Breathe. You could have told me that before. What is life without mystery, Miss Bateman? A predictable stagger to the grave? I was imagining someone... Much older and far less handsome? Yeah, that one. Yes, to be frank. <laughs> See? I can read your mind, my dear. Now, I ask, what brings you to my manor? I wanted to ask if I could borrow some of your labourers. Oh? For what purpose? I intend to excavate Hobbs Barrow tomorrow, and I'm in need of some assistance. An excavation? How very delightful. We're in the middle of our own works right this minute. Follow me, Miss Bateman. Come along. I'd love to. I promise I don't bite. For generations, this chapel was a place of unique devotion. This was until some of my more ungrateful ancestors forgot him and abandoned it. Why did they abandon it? Men of great wealth and power can grow so comfortable that they forget they still need the divine. The sacrifices required to maintain such a relationship were no longer being made. The chapel soon turned to rubble, mm. and with time, even the villagers forgot him. His influence endured, but... Only with the isolated few who lived on the very fringes of these moors. Believe yeah. it or not, my family's fortunes have dwindled ever since. Since I succeeded my father, it has become my life's work 
to restore this place of worship. I mean, how hard can it be? Secret place rebuilt. He shall be venerated once more, and the name Panswick shall be uttered again across all of England. No, nope, lost me string. Of my ancestors. Now that it is one. time for Not him this to one, guide obviously. us. Bewley is a godless place. Have you forgotten about St. Edmunds? Father Roach might disagree. <laughs> I shall bring him back to these lands, and this chapel shall be his seat once again. A new Ooh. world. Baphomet. But it seems like you wish to bring back the past. From out of the old world shall come the new. A greater truth. But I digress. Horace, my dear fellow. Aye, your lordship. This fair lady here is in need of some assistance. Would you and your chaps be up for a spot of digging at Hobbs Barrow tomorrow? Hobbs Barrow? Ah, your lordship, tis no bother. Good man. You're in luck, my dear. These are my finest, and they're all yours. Thank you. I am grateful. It's an ulterior motive. One condition. Yes? I've heard wonders about Mary de Plancy's Bakewell puddings. I'd rather like to try them for myself. Your lordship, you're giving me the help of your men in exchange for cakes. Yes. But farewell, my beauty. Well, how the fuck am I meant to do that? I've got no money. Wait. Okay, what have we got? Man, man, Horace equipment. The men look like they've spent many. Yeah. Horace is the. Le is his lordship joking about the Bakewell puddings? No, miss. His lordship is a man of folly. How ridiculous! He treats you all right if you do what he asks. They have some decent equipment here. It will be more than useful for the excavation. They have some de- They have some- Please let us get on with- If you do as his lordship requests- Ow! The fuck! Good day. Oh, another strumpet looking to find our way into his lordship's bedchambers, I see. Uh, fuck you. Nothing of the sort. Ha, I've seen plenty of your sort before. This bitch. Thank you for bringing me here, Miss Tompkins. You're welcome, ma'am. This does not alleviate the problem, however. That's not mine. This must belong. Yeah, but I bet the cakes are going to be in there, aren't they? Dear to your pet. Hello, Mrs. De Plancy. Do you still have some of your homemade Bakewell puddings, Mrs. De Plancy? Oh, you're too late, pet. I've a few left, but they're set aside for someone else. Might you please be able to bake me some more? Sorry, I, I, I'm not in the mood for baking. Truth be told, my dear husband Albert passed away recently. My thoughts are all over the shop. Fair. I'm so sorry to hear that. Aye, he's in God's hands now. Yeah, or something like that. Were you married to Albert a long time? Aye, too many years to count. But if you were counting... He was a cobbler here in Bewley. The most dashing gobbler in all of England, I used to tell him. <sighs> I feel like the fiddle might be relevant pet. for some reason. There's nought that can replace the hole it leaves in your heart. Don't want to think about it. I can relate to that in my own way. I wish you strength in this difficult time. Thank you. With God's blessing, I'll get by. Yeah, there's something like that. May I ask who you have set aside the puddings for? Oh, uh... Father Roach. He won't be back until tomorrow. Well, I'll be spoiled by them. Off by then. Right? Not at all. Besides, pet, as I told you, I'm not in the mood for all this baking chatter. Sorry, Mrs. De Plancy. Thanks for your time. Lord be with you. And also with you. Now, this fiddle. I'm not sure they would be. That's not mine. This must. Fuck. I'm not sure. I'm not sure they. I don't wish. No. Hmm. That was a sound off in the distance of the old church.
why would you knock? Hmm. It's because he's dead. I'll break in. I can't see how that. That's a big. Bollocks. There's nothing else. I can't think of. I have nothing else. Why does it always make that sound when I come in here? Still nothing to do, presumably. No. Just have it. Why is this room so weird? I can't think of. The road did. Thought it was worth a punt. But no. It's probably safer if I don't. Oh, flickering is driving Good me day. nuts. Carry on Fresh thinking that the chat's data. moving. Selling would miss. No. I really don't. Warm pies! No, fucking pies. Piss off. I have nothing. There's that old bastard around here somewhere. Yep. Uh. Nope. I can't think of any. I'm not sure that. I'm just going to have to stroll until something presents itself. Though what? I do not know. Hello, hello. I have nothing else to ask for the time being. Fox sake. It looks like a rather. Sh oh. The simple wooden cross bears a small plaque on which is inscribed the name Albert de Plancy. Relative, are you? No, just looking. He were the cobbler. Who's going to mend me boots now? <laughs> hmm. The simple wooden cross bear. The simple wooden. The simple. Yeah, simple. Someone has carved the letters A R into the stone. Finally, oh first, I need uh, I should have asked Crow how uh, how much game I've got left. Cause I'm not gonna finish this tonight, but it'd be good to know how much I do have left to do. I saw Hello? how long to beat.com reckon seven and a half hours and we've done that already. Is anyone home? Hmm, he's not answering. Another quick sit on the bench. That was fun. Moving on. Kill the chicken and sacrifice. Uh, I do not wish to. Ha I do not. Mm. No sign of it. Fucking hell. Convince her to bake pudding. Okay.
You. Good day to you. Hello, Mrs. I saw your late husband's grave, Mrs. De Plancy. I am very sorry for your loss. Thank you, pet. You know what he'd say in times like this? Bake no some fucking cake. A simple wooden cross. You were a colourful man, our Albert. He deserves better. He loved his flower beds. He's only been gone a fortnight, and already his plants have gone to rot. May the Lord forgive me. Plants are difficult to maintain. I'm sure Albert would understand. His precious hippie astrum were the first to go. I would have loved to lay one on his grave. And there's the thing. What does a hippie astrum flower look like? Oh, beautiful things they are. Tall stems topped with large red flowers. Yep, seen that. Hard to grow in this climate. They were his pride and joy. The remarkable thing is there's no scent to him. That's why he loved him so much. You see, he hated anything that smelled sickly sweet. And yet like the flowers, were just sure. Perfect. Let me know if you come across one, won't you? Of course, Mrs. De Plancy. Oh, I'm on it, love. I know exactly what to do. Thanks for your Lord. Until, you know, I get there and that old bitch is like, Get off the fucking flowers, you cunt! See? There they are. These match the description of the flowers Mrs. De Plancy mentioned. There's no scent. Right, take them. You get away from my hippie astrum. Ah, apologies. Move! Well, that confirms it. Ooh, save. Nice. Those flowers. May I please take one? Are you deaf and daft? Yes. Off. Right, you help. Good day. Hello. I really need one of those hippie astrum flowers. Why? It's a long story. Might you please be able to get one for me, or distract Miss Fenchurch so I can take one? Those flowers are Miss Fenchurch's favourites. She spends hours looking after them. Don't give a shit. Why are you crying? Sorry, Mum. It's just that I'm so worried about Mr. Ambrose. The milkman? Aye. We were to run away together today. Yeah, I was going to say. See. Lovers. I'm worried sick that he stood me up. Without Mr. Ambrose, this job is all I have. I can't risk losing it over a flower. I'm sorry, Mr. Tonight It's an art to find this bastard, I, I imagine. Seen him. Do you think he's abandoned me? I'm sure that's not the case. He must have been delayed somewhere. Could you try to find him for me, ma'am? Is he the ginger? Uh... Oh, please, ma'am. I'd do anything for you if you found my love. I can try. Oh, oh thank you. You're ever so kind, ma'am. Yeah, sound. What does Mr. Amber? He's got brown hair. Hmm. Not I'm the ginger. I'll need a bit more to go on. Sorry, Mum. I'm too upset. Well, how do you expect me to Please fucking help? Him, won't you? This hey, bitch. Stop your nattering and get back to your sweeping. Fuck. Sorry, what are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Fucking miserable bitch. I'm gonna take my chances with the ginger. Good day. Hello there. Do you know Mr. Ambrose, the milkman? I do, yes. Right, Have where is he? Have you any idea where he might be? He is usually here by now. So I heard. He normally arrives by the road to the east of Bewley. Thank you. Enjoy your scotch egg. Right. I will. Okay, with you. Meanwhile. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Sorry. Ah! Oh! Son of a bitch! I'm gonna have to see my face for a hot second. Oh, you motherfucker. Not you. Hang on a moment. Oh, 
Bah Shut up! Shut up! That could have got us in trouble. It's fine. Ah, there we go. No, not the alley. Not the fucking alley. Fresh and steamy. Delightful. Take some. a horse to be the culprit. I certainly don't wish to touch it. But you might need it for growing flowers. Oh, memory time. There we are. Your shells are looking much more interesting now. I pestered Mother for years to let me bring some of your treasures here. I think she's worried that I'd want to follow in your path. Why is she still wearing the same she fucking dress she was wearing as a child? Away. I had to beg her the same to bring me to dress. visit you, you know. I shouldn't worry you with all that. Do you know that I have a story for each of these pots? Well, I don't know if they're all true, but they are my memories. Even though I was so young, I still remember our adventures together. Would you like me to share my memories of them? Well, I'm going to, whether you like it or not. <laughs> oh lord, do I have to click all of these? This is from the first dig I remember you taking me on. The excavation of West Kennet Longbarrow. I found it wedged behind a stone as you ate your sandwich. You said, now there's a tiny urn for a tiny girl. Mother was so angry when you brought this one home, wasn't she? Why? William, that simply will not do. It's taking up all the space on the mantelpiece. Once you moved it to your study, I remember creeping in to take a peek at it. We found this one together in that mucky old barrow near Avebury. I think it was the second time you'd taken me on a dig with you. I remember you bringing it up to your face to look inside and shrieking in horror. Was it a spider? There's a bloody rat in there, oh, a rat. screamed. <laughs> hmm, I think you brought this one back from a trip abroad. I would have loved to go with you, but Mother didn't want me to. I remember you being so proud of it. It looks ancient. You were incredibly excited about this one. I hadn't gone on an expedition with you yet. You were so happy about it, showing it to Mother and I. You didn't stop talking about it for hours. I thought, how can Daddy be so excited over some old broken pottery? But it wasn't long until I understood. I almost forgot. While I was searching for your pots in the shed, I found one of your manuscripts. I thought Mother had burnt all your notebooks, but she missed one. It was an account of barrows across the east of England. I managed to read it all before Mother took it away. Daddy, it was fascinating. I've decided that is what I want to do with my life. I'm going to travel the country, excavating and documenting my own finds. Well, as soon as I'm old enough to escape Mother, that is. When you're feeling better, we can go out on expeditions together again, just like we used to. I promise you'll get better, Daddy. I'll do whatever it takes to make it so. Make it so. Oh my lord, we finally get to go this way. Head on the road. Yes, there is. Oh god. I've seen a screenshot of this, I know what that is. That's what the knife's for. Mr. Ambrose! I'm going to help you. There's some wicker man shit right here. Please hold still. I I'm going to cut you free. He had been so tightly bound that I could barely cut through without hurting him further. His mouth was stuffed full of flowers of a most peculiar scent. This is odd. I was dismayed at such savagery, and wondered if the feral folk Father Roach had mentioned were responsible for this abhorrent act. After some considerable effort, I managed to cut him free. Are you all right? I... who were lost in visions of... of hell. Of hell itself. The devil. I saw the devil. Who did this to you? I 
don't remember. Oh, the terrible sights I saw. I won't forget them till my last breath. Are you Mr. Ambrose? I... Hallucinations. Hallucinations. Yes, Edward Ambrose. Trippy drop flowers. Miss Tompkins today. Oh, my love. Oh, my darling love. Let me take you to her. Here, take my hand. As we made the arduous trek to Panswick Manor, I probed Mr. Ambrose on who I had done this to knackered, him. I am fucking you know. He insisted that he didn't remember anything, except for his nightmarish visions. My love. Where's his fucking nose? Eddie. Jesus, what happened to you? Were you in a fight? Now, fret not, my love. I thought you'd abandoned me. Never. Thank your friend here for helping me out of a bind. <laughs> Eddie! Let's get out of here, my darling. Hang on. <laughs> you thieving bit! How have you got for garters? Fuck you. Oh, stick it where the sun don't shine, you bitter old sow. Yeah, get her told. Uh, I, the cheek! <laughs> Must not be a dickhead, are, innit? Thank you, Miss Tompkins. No, thank you for finding my poor Eddie. Oi, thank you, lass. Let's go, Eddie. I'm never setting foot on this godforsaken estate again. Well, I hope the milk trade is fucking raring. Not you too. It's not, that's not the right word. Raring to go might make sense, but I mean, it's still wrong. Anyway, BRB, I'm going to get a coffee. Hello, I'm back to this. Should there anyone actually still be here? Kirsty, still here? Probably asleep, doing a lurk at this point, I'd have thought. If here at all. Anyway, this video game, which fucking still playing it somehow at this time. Not that you can see that. Oh, you can. What am I fucking doing? Welcome home. Hi. Thank you. Mm. Mm. You okay? Very tired and very hungry. Yeah. Seems I'm still still lying to you. Oh, very, that was fucking mental. I left. There was about. You had to do line cleans at what time of the fucking morning? Okay. Um, we started at one. Um, no, half one. Uh. Insanity. When I left, when I got sent home, there was less than 10 people in there. When I went back an hour later, you couldn't fucking move. Apparently, about 20 minutes after I left, Jay turned around to Laura and went, should I call Sam and get her back? And she went, no, nah, we'll be fine, it's not that bad. And then it just got worse and worse, and she turned around to Jay and went, phone Sam. <laughs> that was like... Brutal. Remarkable. Can't believe he's still here. I have something for you. You found them. Oh, you dear child. Let's take them straight to Albert. You'll come with me, won't you? Yeah, sure. Course, why not, Mrs. De Plancy? Give me a fucking cake. It's not a cake. Pudding is not cake. Right. You is that know, is that three flowers? Two stalks, but I'm pretty sure there's a third you know what doesn't matter. Things that used to annoy me. The click of his jaw as he chewed his sandwiches. Leaving his tools all around the house. The way he'd never back down from an argument. He's just quiet at home now. Silence. The funny thing is. That's what he always Yeah, I'm knackered. I'm knackered, I'm starving. He were a good man, our Albert. Sounds like he was. I'm so sorry. Do you fear death? Yes, yeah, hell at late. It's the part in between that concerns me most. Whatever do you mean? My father had an accident many years ago. 
Ever since, he's been in a state we can neither speak nor move. Oh, that does sound dreadful. I'm sorry, Pet. Late, early, what's the difference at this point? to still be active, but perhaps this is the worst of all fates. To be trapped in one's own body and unable to express oneself while the world continues around you. That Sounds fucking I horrible, fear. that, doesn't it? Maybe he'll get better one day. I'd do anything to make it so. Make it so. Anyway, These flowers look beautiful. Cake, please. They do. Pudding. Albert will be smiling down on us. Pet, I left me basket inside the church. You'll find some big well puddings in there. You can have them. Oh, you. I insist. You've brought an ounce of happiness into my day, dear. It's only just that I return some. Thank you, Mrs. DePlancy. To be truthful with you, I was saving him for myself. Lying old bitch. So selfish. Lord forgive me. You're nothing of the sort. I'll stay here with Albert a bit longer. In you the fucking rain. The pit. Lord be with you. And you, Mrs. DePlancy. And also with you, Armand. Cake. Pudding. What a fucking cake. Here they are. What up, homie? The vision returns. I come bearing gifts. Freshly baked gifts. I figure we'll get to the yes. next day and Three then call it. We can't be that far away from bedtime at this point, can we? <laughs> you are an amusing creature, Thomasina. What do you mean? 316, it's Stone Cold Steve Austin o'clock. Highest order for asking you to undertake such folly. Of course I would have lent you my men either way. I merely desired an excuse to share a cake with you. It's a fucking pudding. I take no pleasure in watching you scurry about Bewley to fulfill my every whim. Or do I? I do not find this amusing in the slightest. You can fuck that you painting no off your knobhead. You have what I had to go through to get these for you. Oh, I do, I do. And that's what I admire about you. Tenacity. Even in the face of something you know to be absurd. You don't give up, do you? Never. Though in this case, I ought to have. <laughs> now then, will you share one of these tempting confections with me? Piss off. No, thank you. You disappoint me. It would seem you don't find the rain quite as romantic as I do. Still, Wet. my word is my bond. Come with me to the chapel. I shall inform the chaps of their... I was going to say there's no uh, romance you. in wetness, but there fucking is, isn't there? Filth. Chaps, listen up. You're to assist Miss Bateman's excavation tomorrow. What time, Miss Bateman? Early morning, if you don't mind. We'll be there whenever you need us, Miss. Hobbs Barrow. On the Bryden estate, if I'm not mistaken. We'll be there. Take your tools with you. Miss Bateman will need every assistance we can provide her with. It's no bother. Splendid. Thank you, lads. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll see you later, my dear. Thank you, Lord Panswick. We're finishing up here, Miss. See you tomorrow morning, all right? Certainly. I appreciate your help. We're approaching the fucking seven hour well, mark for this stream. Well, to have my crew seven hour? for tomorrow. Eight hour. It's getting dark. Eight hour. And cold. We've not done a stream this long Can't in a long time. Let alone fucking sober, Jesus. Right, time to go back to the, uh... Wait, what? I fear Miss Fenchurch might come at me with her pots and pans. It's best I stay out here. Alright, it's alright. I'm going to take the risky option of walking it and not using the map. Is this the quickest way? Don't think it was. Oh well. Well. Yeah, it's fine. Hello, hello. Hmm. No one here. Bullshit.
Why is it evening, so spooky? Good evening, Stanley. What's with the spooky sounds? Your lordship. The fuck are you doing Stanley, here? Stanley, my good man. To what do we owe the pleasure of your visit, your lordship? I've come to wish Miss Bateman good fortune for her grand excavation tomorrow. I'm really rather curious as to what she might turn up. As am I, your lordship. An exciting Liar. time for Bewley. Wouldn't you agree, Stanley? Oh, yes, your lordship. Very, very exciting. My dear, please, allow me the pleasure of buying you a drink. A welcome antidote to the wind's bite. Wouldn't you say, Stanley? Yes, indeed, your lordship. No, thanks. Miss Bateman, you're no fun. I should keep a clear head for tomorrow. Good thinking. In that case, I shall bid thee the fondest of farewells. Yeah, fuck right May off, you pal. conquer Hobbs Barrow and find all that you desire. Thank you, your lordship. I've reminded my chaps there to meet you at Hobbs Barrow in the morning. Thank you again, Lord Panswick. Till we meet again, fête des beaux rêves. Whatever. Mr. Shoulder. They're in leagues together. I knew it. Your lordship. Right, you. Fucking start Hello speaking again, some Mr. truths. Shoulder. Miss Bearman. I've recruited the help of some local labourers to help with the excavation. Marvellous. When do we start? Tomorrow morning, first thing. Wonderful. Can I count on your assistance? Well, of course. I'll meet you here at the Plough and Furrow. Thank you for your time. Aye, Miss Bateman. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Sketchy this, man. You've changed your tune, Stanley. An exciting time for Bewley. I thought you didn't want me to excavate Hobbs Barrow. Well, uh, I... Uh, yeah, you were just saying what, what the Lord wanted to hear, aren't you? for now, thank you. Gobshite. Right. It's fucking bar. I'll leave those two to their conversation. Anyone else in here? As we walk in slow motion. Hello again, Cyril. You're still here? Leave me be, lass. There's nothing else I would. Summer. Oh, for fuck's sake. Arthur. I've remembered something. What is it, Arthur? Not here. Meet me outside. In the alley. He's stinking drunk. Yeah. Let's hear what he has to say. Yes, we should. I don't need to. Shortcuts, though, love. Shortcuts. Oh, God, anything to get me out of this bloody slow motion bar. I wonder why it's doing this. He was, I'm telling you, he was the third man on that dig. What is it? First of all, I must apologise to you. That night we met, when I vanished. Yes? Well, there were a man in the loo. A hooded man. He threatened me with a beating if I told you anything about what I saw. Oh, Arthur, that's terrible. What did you see? That's the thing. I hadn't the foggiest idea what he were on about. It was a drink, you see. I'm an embarrassment, Thomasina. No, you're not, Arthur. Um, uh, well. Here's what I need to tell you. I've remembered what you were on about. Oh? I, standing in the woods today, I knew there was something. Is he going to get killed? I waited. Before he could tell me. Concentrated, and it finally came back to me. Please, you're keeping me in some serious suspense here. All right, all right. It were a couple of days before I met you. Scene? Am I playing as him now? Hurry now, Leonard. I'm not as quick as I used to be. This leg is getting worse by the day. Yes, yes. I'm constantly made aware of your failing health. Do not fear. You said he has promised you the reward of your return strength. Aye, and it can't come soon enough. Mm. Are you sure that it must be her blood? Ah. Aye. She's family. And she gets here in two days. Aye. We must bring her to the site as soon as she arrives. No, no, no. 
Your lordship, with all due respect, we've been through this. We need to ease her into the idea. She would laugh in our faces if we just asked for it. Who said we would ask? He told me that she needs to give it willingly. This little scheme of yours better work, Leonard. It will, your lordship. We've got the perfect bit. Wait. Who goes there? Pass out. Oh, Pretend to be asleep. Ah, a moonlight tryst. Oh dear. After something, are you, Mr. Tillett? Your lordship, let me... Save your words, you drunken wretch. Off you go, skedaddle. Don't make me ask twice. I do wish you wouldn't spend so much time with that fool. Oh, I've got no fucking chips, bastard. Standard. It's sad, really. That dog urine they serve here has rather pickled the man's brain. You're being most unfair to him. Mr. Tillett is a nice man. <laughs> come now, come now. I shall bid thee adieu once more, for I do not wish for this to come between us. All the very best wishes for your excavation tomorrow, my dear. Thanks. Why are you hanging around, you dodgy fuck? Ah, showtime. This doesn't seem like a very likely song for the uh, time period. Oh, oh shit! So I was gonna say, has that old man got his fucking hands over his ears with his eyes closed? I cannot work out these lyrics at all. The guitar is far too loud in the mix. With a billion reverb on it. The guitar would not sound like that in that room. I was waiting for something else dodgy to happen. What's this other instrument I can hear? Sounds like a fucking police car. Meanwhile, Seth Rollins is doing his best Yvonne Dudley impression. Leave you to work that one out for yourself. It's not been eight hours, it's been seven hours. What hellscape greets me this eve, I wonder? Here we go again. This would be a pretty good time to stop, actually. Mystery for next time, but nope! Next morning, I said, and that's what I'm going to stick to. So, Thomasina. Hello. The journal proves I'm telling you the truth, does it not? 
I mean... It does. Sure. Good. Now listen. I can help him again. We can help him. Together. How? All those years ago, your father entered this barrow with the goal of binding me within it. All because the people of Beulie had gotten it into their heads that sacks not were cause of their plight. I tell you, Thomasina, I were not. Your father botched his incantation, leaving me in this weakened state, stuck in this limbo. As for him, well, you know how he ended up. This... this doesn't sound right. Incantations. My father was... is... a man of... Science. You don't know your father, Thomasina. Okay. How old were you? A child of not even five, six years? You need to enter this barra and undo what your father did. The spell must be undone. Then not only will I regain my strength, but your father will too. But how do I... Blood. The truest symbol of life and death. It's the life which flows within you. But it's also death once it escapes. I don't understand. Am I getting drugged with those flowers? Probably not how you'll undo what's been done. When the time Someone comes, whispering in my ear while I'm sleeping. Give me suggested thoughts. Time is short. Your father and I grow weaker by the hour. After all these years? Save it's just coming to a head now. The third day. Incantimentum. And then more dot line, longer line, short line dot. I must undo what has been done. No, it has been eight hours. It's been Father, eight hours. I'm coming. Wait, ha ha am I losing my shit? No, it's, yeah, seven hours, seven hours. And then less so with the edits that I'll be making to YouTube. In the meantime, I'm pretty sure it just auto saved. It's definitely having a little bit of a glitch. Day three, saved. Here's my face. As I bid you would you. It's been a very long stream. I've had fun. It's been a fucking good game thus far. And we'll finish it up next time, which will not be tomorrow. I think my next stream is likely Monday Eve. Uh, and we'll finish this. I guess. So, until then. It is, of course, a case of uh, remix. Live, laugh, limb, biscuit. Bye bye Or as we tend to say, re re remix. Motherfucking deuces. <laughs>